What's going on, friends and family? Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I hope everybody is wonderful, wonderful. We're here. We're Friday night hanging inside the bricks, and we have a swole, sexy show for you. Now, going on right now is the Conor McGregor uh, uh, training uh, workout. Uh, I don't know what it is, but they did it yesterday with Floyd Mayweather, and it was fun to watch. The McGregor thing's fun to watch. I have some thoughts on both of them. Uh, turn the air conditioning off. Yesterday, Floyd Mayweather says. Conor McGregor comes out today, gets last licks, and he's uh, running around doing his thing. Uh, definitely differences in speed. Definitely differences in power. And I would like to talk about that later on in our soul episode. This episode of the MMA Holes, where we have a special, special guest. Boom! Blair Tugman, live on the MMA Holes. That's right. Bellator MMA. Bellator one. 82 is going to be uh, right before Maymac. I think it's August 25th. That's going down, and Blair Tugman has a very difficult fight in front of him, and he's going to be live in the MMA holes. Looking forward to talking with Blair. Also, if you notice next to Blair, it says, plus CES Fight Buddies. That's right, CES MMA Fight Buddies. The reason why we're doing that is on Axis TV, there will be a fight tonight. There will be multiple fights tonight. And check it out over here, because that's what we do. Boom! Right over here, main card, blah, 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 blah. We have a couple of friends that have been on the MMA holes before. I noticed Nick Alley. I noticed Richie Santiago. So why the fuck not? So what we decided to do is, why not have a fight, buddies? Well, we could have a little bit of a fight, buddies. And boom! Here we go. Fight, buddies. We will unite inside the fight, buddies studio. Just like that. We'll be taking phone calls and having a little bit of fun with the MMA holes. So tonight is going to be a swole night, as usual. All nights are Wonderful, wonderful. All nights are wonderful, wonderful. So the, basically, that's what's going on tonight. We're going to kind of chillax tonight. I know there's a lot of Maymac talk, and we will be talking about May, uh, Mayweather McGregor. We'll be talking about Paulie Malignaggi and all that shit. We'll, we'll, still, we'll still talk about that. The news, what's going on for uh, UFC MSG. We'll need to talk about that as well, because that's right around the corner, too. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of things to talk about over there. Here's the chat room. The live chat. The cringe chat. The best chat on YouTube, all in one spot. Let's see what we have here. Chris H, get daddy a beer. Army Featherweight, Craig Lee, Filthy George, Darth Bane, Poppy Boy, Joe Miller, and H, Ryback Slater. Oh, my God. This is wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Look at all these people. All these people hanging with the boys. Hanging with the boys. That's right. It's a lovely night, and I hope everyone's lovely. Get this weekend started. It's going to be great. It's going to be swole. It's going to be sexy. Looking forward to uh, talking to our friend Blair because um, I have a lot of questions, and I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions, too. His name is the Bull Shark, the Fookin' Bull Shark. Check it out. What's going on with Blair? Well, let's scroll through. He's on a three-fight winning streak, and he's fighting a guy named A.J. McKee. Now, if you're not familiar with A.J. McKee, we'll get familiar because this guy is a fucking animal beast. Beast mode right over here. The man just does not lose. So Blair Tugman has a, uh, a tough task in front of him, and we need to talk about this with him. Here we go. I like the picture of Blair. He's like, oh, I'm going to fucking eat you. I don't know. Anyway, but if you look at the record over here, I mean, fucking A. AJ McKee, check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fights in a row. He won all professional fights. How about that? A lot of Bellator in here, too, if you look. Guy's been hide- fighting at a pretty freaking high level. In fact, he's been fighting in Bellator his whole goddamn pro career. Amateur history. Well, look at this. Four straight amateur and only one blemish. 
One, one be- blemish. Eight seconds. But that's it. The guy is fucking good that he is fighting. Look over at Blair Tugman. He's a 10-6-0 beast. This guy, he's, he's a tough dude, man. From everyone that I speak to, this man is a tough motherfucker. So we like to have tough guys on here. And Blair will be here on the MMA holes. Now check out Blair. Not so bad if you think about it. Three, four, five, six. In the last six fights, he's only lost one fight. Not bad at all. And that was a submission in the third round. So, hey, he went three rounds. Why the fuck not? But not bad, though, if you think about it. Only one loss. And my man over here has been in Bellator as well. And if you notice this, CES. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Bellator fights in a row. So we have a little bit more experience over here. And we have uh, Blair Tugman. We'll be live shortly. Very shortly. Here's the chat room. And this is where we make the diaper dance because we've got 29 in the tip jar. And that can only mean one thing. Diaper dance. Make him go. Ba da da da. I've got timber likes. I've got timber likes. I've got timber likes. Fuck you, dislikes. Yeah. I've got timber likes. I've, I've got, got ten timber more likes. likes. I've got timber likes. I hope the dislikes die. We're going to have a nice, intimate show with the MMA holes. And it will be wonderful, wonderful. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. I. I, I dare you, subscribe right now, and we'll have a lot of fun tonight. You have found your home for dysfunctionalness and autism and all that stuff. Look at my shirt. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. It's so wonderful, wonderful. So there's a lot of stuff to talk about. On this side over here is the fight for CES that's going to be going down. I'm just going to be doing the main card with you guys. It's going to be like a chillax stream, man. We're just going to be hanging, taking phone calls, getting shit off our chest, and uh, just, you know, doing things. That's right. 30 likes. Oh, fuck it. Play again. Make him dance. Ben and it's time to dance. I've got Timber likes. I've got Timber likes. I've got Timber likes. Fuck you, dislikes. I've got Timber likes. I've got Timber likes. I've got Timber likes. I hope the dislikes die of AIDS. All night long, this man is dancing. Look at him. Wee! Yeah, happy Friday. Happy fucking Friday. In the chat room, let's see. His dad used to wrestle everyone since Tanner2432. I think you're talking about um, AJ. Let's see. Uh, Connor can really take it. If you know my saying, says get daddy a beer. The reporters are trolling Connor and Connor trolling them, says Jesus Christ. Ryback Slater says AJ McKee, dad, was boring. So there you go. Wonderful, wonderful. (laughs) Wonderful, wonderful. A uh, circus in full effect, says Jay Smooth. That's right. We love circuses over here. Get Daddy Beer says, Floyd is an American. You know the only country God cares about. Hmm. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Luke. Luke is here, too, as well. As long as Diaper and Luke are here, we're, we're good to go. AJ McKee is just like his dad. He's overrated on the feet. Once he steps up in competition, he'll be exposed, and he'll be able to... Dis- uh, uh, blah. Almost got through it. Able to do so... Uh, do, oh my god, what is wrong with me? Today is one of them days, I did a stream earlier today, and I couldn't fucking get my head together. You know you have the one of those days where you just can't pull it together? Well, yeah. Uh, let's see. He'll be exposed and, uh, he'll be able to do is try for takedown. So there you go, Ryback Slater says that. So he's just gonna try to take it to the ground. Let's look at AJ's stats over here. Now, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Bellator and stuff like that, I kinda like doing this stuff because... You learn about other guys. It's not just about the UFC. Bellator is actually not bad. They, pu- they put on a good goddamn show over there. Uh, let's see. KO head kick. Uh, Dominic, well, that's first round head kick. So it looks to me that um, he might be some pretty dangerous on the feet as well. Two decisions over here. And there's a submission. TKO punches in the first round. I don't know, man. Looking through here. KO knee. Uh, KO punches. I don't know. It looks like this guy is a little more well-rounded than you're giving him credit. But we'll get um, Blair Tugman's uh, opinion on this guy. But dangerous all around is what I'm saying. Chat room unite. 33 likes. 30 watching. The MMA hoes live. Blair Tugman will be joining us shortly. And then we will be doing a fight buddies. That's right. Fight buddies. And it is wonderful. 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 Who else we got? Jafui's here. What's up? Connor's hilarious is Chris H. Now, uh, 
the Connor thing, I did watch a lot of it. I did notice that Connor McGregor, well, he um he looks slower. And I'm gonna wrap one on one shoulder. Oh. I'm gonna wrap you on the other shoulder. Look I'm out. gonna need a fucking army to come take them belts off me. Hold that thought. Chris, get ready for a crazy fight, buddies. Love to all in chat. Good luck, tug, fair game. There you go. Chris, I was thinking, you are using chillaxing OMG lol. I am just playing brother, we love you and the show. Shout out to all my OG MMA holes and welcome to all new. There you go, Craig Lee with the $2. Make Connor scream at us. Thank you very much, Craig. And shout out to the OGs in the chat, the OGs. In this chat room over here, there's a lot of OGs hanging with the boys over here and new Gs. So it's good, it's good to see all these friends here. In one special place where everyone belongs. The MMA holes. That's right. Tugman, six foot but cuts to 145. This is Jay Smooth. Uh, no, he's not six foot. He's 5'7". Uh, let's see. His specs. Uh, Donatelli Versace robe. Did you see that at Olympia Low Life? So I was just saying about Connor real quick is the power's there. The power's there. Does he have the power to put, put away Floyd? Well, that's why we're going to watch it. The power is there. Right, Connor? Power's there? Yes, sir. He agrees. But um, when it comes to the speed, there is a noticeable difference between the two boxers. So um, that's what's fascinating about this whole thing. The noticeable difference in speed. Floyd Mayweather is a lot faster. But it's to be, I mean, you would imagine that that would be the case, right? Floyd Mayweather, 49 and 0. I mean, he's 40 years old, but this is his wheelhouse. 49 and 1, says Mike Fitz. Get Daddy Beer, says, let me fuck Luke Ante. Okay, sup, says Stefan Killen. That fucking horse, says, get Daddy a beer. Craig's, Craig Lee says, I'm ready for a spit roast. <laughs> is, that, is that what you're ready for? Yeah, buddy, says Poppy Boy. Renato LaRange says, shout out to Craig Lee and stuff. That's right. Jones versus Lesnar should be on the undercard, says Filthy George. Why not, right? Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, he did seem slow. He did, Olympia. Jay, uh, fake news, says Mike Fitz. Bring the sacrifices, Craig Lee. Oh, my God. Now, the question is this, and I did warn Blair, I did warn him that, w that this is an interesting uh, group of misfits over here. Let's see if he could win you guys over. Let's see. Maybe I'll open the phone lines. Hit me with the ones if you want the phone lines open. We'll see. OG, oh, what's up, G-Man's here? We wa I want to talk about uh, the MSG fight as well because I do want to do a meetup the night before the MSG fight, so... We will be taking votes on getting together because I want to get drunk with the MMA holes. I think that'd be a great time. Speaking of getting drunk, I probably should whip out the scotch tonight. What do you think? What do you think about that? Forty watching the MMA holes, getting ready for a swole episode with Blair Tugman. Live. Live. Because that's how we do it over here, live. I had an interesting phone call today, too. Maybe we'll talk about that with this weird management team blowing smoke up my ass. But we'll see. Maybe the MMA holes will be represented by someone very shortly. We'll find out. Here's the Instagram over here. Blag talk. Blag. <laughs> Blag. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Hold on, friends. Hold on. We've got a guest. All righty. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on the MMA Holes Live, we got a guest. And it is Blair Tugman. Blair Tugman, what's going on? This is exciting. That Wow, you have a... Is that the Olympics behind you? What's going on there? <laughs> I'm in my parents' backyard, man. So uh, I'm down here training in New Jersey for the weekend and uh, figured I'd get outside and That's have freaking. a little peace of quiet so I could talk to you. I tell you what, out of all the guests that we've had on the MMA holes, this is probably the sickest setup here with the trees and the torch. I like this. <laughs> I like your style. Yes. <laughs> Blair, welcome to the show, man. This is exciting to have you on. I have a million different questions, but I want to start off with this. Conor McGregor's running around in a boxing ring right now, talking shit, about to fight Floyd Mayweather. Give me a brief thought on this whole circus scenario. I mean, uh, good for Conor. I mean, he's, uh, he, he's drawn a lot of attention to MMA, and I think he's doing a lot of great for the sport of MMA. Um, as far as the whole... McGregor Mayweather fight. Uh, anything can happen, man. He's got a puncher's chance. So I'm actually rooting for Connor and, and, and MMA myself. Uh, I know I like Floyd, and he, he's a phenomenal athlete and, and a stand-up guy. But 
me being an MMA background, I want the MMA guy to win. So um, I, I would like to see Connor get it done. We are live with Blair Tugman on the MMA holes, and uh, we're talking about Connor and Floyd real quick. I, I mean, I feel like it's one of them topics that you just can't avoid. It's just like it's everywhere. I know I got my pictures over here, and everyone's like, "Yeah," but I mean, no matter where you look, this is there. It's insane. Do you feel that this is good for both sports, MMA and boxing? I think it's great. I think it's drawn a lot of attention to both sports. Uh, I will say that if Mayweather loses, I think it hurts boxing a hell of a lot more than it hurts MMA. May if Connor loses. So, uh, as an MMA fan, I, we have nothing to lose. Uh, just like my fight with AJ, you know, Connor's a big underdog going into this fight. He has nothing to lose. So, mm. I'm a big underdog going into the AJ McKee fight. I have nothing to lose. Um, Connor's highly confident, and uh, when guys are highly confident and believe in themselves, anything can happen. Now, here we go. Let's segue into it. Bellator 182. Blair Tugman's going down with AJ McKee. Now, you did say about this underdog thing. I am fascinated by this whole situation. Looking through the stats over here, for those of uh, you that aren't familiar with Bellator, um, let me tell you something. This guy, AJ McKee, is a dangerous man who only has one blemish, and it's in his amateur um, uh, career. So this guy is like, now, are you getting fed to the wolves here? Or like, what, what is going on with this fight here? <laughs> I think that's what Bellator is trying to do, but unfortunately they made a mistake uh, and they put me up against them. They, they, they're feeding the wrong guy to the wolf. Uh, um, he's, he's an unbelievably talented young kid, uh, 22. He's 8-0. Uh, like you said, he's unblemished. Um, I think he's a dynamic striker. He has a little bit of a wrestling background, um, but I have just as much, if not more, experience than AJ does. So, uh, And I fought just as tough guys as AJ. So uh, I, I don't feel I, I don't feel I'm the underdog. I know everybody on the outside looking in sees me as a huge underdog. But like I said, I'm highly confident in this fight and, and getting it done August 25th. Now, we were talking about this before you came on. You're on a three-fight win streak. You've been in Bellator before. So, I mean, you're you're a seasoned veteran. You've been doing this for a long time. How, how long have you been uh, practicing mixed martial arts? So I started back in... Uh, 2007, I moved to Connecticut. I grew up in New Jersey. I moved to Connecticut back in 2007 and started training with my coach, Andrew Calandrelli, who's a Bell, uh, Bellator vet himself. Uh, he's fought multiple times for Bellator, and he owns a gym up there called Ultimate MMA uh, in North Haven, Connecticut. So I've been training with him for 10 years. I've been fighting for 10 years. I've wrestled my whole life. Uh, I grew up in New Jersey wrestling, started when I was nine years old. Uh, wrestled all through high school, went on to Division One. wrestled at Lock Haven University. Some of my teammates out Lock Haven have uh, gone on and, and fought and are currently fighting in the UFC. So I've been around phenomenal athletes my whole life and nothing new to me. It's just another competition. Um, I'm not making it any bigger than it is. AJ's just another opponent to me. Mm -hmm. So you feel the experience and everything like that. Do you still get those jitters when you step into the cage? I mean, Anyone that says that they don't get a little bit of jittery, I feel is a liar. You always get those little uh, butterflies. Uh, that's just normal with competition, but nothing to where the point where it's going to affect me and what I do. Um, I, like I said, I'm excited for this opportunity. It's a huge opportunity. This kid's phenomenal. He's a superstar. Uh, and I have a, a huge opportunity in front of me in AJ McKee. And that's all I see it as. And I've been training my ass off and, and, and doing everything in my power to opportunity. And I plan on doing it in two weeks. So now this fight is right around the corner. It's actually a day before the whole Maymax situation. So you have to think that everyone is going to be hungry. There's going to be a lot of people watching this fight, a lot of eyes on this fight. Um, do you feel any added pressure with the big stage right now? Do you feel that this is like one of those fights that might get you over the hump? Maybe more people will recognize how good you really are? I don't feel any added pressure. I, I, honestly, I, I just, like I said, I, I feel it as another competition and a huge opportunity. I just see it as an opportunity. And uh, if anyone has pressure on him, it's AJ McKee. Uh, you know, he's supposed to beat up the old man. You know, um, and if he doesn't, then he looks bad. So I think he has all the pressure on him. Uh, I'm I'm loose. I feel great. It's the best training camp I've ever had. And that's on. 
So, Blair, we have a live chat that's going on right now, too. It's filled with aids over there. So that's going on now, right now. So I'm going to pick from the live chat eventually. I just want to ask you a couple of questions, learn a little bit more about you, and then we can right. dabble with the, the insanity that's going on over here. Blair Tugman's yeah. live on the MMA holes. This is exciting news. Bellator 182 is going down. And uh, looking forward to this, man. Honestly, I was all overdosed on this Maymac thing. It's refreshing to see that this fight is happening because now I, it gives me something more to sink my teeth in, man. Honestly, boxing's cool and everything like that, but I think we're, we're ha we've had enough of the whole Maymac situation, and it's nice to see a, a fun fight a right around the corner. I mean, fighting a guy like AJ McKee, Blair Tugman on a three-fight win streak, it's like two guys about to collide. Do you have any predictions in this fight? Is there any th way that you're looking to finish this thing? Is it going to distance? Yeah, I definitely don't want it to go to distance. I, I want to get in and out as quickly as possible and, and get my paycheck. But uh, I, I feel like I can stop this kid with inside two rounds, and I'm sure he feels he could stop me with inside you know, one to two rounds as well. So I, I don't see it going to distance. He, he lets it fly. He throws a lot of strikes. Uh, I'm going to push forward and press the action and – like you said, two guys are going to collide, and uh, it's going to be fireworks, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Your last fight was a submission win, rear naked, naked choke. Now, was this the one where they took the picture where it looks like you are the Incredible Hulk coming out? Is this, I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, <laughs> was, was that after that fight? Thanks, thanks for that compliment. I've been called a lot worse. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that, was, that was the fight. I was all pumped up. I had just got done fighting Tom English, who's tough guy he's a vet he's fought uh, you know ufc veterans before and has never as wasn't finished by those guys and uh you know being able to finish a guy like tom was exciting for me and we fight win streak winning five out of my last six i was i was fired up and you know here i am now getting this huge opportunity so yeah i'm, I'm pumped and you, know, you see me submit aj you're gonna see a hell of a lot worse than that picture let me tell you. <laughs> do you do you have like a planned celebration or anything like that or <laughs> i might be jumping up in the rafters after this one <laughs> that's awesome so now here's the thing How, what do you walk around at i mean you fight at 145 correct yes what's your correct. walk around weight i i can get up i can get up to like 170 175 if i really let it go um but normally walking around i could probably around 170 mm -hmm. uh, and i used to fight at 135 but that was miserable so i couldn't i couldn't do it anymore wow 135 yeah that must have been a tough one what, what was your heart that was your hardest cut i'm assuming 135 i mean how did you pull that off just starve yourself it was horrible yeah uh two weeks of hell oh my god hell. so yeah. what do you go about how when do you start cutting weight before a fight well, I've been on a diet now for probably eight weeks, uh, and I've got two more weeks of really leaning out. Uh, I've, I've pulled within close to 10 pounds uh, the, the previous week, mm. so I'm right on pace right now. I feel good. I'm eating plenty of food, drinking plenty of water, uh, and, and feel really good in, in my training. So um, the next two weeks are going to suck, but I, I feel good about where I'm at. Now, Blair, has anyone ever told you that you have crazy eyes. Like, you have eyes that look like could murder somebody. Has anyone ever said that to you? <laughs> one of my best friends. One of my best friends says it to me all the time. Exact words. You have crazy <laughs> eyes. Justin Carbonella, if you're watching, you heard it. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, I mean, listen. There's some people you can tell that can kick your ass. And I'm looking. You're looking at me right now. And I'm literally shitting my pants looking into your eyes. <laughs> scaring the shit out of me. But you do have crazy eyes. I guess that's good for your profession if you think about it. Yeah, it is. But when you're walking around like normal society, <laughs> people are like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So have you ever had a stare down in the cage where you're just looking through them? Have you felt another fighter like, holy fuck, I'm going to get fucked up right now. Have you ever felt the fear in another fighter? I've never felt fear. I mean, I, I always try and stare through guys during weigh-ins and during the fight. And you can kind of sometimes tell... Uh, guy's mindset uh, if they look away or they kind of look down and so I, I make it a point to kind of try and stare through my opponent and, and kind of see if if they're kind of doubting themselves at that point I noticed that sometimes I mean maybe I'm reading too much into this but anytime I watch the weigh-ins like if I pick for fights I love to watch the weigh-ins because I feel the stories told at the weigh-ins so you could get that vibe from someone just by standing across from them you could be like I think I have the advantage mentally yeah, I mean, I don't know how much weight 
you could hold to that. I mean, I don't know how much truth is to that, but yeah, I, I definitely feel like you can sense these things sometimes from some, some guys and some guys that kind of go overboard and act all crazy are the ones that are most scared. So I, I you know, it's hard to tell, but I, I just try and just do my thing, stare at the guy and let him know, Hey, we're going to be in a war tomorrow night. So I hope you're ready. We have Blair Tugman live on the MMA holes. It's exciting. Bellator 182 is going down. It's going to be a great fight. I mean, you're on the main card uh, fighting a guy that's... Do you think that this guy, AJ, is Bellator's little little uh, science experiment? Like, he's their guy right now? Do you feel this, that they're trying to push this guy? Oh, yeah. I mean, anyone who's watching Bellator knows they're trying to build AJ and Gallagher. Mm -hmm. um, and Like I've been saying in previous interviews, if everything goes my way... On August 25th, I want a piece of Gallagher next. So oh, I can start being called the millennial bully, beating up the millennials. <laughs> I am <laughs> game for that, man. We met. I met Gallagher during uh, Bellator NYC. Uh, Luke Thomas th did a thing. I don't know if you're familiar with you, Luke Thomas, but we trolled the shit out of him. But anyway, <laughs> uh, Gallagher was there. Real nice kid. But I have to say, man, like you look like you're twice the size of Gallagher. Gallagher looks very small and frail. How long would Gallagher last in a fight against you? I think our styles are uh, pretty similar. I think he's the ground guy, so I, I think he'd be. I think he'd be in trouble. I mean, <laughs> he'd be on his back awfully quick and eating lots of elbows and punches. So I, I don't see him submitting me because I train with some of the best grapplers in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a great coach, Andrew Calandrelli, who's a top-level black belt from Marcelo Garcia, and I go down to Marcelo Garcia's in Manhattan a lot and train with those guys. So I'm not scared of anybody on the ground, especially a kid like Gallagher. So he, I think he'd be in a lot of trouble. Have you, tra being from Jersey and everything like that, have you trained with a guy named Frankie Egger? <laughs> uh, that's why I'm down here right now. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I've been coming down every weekend uh, during this camp and, and going. I've been very lucky. Uh, I, I, I've known Frankie and Nick Catone. Uh, Nick Catone owns a gym down in uh, uh, New Jersey here. And Frankie and a lot of his guys train out of that gym. A kid named Ricky uh, Bendejas, who just won Cage Fury's Bantamweight title there, a big regional promotion. I've been sparring with him. Uh, Nicholas Moda, who's on the Ultimate Fighter for Brazil. Uh, and, and Sean Sant uh, Santella. Frankie's here. Uh, Marlon Moraes. So I'm training with a bunch of high-level UFC uh, every weekend on top of whatever I do during the week at Andrews. So... Yeah, I mean, I do train with those guys regularly. So you're, you're, I'm not taking this lightly, man. This is this is my opportunity. I want I want to take this kid out. I mean, that list of people right there shows that you mean business right now. You're ta you're training with top dogs here. Frankie Edgar, is this guy like a mythical creature? I mean, every time you think ah, I think we're done with Frankie Edgar, he comes back and beats the shit out of somebody. What is his secret? Jersey tough, man. He's Jersey tough. <laughs> they make him tough down here. The kid's a freaking stud. <laughs> the guy's an animal. Um, I, I look up to him as a competitor. Uh, he's probably one of the toughest people I've ever seen inside the octagon, and he's going to go down a legend. And I'm just very lucky to, to, to be in a room with him and learn from him and be around some of his guys, uh, even if it's just for a weekend, you know, uh, just to be in that room and, and – and, being in there with him is just an amazing opportunity for me to learn. So he's phenomenal. I, I can't wait to see him get after it for the title, him and Max. It's going to be awesome. What are, you, what are your predictions? Him, Max, do you think he... Uh, he I got to go with a man from New Jersey. I mean, <laughs> uh, I got to go with Edgar. <laughs> Especially if he's watching, I'll get my ass kicked next week. If I, if I go. Of course he's watching. The MMA holes, for God's sakes. <laughs> Blair Tugman. <laughs> we got Blair Tugman here on the MMA holes live. He's fighting Bellator 182 against some scrub AJ McKee. Uh, no one knows who that guy is, right? Who the fuck is that guy, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, but um, I'm excited about this. Now, what do you think about East Coast MMA? Do you feel that people are not giving the fighters from the East Coast enough credit that they deserve? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think the East Coast does really well. I, I think uh, New England is starting to get much more publicity. Uh, more, more and more guys are getting into bigger shows uh, uh, on UFC cards and things like that. So... Uh, to say that the East Coast doesn't get respect, I, I, um, I think I think 
where you're from. It, it all depends on what coaches you have and things like that. So I don't think to do with that. So, okay, so now we're in Bellator. You've been fighting with Bellator for a while. I noticed a lot of fighters speak very highly about what Scott Coker's doing with this organization. It's very impressive how they're just, they're there, man. Bellator's here to stay. So now, let me ask you a question. What do you think, Bellator, UFC, do you feel that Bellator is competing with the UFC right now? Do you feel that they're on the same playing field? As far as viewers and numbers or as far as fighters and... Uh, things like that. Like I, I think there's different ways to view it. As um, an organization, I think I, as actually, an, I think we're right there with them, man. I think I think Scott and Bellator have done a phenomenal job in marketing their organization and their company, bringing in top talent. They just brought in Sassy. They got Donald. So they're bringing in top guys from the UFC, bringing them in and putting on big shows at Madison Square Garden and things like that. So I think it's on par with the UFC. I just think that UFC has been embedded in our for for longer. And it's going to take a little bit more time for Bellator to catch up, but I think they've closed the gap pretty quickly. Absolutely. So I have one more question about this. Now, everyone's always fascinated about this. I feel this is a subject that people will be talking about forever. And USADA with the UFC, steroids, UFC, a lot of controversy and this and that. How is Bellator's drug testing policy? Is it similar to that USADA system or is it a little more lenient? Do they check up on you guys a lot? Yeah, they they, uh, they do urine, urine analysis tests. I know that. Um, uh, I don't think it's as in-depth as the USADA that the UFC does yet. But I think Bellator would possibly adopt that. Um, I can't speak for them, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I know that I have been uh, tested via urine samples before. Blair Tugman's live on the MMA holes. Bellator 182 is going down August 25th. It's going to be a bloodbath, and Blair Tugman's going to jump on the cage and, and rape the crowd, I think. <laughs> 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 Do you have a lot of friends and family that are going to be at that fight? Yeah, so I, you know, I, a lot of my friends and family are from New Jersey and Connecticut, so it's a little bit of a hike for them. But uh, uh, there's uh, at least a busload of people going up to check it out, and I know a lot of people are going to stay home and watch it on Spike. And uh, I, I have a lot of support. I'm very lucky to have so much support uh, behind me, and um, it, it should be a rocking crowd. It should be pretty good. How, how does it feel to fight on Spike TV like that in front of that huge audience? I mean, is that just something? I mean, how, describe that feeling. I don't know. I haven't done it yet, so I'll let well, you know. It's, yeah, it's going to happen. Six, but, <laughs> um, I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm just, like I said, it's an opportunity. I just continue to see this as an opportunity for myself. and I'm just going to go out, put on the best show I can, and perform uh, the best I know I can. And um let the chips fall where they may. But I, like I said, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to get on TV and, and let it fly. That's awesome. Do you have anything prepared after your victory, like a big victory speech or something like that? Uh, no, I don't think I have a victory speech. I think I'm going to go out and eat like two dozen cookies and some ice cream <laughs> and maybe a cheeseburger and wash it down with some pizza and soda. But that's <laughs> um, other than that, no, I mean, I'm just going to thank everybody that's helped me get here and supported me and, my sponsors and all that. That's that's pretty much all I got. This is awesome. This is awesome. Now, Blair, okay, the chat room is yelling at me right now. They're like, open the phone lines. Would you like to take a couple of calls and see what these kn knuckleheads would like to <laughs> Blair, say? All right, let's, let's all right. <laughs> Now, have you ever had the opportunity to speak to savages like these? I don't know. Have you ever been on a show opening up phone lines? No. Okay. First time. I warn you. Virgin. Right <laughs> All right. So <laughs> there is no screeners. God knows what's going to happen right now, but it's going to be interesting. Okay. If you're excited in the chat room, hit me with the ones. We're going to open up the phone lines right now. We're live with Blair Tugman fighting at Bellator 182. It's about to go down. It's right around the corner. So get your questions in. 516-522-0267. Get in on the calls. Okay. So yeah, get ready for this. We had um, a gentleman on from... Uh, God, Jackson Wink, young kid. He actually Matt the horror. He 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 got he just got signed with Bellator. He thinks he's Conor McGregor, and Jesus <laughs> Christ, this kid. Oh my God, what he was funny. Holy shit, they're calling like crazy. Hold on a second. Oh my God, 
You're live with the MMA Holes with Blair Tugman. What's your name and where are you from? Yeah, my name is Cross Canola, and I'm uh, Blair Tugman's my coach, my wrestling coach. Well, look at this. How about that? <laughs> Cross, what's up, buddy? All right, Cross, you have anything to say to Blair? <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, that wasn't bad, right? That wasn't bad. All right. We're going to open them back up. 516-522-0267. I don't know what just happened there, but there you go. So you, you're coaching as well. So I'm sure you have a... Yeah. Actually, oh, shit. We had... Oh, hold on a second. You're live with the MMA Holes with Blair Tugman. What's your name and where are you from? Yeah. Hey, this is Cross Canone again from Connecticut. Um, I'm a member of Blair's... Uh, Blair's Wrestling Club. What's I'm up, also man? an NCAA uh, runner-up this year. Blair's uh, brought me to the NCAA championship. I owe it all to Blair, and I want to wish him luck on the air. There you go. And I also want to ask him a question. Okay, so he's wishing <laughs> you luck. He has a question. Here we go. Hello? Yes, what, what is the question? I'm going to ask him uh, how he thinks the fight will go. Will be a submission, uh, knockout, or go, go the full three rounds? Okay, submission, knockout, go three rounds. Thank you for the call. Got to hang up on him. He's giving me AIDS. All right, so <laughs> submission, knockout, what do you say? I say TKO. We'll go something different. TKO, second round. All right, so you're predicting a finish. TKO, second round. That sounds good to yeah. me. All right, phone lines are back open. 516-522-0267. Here we go. You are live with the MMA Holes and Blair Tugman, Bellator 182. And this is the sixth man, Jay Smooth. What's going on, friends? Hey, uh, what, 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 what's good, Chris? It's good to be back, man. Uh, I have a question uh, for Bubba Ray Dudley, if you don't mind. Uh, <laughs> your, your nickname is the Bull Shark. Is it the Bull Shark because of the brand of testosterone you use? Because your eyes are open like my ex-girlfriend pussy, bro. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you want. But I wish I had me some of that shit, man. Crazy anyway, guys. you have a good one, and try not to get finished. All right, that All would right. be fucked up for you if you that, did. Yeah, no, that would that wouldn't be good. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> 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 oh god i tell you what man i think the crazy hey listen now if you were a real estate agent and you had crazy eyes that'd be a problem but hey listen this is anyway <laughs> anything to say about that <laughs> all right we're just gonna forget about that <laughs> 516-522-0267 armed with the bull shark blair tugman speaking of the bull shark where'd you get your nickname well i was vacationing down in florida when i was a young kid and this thing started swimming up to me smashed it on the top of the head ended up being a bull shark ripped it up no i'm kidding <laughs> well, i was like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> it was a good story though better than the it. original <laughs> no my uh I, I my first uh clothing manager um i had a fight my first professional fight never had a nickname we decided to come up with some names he shot some names at me and said oh you know here's a few names i i like the bull shark we went with the bull shark logo and it's stuck ever since. So I still be better, but it's not true. <laughs> that story. Hey, listen, I would go with the first story. I think the first story is the way to go. <laughs> I was like, holy yeah, crap, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. You are live with the MMA holes in Blair Tugman. What's your name? Where are you from? Hey, brother, man. Uh oh, this is the MVP of the show, Craig Lee. What's going on, Craig? Oh, I am well, brother. Thank you. I'm here and I. I'm glad to have you. I'm glad to see you're on with uh, Mr. Tugman there, and they're giving him some shit, huh? Tug job. But anyway, here's what I've got a few questions here, but I'm most, I'll sort of throw them into your mindset, and you decide which ones to ask him. First, I mean, I'm not mean this ugly. Does he have a glass eye? Because it looks sort of staring straight, sort of. It's not necessarily <laughs> crazy. It's just like he's got a glass eye. I think he does. He does but he I might not. Craig, he does not have a glass eye. I mean, listen. <laughs> All right, Blair, do you <laughs> I only have one. Hey, look, I only have one eye that works, so I can bullshit. He's like yeah. saying nigga. Oh, I easy. Can say nigga <laughs> and glass eye. Listen, Craig, this is a family show for God's sakes. Uh, Craig does have a glass <laughs> eye, Blair. It's just to say, he does have a glass eye. So if anyone could say you have a glass eye, it would be Craig. So anyway, it was a it was a, a gay sex experiment experiment <laughs> that he lost his eye. <laughs> All right, Craig, what else? How you got? old is Blair, Chris? How old is Blair? I'm thirty seven. 
37. 37 down, brother. You little old to be trying to get in the game. You ain't trying to get in the game. You just want to prove a point and then do something else like Brick Mason or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm all set with that. Oh, <laughs> uh, Craig, do you have well, another? You ain't trying to use fighting as your career. I know that at 37, you can't do shit at 37. Craig Lee. I mean, I'm sure you're a badass and could kick my ass, but I've been fighting since I was nine years old you know, as far as tournaments go. All right. But I'll say this. You're a badass. I can see that. I'd hate to face you, man. You got that fucking crazy look. That's, that's going for you right now. But beware, there's people sticking to butt rape you in this chat. No one's going to butt rape Blair in the chat, for God's sakes. He could kick all of our asses in one room, Craig. What are you talking about? Oh, right. I know he could in person. We ain't fighting him. He's catching shit on the... <laughs> Have you not been looking at the chat? God, they've been roasting all right, his Craig. ass. What do you got? What's left, Craig? What's left? What's left? Do what, bud? Any other questions for Blair? Uh, yes, I do. And Blair, are you married? There's a couple more. That's a good question. Oh, I'm not. Oh, there we go. A single man there, Craig. You why? You have a proposal for him? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I just I'm sort of I'm sort of putting two and two together. Mm. So hey, Blair. Hey, Blair. Can I ask you one more question, please, buddy? I, I'm sorry. I and I'll let you I go. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> go ahead, Craig. Okay. Uh, so, right, so you're you're 37. You're single. But, and now uh, there's two questions have you ever been married and if not do you like seeing young boys naked all right Craig, you, 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 all right thank you all right i had to get rid of him that was it enough anyway okay i don't know what you want to answer there but the floor is yours <laughs> no and no <laughs> oh fuck oh my god all right so you've never been married actually one question's good uh the marriage question uh 37 years old never been married so Okay, let's talk about something here, Blair. You are a mixed martial artist. You are fighting on Spike TV, Bellator MMA, big stage, main card. Are we getting some pussy that night or what? What's going on? <laughs> I'm not thinking about anything other than putting my fist through AJ's face. That's all, I, <laughs> that's all I'm thinking about right now. That, that'll come later. <laughs> how, how is it dating as a... A fighter, uh, a professional fighter. It's got to be tough, especially when you're going through training camps. You're putting your body through so much, and you're so focused. How is it to hold a relationship? Is it tough? Yeah, it's not easy. I mean, I, I, I broke up uh, recently with someone a few months back. Um, it's hard. Uh, it takes a lot of time away from things that other people want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm so focused on preparing and being in the gym and doing my thing that sometimes people are not uh, welcoming to that idea. So, uh, sometimes that makes hard, hard life to buddy. So, uh, I haven't, I, I did, it's not something that really concerns me, uh, at all. Um, like I said, I'm just focused on and fighting AJ. Um, I'm not concerned about dating or relationships or anything like that. So what is the game plan? Now, Now, Craig brings up another point that you're 37 years old. Uh, you've been in the game for a while now. What, what is the game plan? What are we looking to do? Are we looking to steal a strap in Bellator? Are you looking to even think maybe going to the UFC? What is the, what is the finish line for a Blair Tugman? I don't, I, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, I, like I said, the, the, the only thing that's in front of me right now is all I care about, and that's mm -hmm. AJ McKee. Um, after that, then I'll concern myself with what's next. But what's next for me right now is August 25th, AJ McKee in, inside three rounds. That's all I care about. We're live with Blair Tugman, 182 Bellator against AJ McKee. It's going to be a crazy fight. I'm telling you, man, both guys are on a, a, a crash course for each other. A three fight winning streak, possibly four for Blair over here. AJ McKee, a guy doesn't know how to lose, so it's going to be crazy. We're going to take one more call, Blair, and hopefully it's not stupidity, <laughs> but we'll try one more. 516 522 0267. Be the last caller for Mr. Tugman. Uh, and. I have to say, you've been a great sport, by the way. I mean, this was a lot of fun having you on here. I'd love to have you back. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, my God. It's crazy. This, uh, yeah, this show is, it's, I don't know. I don't know what to say about the show. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. Last call here. All right, you're live with the MMA Holes Blair Tugman. Last call of the interview. What's on your mind? Where are you from? Hey, what, what's up, Chris? This is Walmart Nate. This is Walmart Nate. Oh, we have Walmart Nate Diaz on the line. What's going on? What's up, guys? I just want to wish good luck to Tugman. 
<laughs> okay. And yeah. um, I was just wondering if you could give any advice to those young fighters like me that I want to. I'm trying to get into Bellator. Okay. How so can I do it? How can I go about it? That's a great question, and thank you, Walmart Nate. Well, well, how, well, look at that. He's giving us a great question. All right, so Walmart Nate says, as a young fighter trying to get into the game, what's the best advice that you could give to that person? Yeah, that's, a, that's an awesome question. I mean, uh, first and foremost, believe in yourself and believe in your coaches and, and your training partners. Um, surround yourself with people that have similar goals to yourself. If your goal is to be to be the best, then you, you need to find a coach and, and training partners that are going to push you to be your best. And I think sometimes that's a hard thing to find. Um, and I think sometimes people are, are fooled into, you know, thinking that they're with the right uh, group of people, but they're really not. Um, um, so, you know, just, just getting out of your comfort zone, finding the best training partners, believing in yourself, finding people that are going to support you and truly care about you. And then just never, never listening to the naysayers. Um, never listening to the people that are going to tell you, you can't do it. Uh, and, and just 100% believe in yourself. And then you have to, you have to do it. You have to fully commit, um, to, to, to get to that level. You have to give it everything you have. Um, and, and you're going to have to give up a lot of things. You're not going to be able to go out. You're not going to be able to party. You're not going to be able to go on vacations with your friends and do you know, certain things. So, um, and if you're willing to do that and, and sacrifice, uh, or should I say invest into your future, uh, by training and just fully committing to, to, to being the best you can be, then good things are going to happen, man. Um, so, uh, believe in yourself and just work your ass off and I guarantee you'll get there. That's all. That's the best advice I can give you. That's actually great advice. And I think you helped him out. He's really looking to get into the game. So I think that that definitely shed some light on the, uh, the subject. I got one more question. Do you have any regrets in life? Like anything that you look back on that you could have changed? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I just gave the young kid advice. I, 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 I should have listened to that advice when I was a young kid, because when I was a young kid and growing up, uh, I was very talented wrestler and in, in high school and, wrestled division one in college and while in college uh i didn't listen to that advice and i did do some things that were not uh good for my career as far as partying and hanging out with the wrong crowd and not doing the right things and i think that was a detriment to you know my goals uh, my goal is to be a national champion in college and i never got there um so <laughs> yeah I, I i i regret i, I regret doing stupid shit when I was in college and partying too much. And, and now that I've become older and into the game of MMA, I've completely changed my lifestyle and the way I live and on the way I handle myself and look at what's happening. Good things are happening now. Mm -hmm. I have this opportunity in front of me now and there is no freaking way I'm letting it slip. Uh, I worked too damn hard and changed my life for this. And the October 25th, it's going to pay off. Well, there you go. I mean, you couldn't say it better than that. And I feel everything happens for a reason. You know, do you feel in, do you believe in fate? I do. I do. I think everything happens for a reason. And, you know, I've met people that I've met for a reason and I've been steered in certain directions for a reason. I'm back in New Jersey for this reason. Um, Andrew, my coach for a certain re reason, I've been with him for 10 years everything's coming together right now and it just feels like this is the moment you know this is the right moment i just feel super excited for it and i'm like i said i'm just happy to be here and have this opportunity and back on you know i've changed my life you know mm -hmm. whether i win or lose on august 25th my life has changed for the better so i've won already it's awesome well blair listen I can talk to you forever. I mean, seriously, this was a lot of fun hanging out with you. I'm glad you came on. I do appreciate it. Uh, Blair Tugman is going to be fighting before Maymac, August 25th. Hold on a second. We got a donation before I... And you're going to need a fucking <laughs> Someone just put a donation in. Hold on. Walmart, Nate versus Blair. I love pussy. I love weed. I love Brianna and I love Ling. MMA holds rule. Chris, we will give you and Blair time to S U C K E L. <laughs> Just to make sure you know, welcome new subs, sub if you are not. Okay.
I love life, pussy weed, MMA love <laughs> too, all in chat. All right, thank you. All right, that was Craig Lee. He called in, and thank you for the donation right there. We have to, something has to pay the bills, right, Blair? Uh, anyway, Blair, <laughs> listen, this was a lot of fun. I'd love to have you back after you win for sure, man, because I do feel you're going to win. You're going to shock the world. And uh, I just want to give you the stage right now. Uh, any sponsors, anyone you want to shout out, go for it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank all my family, my mom, dad, uh, Debbie and Jack, my two brothers, Brad and Blake. Uh, my coach, Andrew Calandrelli, all my teammates at Ultimate MMA, my sponsor, Jeff Hickok, at Anthony Highways Auto, Auto Sales in Waynesburg, PA, David Esposito, uh, Milford Vascular Institute, um, Berg, uh, he, he's helping sponsor my uh, t-shirts, Brett Kerpa uh, designed my t-shirts for me, Team Tugman Wrestling, that's my wrestling club, the best damn wrestling club in the country. Um, uh, trying to think if I forgot anybody, man. I hope not. Oh, head sharp, head sharp, mental training for my wrestlers, Chris Noto, all you guys. And then last and certainly not least, I'm dedicating this win to a little guy named Raymond McCarthy Jr. They're here down in New Jersey. I'm going to see him tomorrow at 1 p.m. in St. Peter's Hospital. This young man is fighting for his life every day, day in and day out. I stay in touch with his father uh, all the time through Facebook, and his father gives me updates on him. And this kid gives me inspiration and makes me really emotional just thinking about it. But uh, this kid's in there fighting his, for his life every day. I'm just fighting for fun and for a paycheck. So uh, after I win this, it's, it's dedicated to little Ray uh, fighting there in St. Peter's Hospital. Man, oh, man. I mean, thank if you. If, if we weren't rooting for you before, we're rooting for you now. I mean, Jesus Christ. You're going to make me cry in my own show, for God's sakes. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, but listen, this was a great time. Blair, you're always welcome back. Do it for the East Coast. Do it for everything, man. Good luck, and uh, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it, Chris. Thank you very much, man. All right. There is a Blair Tugman live in the MMA holes. Holy fuck. That was cool, man. That was cool. He was a good guy. Real good guy. Real good guy to root for. And I have a feeling it's going to be a fun fight to watch. If you check out over here, sure dog. There he is, Blair. Fucking ready. The bull shark. And he's fighting a gentleman that's, that's a formidable opponent in A.J. McKee. Bellator likes to push out these people. And A.J. McKee is one of those guys. So does Blair Tugman do the impossible and beat him? Well, it's not really impossible because if you think about it, the guy's on a three-fight win streak. He's won five of his last six. I had to do quick math there. But, um, yeah, Blair's no fucking slouch, and he's from the East Coast, so he's wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I have to uh, give respect to the chat room for going cra crazy. I have to give respect to, <laughs> to uh, the phone calls, the donations as well, because that was pretty fucking good. You guys, you guys behaved yourself as well as possible. Let's look what the chat has to say. But what did you guys think? Let me know. Do you think Blair's going to win? Are you rooting for Blair? Let me know. Dedicated to a little half... Oh, what the fuck, Steven? Oh, my God. Unite the right tomorrow. 1488 says white... <laughs> what? Good luck, Blair. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, I hope he wins, though, after this chat beating. He's a good dude. James Stuckey is a good dude, man. Real likable guy. The MMA holes ask Blair where he gets his power. Uh, there's only uh, get fucking baking soda here. Number one live show. Well, Brooklyn, you're wonderful, 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 wonderful. Rest in peace, tug bitch. All right, that's nice, Chris. We didn't hear a thing. The eye of Sarvin was in the MMA. Well, hey, we had to address the crazy eyes. I love the crazy eyes. That was awesome. Oh God. Here, Lena says I didn't know his show name was the Bull Shark. Yeah, he did. He addressed that real quick. Actually, Jay Smooth uh, wisely brought that up. With his call. That was a good call by Jay Smooth. What I'm thinking about doing is this. We have three minutes until CES. I have CES over there. We're going to do a quick Fight Buddies. We're going to switch it on over to the Fight Buddies. Why the fuck not, right? Here we go. Boom. Fight Buddies. We have transitioned. Thank you, Blair, for coming on the show. I do appreciate it. I like that interview so much. I might even clip that shit and repost that shit. I really like that interview. I think it was good. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the interview. I, listen, we learned a lot. He's a good guy. Now I want to root for him. So there you go. Um, if you enjoyed the interview, hit me with the ones right now. I'm thinking about opening the hangouts. Make this fucking a party, right? Open the hangouts up. 
get the phone lines going. I don't know. I'm thinking about having a little fun, maybe popping open the scotch. MMA holes, what do you think? Let me know. All right, I'm going to move the Fight Buddies up because now we have transitioned to Fight Buddies. It's CES MMA 45. Now, if you do not have Access TV, I will talk you guys through this. If you do have Access TV, well, put it on because it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Let's see. Here we go. Back into the Fight Buddies. All right, everything's good. We have a timer. I'll put the clock on over here. We're not going to, we're just going to have a little fun tonight. We're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, we have Blair Tugman on. If you missed it, well, then we'll run it back. Hey, Lena had a good time. Why not? Craig Lee had a good time. Walmart, great question. Arb had a good time. Joel Miller, Ishmael had a good time. There you go. Sega Cam had a good time as well. Jay Smooth. Man, oh, man. Lena says, Jesse, Johnny Five. Do we have short circuit? Jeff Fui gives a one <laughs> with an eye. Turn it up. That's right. We're going to turn it up tonight. That's for sure. Brooklyn Castillo. All right. So I'm glad you guys had a good time. Um... I tell you what, man, all credit to Blair on that one, man. He reached out to the MMA holes, and I've been thinking about having him on because of the East Coast connection. So I'm really glad that we got to link up. I really did do, uh, and I enjoyed that interview. I really did, and that's all that matters. It's all about me. I'm going to open the phone lines. Let's just get you guys' thoughts. See what you guys think. Fuck it. Phone lines are open. All right, there. 516-522-0267. Get, let me get your thoughts. CES is about to get started. i to drink some water. And it is wonderful, wonderful. All right. All right. Edward Klein says, smoke a blunt. Oh, I just spit all over the place. I just infected the whole studio. Nah, no blunts over here. But I think I will get the scotch. I think I will do that. You know what? That is what I'm going to do. Now, it's 23.15 with the subscribers. We're going to get to 23.30. And then we're going to play the King of the Cuck song. That's how that's going to go. 23.30. King of the Cuck song. Until then... I'm going to play some music. All right. This is some sexy music because I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to get some scotch. I'm going to maybe I'll masturbate for a little while. That's right. All right. We'll be right back. Go, let's go. Are you guys excited for a little Fight Buddies action? Hit me with the ones if you're pumped up. Let's go. CES MMA is about to go down with the MMA holes. Thank you again to Blair Tugman for jumping on. Let's take this off. That's right. Subscribe to the... No, follow the MMA holes. At the MMA holes. It's across my face. Let's move that around social media here we go whoa it's dancing 
at the MMA Holes. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Oh yeah. Look at that. Fucking this is this is a show. You're not tripping right now. This is actually I'm happening. Rap one on one All right. I'm gonna rap you on the other shoulder. And you're gonna All be right. the fucking army. You come take them belts off me. Chris, Whoa. send me a link. Let's have fun. Sega is here. Chris, send me a link. <laughs> hey, does anyone know chick that has B B E S T A L I K I N G Sega? I hope he gets pussy soon. His balls my bust. <laughs> Just jack that dick buddy. It is okay. We care greater than Chris. Send me a link, please. All right. So if you guys want Craig Lee on, uh, maybe we'll have Craig Lee sit in. I mean, we're going to have a little bit of a delay in the action with the fight, but um, eh, who gives a fuck? Maybe we'll have Craig Lee on. If you want Craig Lee in the hangouts for the MMA holes, well, what I need you to do is hit me with a 69 in the chat. Right now, I have what's called Johnny Walker Double Black. Let's, uh, let's get in on that. Why the fuck not, right? All right, so we're going to watch CES right over here. The first fight of the card. Well, Richie Santiago. I have a little bit of an investment in this. Richie Santiago is a gentleman that I stumbled across at Premier FC 22. And uh, I don't know. If anyone remembers him, let me know. But, um, yeah, we had him on. And he's fighting a gentleman named Miguel Restrepo. So... Two men. I heard there was a lot of shit talking in the weigh-ins over there, so we're going to go down with that. I'm going to go down all over you. Uh, how should I do this? I'm trying to figure this out. What's the best way to do this? I don't fucking know. I mean, I guess I could have our fight buddies. See, here's the thing. If I have our fight buddies in here, well, maybe I'll just have him. I don't know. I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I didn't really plan much after this. <laughs> Craig Lee gives himself a 69. Do it. Joe Miller. Who else? Eduardo says Shefuket. 70 says late night smoker. So there you go. Cheers to the MMA holes. Celebrating a CES 45 is going down. Fight buddies. And we're going to have the immortal one Craig Lee on as I pour myself some scotch. What are you guys drinking? What are you guys smoking? Let me know. I haven't drank and drinking. I haven't sipped on scotch in a little bit since the previous fight buddy. So here we go. Fight's about to get started. All right. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. There is a fight that's about to go down. Uh, Santiago versus Restrepo. If you are watching this, hit me with the ones right now. If you are watching CES, I am going to talk us through this fight. Okay? As that happens, I'm going to get the hangouts ready for Mr. Immortal One, Craig Lee. We will get him in on, on this call. Let me know if anyone else wants to jump in on the call as well. We could do that. Actually, we should just fucking open up a hangout. What do you think? I don't know. Should we just completely AIDSify the fight buddies? Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Anyone else want to get in on the Hangout? Uh, put wonderful, wonderful in the chat. All right. So now Miguel Restrepo is walking out. Now, guys, this is what I want to say here. Keep your eye on this kid over here, Rich Santiago. Seriously, keep your eye on this kid. All right. He's got four wins, no losses. But the gentleman, well, there's no fucking other stats over here. Let's see if I can find him on Sure Dog. Here we go, Rich Santiago. Um, the kid's fucking good. He's actually really, really good. Um, he hasn't lost. A lot of promise. Very good on the ground. Very slick on the ground. And um, let's just show his stats real quick. Tapology. There he is, Rich Santiago. This gentleman over here. Do you guys remember from Premier UFC 22? Well, we had him on the show. Uh, nice kid. Real nice kid. And he's got a lot of promise. All right, here we go. Uh, look at, take a look. It's in a book. His last loss was 2015, Warrior Nation, but um, that was amateur stuff. You look at his pro stuff over here, win, cancel, cancel, win, uh, cancel, win, win, and another fight is coming up right now. So, I mean, listen, the guy hasn't lost as a pro, all right? Let's see, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. finish, 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 three submissions in a row. Finish four submissions. So all pro fights by Santiago, Richie Santiago, who's about to walk into the cage right now, are by submission. This is what's cool about watching these events because you have guys, local guys, these are East Coast guys, but um, there's a lot of hype with this kid, Santiago, who is 4-0 right now. Uh, fifth appearance with CES, they're saying, about to walk into the cage. 
Remember the kid. Remember this can. He may win. This is Jay Smooth. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. It's all, it's all about finding the diamond in the muff. That's what it's all about finding. Craig, I'll link you in in a second. I'll definitely get you in. I just want to get through this fight real quick. I actually really want to see this fight. So we'll, we'll introduce the autism in two seconds. I have a million things open. Maybe I should fucking close some stuff, right? All right. Wow, there's too much shit open right now. All right, let's do this. Okay, get rid of that. Sure, doggy. Shirty doggy. We'll get rid of that as well. All right, here we go. The fight's about to get started. Access TV. If you are watching, if you're interested in watching the fight, CES 45 is going down right now. We're going to do an impromptu uh fight buddies okay we haven't really done one with ces well we did one there's the clock what should we have the clock this big or that big we're gonna have the clock right there there's probably a delay because i'm on the youtubes how many people are watching this fight right now let me know in the chat yes no yes no santiago i'm gonna be pulling for this kid i want to see what this kid can do cheers to the mma holes salute mm -mm -mm. i saw a train wreck at uh, Native Roots, says KMX193, Craig Lee says Jesse Bell Hill, if I want any lip from you, okay, I was wanting on during fights, Renato got this way ship, let me know who you got in this fight, who do you got, who do you have, they are announcing the fighters, here we go, CES does a really good job, uh, speaking of CES, Louis Serrano works with them, Louis is the guy that we've had on the show, Justin Sumter is manager of Dilly, and if you're just jumping in right now, these are, <laughs> look at this stare down between these two. Santiago. Oh, man, these guys, they want it right now. They want it. Santiago versus Restrepo. Guys, the fight is about to go down. Fight Buddies Unite. We're going CES style. I'm going to start the clock right over here. There's a delay. So let's get it going. Let's get it popping. And B. Uh, come on, let's go. There we go. Begin. All right, here we go. There's my clock. Santiago versus Restrepo going down. Axis TV, Restrepo, Santiago. Camouflage shorts versus white and gray shorts, Santiago. Here we go. Santiago pushing forward. Restrepo looking to test the distance. Santiago looks very, very confident so far to start the fight. Oh, yes, CES. They really do a nice job. I'm going to have to get my ass to one of these fights. Nice leg kick by Santiago moving forward. Look at Restrepo just moving back, 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 back. Restrepo looks like the lead singer of Rage Against the Machine. I don't know. Restrepo really, wow, nice head kick attempt by Santiago. Sorry, Chris. We wait for Connor, says Jesus Christ. Who's moist in the chat? Let me know. Oh, here we go. Left by Restrepo. That would be cool, too, to have, like, a local event, have the MMA holes jumping in, getting together at a local event. That'd be fun. Fook that juice had turkey, says Khalil Gross. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Uh, where can we stream it, says KMX193. Craig Lee came up with a great idea that uh, if you do Sling TV, the free trial, if you do DirecTV Now, which I'm watching, DirecTV Now is a good way. Just do, do the free trial. You can watch the Access TV. Here we go. Both fighters are going right now. Santiago is against the cage. Has fought his way off, and now they're back in the middle. Santiago's pushing forward again. Oh, overhand right by Santiago. Lands on Restrepo. Santiago looks like he does not fear Restrepo in any way. There is no hesitation. Santiago to one, two on Restrepo. Again, all day it's there. Restrepo with that leg kick. Connor is moist. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Overhand by Santiago against the cage, dropping elbows. Restrepo pushes off back to the middle. Santiago pushing forward again. I do notice with Santiago striking now, I mean, the guy has all submission vi uh, victories. Maybe he's trying to make it more, showcase his stand-up game. Not very impressed by the stand-up game. Now, keep in mind, he could definitely whoop my ass, I'm sure. Oh, nice left by Santiago. But how about Santiago trying to keep it on the feet here? Four submissions, four wins, four submissions, and Santiago is trading with Restrepo. One, two, Santiago. Back in the middle of the CES. One, two, kick. Look at that. Tries to drop an elbow in the mush of Restrepo. Restrepo definitely is the lead singer of Rage Against the Machine. Looks like we got a nut shot, so let's stop that shit. Stopping the cock. Ah, uh, this fight sucks. Is Craig Lee fair? This night is wrecked. Shake my head. Jesse, what happened? Jesse, what happened? 
What happened? Uh, let's see. Well, I do know what happened. A fucking nut shot happened. So the uh, Santiago is trying to shake it off. Shot to the nuts. It looks like he's fine. Getting ready to go again. If you notice this ref over here, well, he was the ref at, uh, where's the fucking clock? How do I know when to start the clock if you guys have no clock? Good. Thank you for ruining my fight buddies. Access TV with a shit job at the clock. Well, I'm a couple of seconds behind. Who gives a fuck, right? Anyway, doesn't really matter. We're watching CES. You're watching me watch CES 45. Restrepo versus Santiago, and we're just hanging with the boys right now, drinking a little scotch. Wonderful, wonderful. That's right. I need UFC fight pass. Is Jesse Bell Hill? We should all ship in and get Jesse Bell Hill UFC fight pass. If you don't have UFC fight pass, uh oh, it looks like a little bit of a a slip by Restrepo, but at the same time, Santiago is landing. Nothing crazy right now between these two. Nothing really standing out. Honestly, the, the striking of Restrepo is, is I mean, uh, Santiago, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed by his performance. Although he is winning round one, it's just a weird, sloppy, I don't know. I don't know. Chris, uh, wear some shades so I can see the fight in the reflection, says Khalil Rosa. Well, so far right now, you're not really missing much. I mean, Santiago is 4-0 as a pro, but he has not won any by strikes, all submissions, no decisions, which is interesting, but he's just looking to stand and trade with Restrepo. It's interesting. Can fights is Jay Smooth. Yeah, I'm not, impre I'm not impressed right now. You're as good as your opponent, right? Is that what they say? Craig uh, Lee, uh, LOL, you're fine. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm not the type of person who should get free trials, says Jesse Bell Hill. All right, we got 30 seconds, 36 seconds. My clock is off because of that nut shot. And, of course, they didn't let me know when they restarted the clock. MMA Holes, you're watching. We're just hanging out right now. We're hanging with the boys. Hanging with the boys. If you missed the beginning of the stream we had on uh, Blair Tugman. Blair Tugman was on. He's fighting at Bellator 182. Here's the shoot by Santiago. Stopped by Restrepo. Oh, how about Restrepo? Hit him with a right. Got the attention. And a right by Santiago. A return favor. Left Santiago, right on the mush, does not impact, killing with the name of, oh shit, right by Restrepo, Restrepo, Whoa. oh man, Restrepo finishes the round strong, and oh, fuck me, yeah, I need to stop that fucking bell, alright, anyway, I'm gonna get the hangouts going, because that round kinda gave me AIDS, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I feel about that round, but let's fix the clock over here, MMA Holes, you're watching Fight Buddy CES, we're just hanging out, we have 50 likes, so let's make the man dance. 50 likes! Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -da. Fuck John in the ass. I've got 10 more likes. I've got 10 more likes. I've got 10 more likes. Fuck you, dislikes. I've got 10 more oh, likes. That's good. Fucking I've good. Got 10 more likes. I've got 10 more likes. I hope the dislikes die. There's only two people dying of AIDS tonight. That's nice. It's good to know. All right, I'm going to open up the Hangouts. Um, I don't fucking know. Who cares? We're just having a good time over here. On a Friday night, round two is about to get started. Uh, Bruce Buffer. Let's get a video call. Let's do this. All righty. Copy link. I'm going to get the clock ready. Start the cock. And round number two is about to begin. There it is. All right, started the clock. Copy the link. Get the hangout going. Who wants a link? 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 All right. Let's do that. There we go. Get that shit going. Now, if you are new to this, we are the MMA Holes. We have weekly shows. I had Blair Tugman on, and what I'm thinking about doing is just isolating that interview and re-releasing it because it was a lot of fun having Blair on. He did a great job. I definitely want Blair back. If you want Blair back, hit me with the ones in the chat if you'd like to see Blair back on the MMA Holes. But um, it would be cool to get him back after the fight. Or even before, if he wants to come back on one more time. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> today, I just don't give a fuck. It was a weird day today. All right, Craig Lee. Should we give it to Jesse Bell Hill? Should we give it to Jay Smooth? Let me know. I'm going to give it to Craig first. All right. All right, Craig, you got the link. You got the link. There we go. Craig Lee has the link. Uh, yeah. Fight Buddies Unite. MMA Holes Unite. Oh, shit! Restrepo tags Santiago to right. 
Drops like a ton of bricks. Definitely got his attention. Why didn't Restrepo pounce on him there, man? Oh, fuck. Restrepo is winning the war on the feet. Oh, needed a head. Restrepo's got Santiago hurt. Holy crap. Here we go. We got a scrap. Santiago spins out. Goes for the single. Tries to take down. Restrepo does not want to go to the ground. Way to go, Restrepo. Fighting it off. Uh, what are you guys doing in the hangouts, though? We're, we're causing AIDS, Jesse. We're causing AIDS. That's what we're doing. I don't know. We're just going to hang out, guys. Listen, this is not a typical fight, buddies. All right? So we're just going to have a little bit of fun tonight on the MMA holes. So um, I'm just going to open up the hangouts. I'm going to drink. This is going to be like a random night. Oh, who gives a fuck? Right? Who cares? Let's just have a little fun. All right. Uh, let's see. Google Hangouts. Let's go like this. Uh, where am I? Good round. Second round is looking swollen sexy. All right. Here we go. That's my face. Let's fix this up. We got a guest live in the MMA holes. It is the immortal one, Craig Lee. Craig, what's going on? Oh, fuck. Hey, my brother. How are you? Oh, fuck. I am good. You hear me okay? I am good. I'm good, but I hear myself too, Craig. Hear oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, maybe you might want to jump out and in. It's uh, very echoey. Jump back. Yeah. Jump out back in. All right. All right. I'm trying to get Craig Lee on the line. Have him hang with the boys. On the MMA holes? Hang with the boys. Uh, I'm good for a link, but I don't have any fights. Left my ass off. I'll just chill. All right, so Jesse wants him. Uh, fight duddy. This is John Tamarino. Now, this is going to be complete autism. This is going to be a complete shit show tonight. We had the good part of the show. Blair Tugman was great. I had a great time talking to him. Now, we, we inject AIDS as Santiago is in really bad shape. Are we going to witness Santiago's first loss? Holy shit, he is getting owned on the feet. Lefts are hitting. Santiago is in fucking trouble, but how about that? He shakes it off. He's like, fuck that. Your punches do not hurt me. Santiago with rights moving forward, tapping the jab. Oh, fuck. Left and a right by Restrepo hitting the mush of Santiago. Santiago is in trouble. Santiago gets the fence. We got a war. Look at these two going. How about the chin on Santiago? When Santiago gets popped. He's like a fucking... Oh, takedown by Santiago. Holy shit. Oh, man. Here comes the choke. Here comes the choke. Santiago taps him out. Santiago taps him out. Win. 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 Santiago for the win. How about that shit? Santiago for the win. Second round. My man was getting fucking killed. He was getting killed the second round. Owned on the feet. Santiago know, shoots. <laughs> Holy shit. God damn it. That was awesome. Craig, you see that shit? Holy yeah, crap. Yeah, man. I was sort of shocked, actually. He was losing that round. He was getting owned on the feet. I was, I mean, that's why it took me. I was just stunned all of a sudden. Damn. That's why I say even these amateur fights, you never know, brother. Dude, this is a pro fight, Craig. This is a pro fight. That was a oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. No, that was pro. That's a pro. This is a pro card right now. And and Santiago's got this is his fifth win. Damn. All submissions. Keep an eye on this <laughs> fucking kid. Guys, listen, it started off a little weird. Sloppy. Santiago, I think, wanted to show his his game as a as a striker, you know, showcase some skills over there. But uh no. This man belongs on, on the ground. He finished him so goddamn fast. It was like amateur hour over there. Opening up the card. Fifth win in a row, Richard Santiago. Congratulations on the win, Craig. Holy fuck, man! Man, oh man! I'm blown away. I gotta tell you, like I say, I was just sort of getting bored there a little bit, Chris. Honestly, and then boom. Listen, let me know in the chat if you guys saw what just happened there. That was awesome stuff. Very sloppy on the feet, Craig. Right? I think I think Restrepo had the edge on the feet. Restrepo was countering. He knocked his fucking mouse pe mouse piece. <laughs> Yes, Brady Ferguson, oh mouthpiece. God, he knocked his now, mouthpiece. I got to say this now: um, this uh, sling TV is not worth the shit. It's it, you know, it comes and goes, but you know, still, I got, to, I'm getting to see it. Well, Craig, I have to say, maybe the next time around, try Direct TV now. You could do it as an app or on the computer, and I think you'll get 30 days free. So the next time, okay. yeah, okay. the next time, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, or it might be seven days. I could be wrong. But anyway, even yeah, if you no, get... They have that. I knew I just chose that when I thought it'd be easier. And But anyway, you know, it's all good. Regardless, it was a good move by you. I'm watching on DirecTV now. I'm not even watching on cable. But God damn. You know what? Look at Restrepo's face. His face is lumped up. I know. Really? Holy shit. God damn. Oh, I got to give Jesse a link. I had a little bit of autism for a second there. 
<laughs> oh, we're going to get just in the hizzle. <laughs> Holy fuck. See, here's the thing, guys. I was getting I was getting put to sleep in the first round. Sloppy striking by both fighters. And uh, God damn, man. That, that second round... That was legit, Craig. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Hey, look, I'm in defense of Chris, Brian. Brian Rogers said, Chris, you got a pretty excited for a shitty fight. It was a shitty fight, <laughs> but dude, all of a sudden it turned gangster real fast, right? <laughs> well, here's the deal, guys. I'm not I'm not doing this as if I was doing uh, a fight buddies for the UFC. And to be totally honest with you, I know two guys on this card, and that's it. And it's only because we ran into them and they were on the show. That's the only reason why I know what's going on here. I mean, this is just for fun, you know. This is this is not fucking. I'm not Joe Rogan right now, you know. I'm just a fucking Look, fan. It's fun. It's free. We're hanging out with you. We're hanging out with the hoes. We're getting the buzz. It's all good. That's right. Oh, Renato's giving some props. Thank you, Renato. Chris kind of slick on the commentating. Thank you, Renato. See, I knew there was there was someone over here that has a brain in their head. <laughs> all right, let's give it to. Speaking of brain, let's give a link to Jesse. You guys ready for some autism, Craig? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right so we got another fight coming up now this next fight there's only two fights i really give a shit about right now and the next fight you guys will re hey you guys might recognize this man he fought for bellator he was on the mma holes live and his name is nick nicholas alley craig do you remember this man nick alley Yes, I do. I was going to say, yes, I do. So this is going to be interesting. So, so once you see somebody on your show, you got a little bit more, okay, I wonder what's really going to happen. You sort of care a little bit more. That's right. That is absolutely right. Now, if you guys missed, when I interviewed Rich Santiago, I just felt something about this kid. And when it was a sexual feeling, it was, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it was just something about him. I, I just had that feeling. I remember coming home and I was like, you know what? This kid might be fucking good, man. I'm going to keep an eye on this kid. And sure enough, he got his fifth win, all submissions. Damn, keep an eye on this kid, man. Rich Santiago, is, he's no joke. I, I think he has to tighten up his fucking stand-up game, but it is what it is. Let's move to Nick Alley. He's fighting a guy named Gary Boletto. And um, Nick Alley, if you don't remember, was on our show. We did a full episode of the MMA Holes with Nick. Real cool dude. Four for Premier yeah, FC. He was. He's a good dude. That's right. And he fought for Bellator and got owned. Got owned owned on bellator like yeah, he did. bad really really bad we have that effect on people chris <laughs> yeah the kiss of death the mma holds kiss of death that's what we do <laughs> yeah having a wonder boy having the fucking wyman <laughs> no wonder connor won't come on our show <laughs> but anyway nick alley's fighting a guy named Gar gary boletto now this guy gary boletto according to uh lewis is a tough dude he's he is three and one so it's not like, oh, my God, he's got a crazy record. But apparently he's a really tough guy. I'm not sure. I don't know much about the guy, so don't quote me on this. But apparently he's a tough fighter. Let's see if Nick could bounce back in CES. He's pumped up. I spoke to him on social media, and he's ready to go. So, Craig Lee, what do you think? Nick Alley, does he bounce back? That's a hard one to call, brother. I mean, honestly, I, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, it is a tough call. I just picked up coffee instead of my scotch by accident. I'm all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, are you smoking right now? Of course. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the menu? Do what, bud? What, what do you got on the menu tonight? Uh, besides Brie and Ling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm just smoking some good old gangster bud. You know, smells like a skunk's ass in here. Nice. Very nice. That's wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. And also, yes, uh, I decided tonight to break out some of the Bama Moonshine. Just a tad. Ooh, Bama Moonshine. Wow. Now, oh, shit. This stuff is rocket fuel, brother. I bet. We got to get some Craig Lee mu Moonshine up in this bitch. I've had Moonshine a couple of times, but... um. Oh, it's, have you really? I mean, the real stuff then. Okay. I didn't yeah. Know. Well, my, uh, who was it? My wife's cousin uh, had uh, had some, I forgot where he got it from, but it had like the cherries in it. Like the, it was just sitting in there for God knows how, like years. This cherry was just, the cherries were fermenting. They were white, the cherries. And um, hmm. they were like, if you never had cherry moonshine, but okay. I think the cherries ruined it. I'm not going to lie. I, I I'm like. sure they did because fuck it, man. Moonshine should taste like scorching gangster alcohol i think you can't flavor i'm you know that's another this is another going off course but flavoring liquors that's starting to suck man they fuck up some of the best liquors by giving them some kind of other flavor do you agree or disagree people want to know i i a hundred percent agree when it comes to alcohol do not taint it with anything do not I, now when i was a kid 
yeah, you could put some fucking fruity shit or or soda or something like that. No, no more, no more, Craig. I don't need to taint my alcohol. Hell I need no. it neat as a motherfucker. I need. I just need to sip on it, like a swole man needs to sip on. It. I don't know if it's my age. I don't know what it is, but you no, know, it's it's part of really. If you start, you know, that's like there's a difference between just trying to get a buzz real quick and trying to enjoy your drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're learning that that by sipping whiskey. You understand that now. Yeah, I mean, I used to drink a lot of uh, what the fuck was it? Oh man, I can't think right now. Uh, ginger ale and uh, why am I? I'm having like these ginger ale with mixed with liquor. God, that must oh, be horrible. horrible. Craig, it was terrible. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what am I thinking of? I went through a, a a fucking weird stage. I don't know. I can't. I can't think right now. I think the scotch is seeping into my pores. Jay Smooth was talking about Everclear. You remember that shit, don't you? Yeah, I do actually. P PGA, basically, right? Yeah, there was. There's a lot of phases that I went through. <laughs> a lot of phases. We all did, my friend. But you know the thing is, now you're appreciating the finer things in life. That's true. Scotch, such as uh, being, you know, the sexy swole scotch. <laughs> you know, and here's the thing: scotch is very expensive if you go to um, a restaurant or something like that. But here's my logic: if you go to a restaurant or a club or a bar or whatever, and you order scotch, and you, they're fucking hitting you over the head for like God knows upper twenties for a little fucking. Uh, <laughs> two fucking scoops of scotch. Uh, here's the thing. If you have two glasses of a double shot of scotch, it'll get you to the same place as if you have fucking, uh, I don't know, six beers oh, or five beers. Yeah, man, it's ridiculous, man. Who wants to drink all them fucking beers, really? It's true. And now you're spending, or at least in New York, 10 to $15 on a beer if you're in events or, or a conference. Oh, really? Or like that. God damn, man. Oh, I never drink beer. I mean, in New York, I usually, when I get my room, you know, I have... I, what I usually do is go to the local liquor store and get me some some whiskey. <laughs> KMX is like, what the fuck? $15 for a beer? KMX, yeah. welcome to New York, my friend. I've been to places where if you go to a sporting event, be prepared to spend, uh, spend like 12 13 bucks for a beer. Not even kidding I'd like you. to be the dude selling those beers and making the profit. Yeah, it's it's a joke. It's a fucking joke. New York is so freaking I mean, is that expensive. pretty much normal, Chris? No shit at any sporting event? If you're in New York and you go to a sporting event, be prepared to bring your assless chaps because you're going to get raped. <laughs> you're going to get fucking raped. Yeah. Well, shit, you're not, man. Well, I mean, you know, I, can, I you know, I've I've been to ball games and stuff, but like I say, I've always, I've like you said, I've never been a, a beer fan, and so I always snuck in a <clears> flask, <throat> you know. And anyway, whatever. Okay, cool. Well, here's the question. I, I hope you do get some of the guys there to hook up with you, man, in New York. That would be awesome. I really want to do it, guys. The fuck uh, you in the ass in New York, says Olympia. Yeah, they do. They fuck you hard in the ass. Nick Alley's walking out to the cage right now. We're going to talk about comes. this this MSG event. We're going to we're going to speak about this because I really am serious about this. When when it comes to the weigh-ins, I want to get the MMA holes together. It's a free event. You just got to get your ass there, and I really would like to do this. So if we'll talk about it afterwards. Um. What the fuck? Craig, I move things around on my screen and then everything just falls out. Why? <laughs> Not like, I don't know. Uh, what the fuck? I hate when this happens. I have so much shit going on. I have two monitors. I know you know how monitors go, Craig. It's shit all over the place. But, um, god damn. All right, so here we go. Nick Alley is fighting. <laughs> Nick Alley is fighting Gary Boletto. Nick Alley, let's check out his record over here. I can't remember because my, my head is fried right now. I look really white. This is bad. Nick Alley's pro record is one and one. The other one victory, well, that was at Premier FC 22. I got to, to witness that one. Finish the man. This is a big fight for Nick Alley, man. He came off of a fight with Bellator. He was headlining the prelims, <clears throat> and it was a big opportunity for him. And he got put against a gentleman that was one of Bellator's boys. Now, this is what Bellator does. Bellator definitely showcases a guy and then puts someone up against them. And AJ McKee, the same thing with, with, with Tugman. It's the same shit, Craig. How about Blair Tugman calling out James Gallagher? Could you imagine, Craig? Yeah, that's, you know, okay, that's another one. See, you know, of course, I'm going to say this about Blair. I, I'm glad you brought that up, by the way, real fast. You know, I'm sure Blair's a tough son of a bitch. He does have the crazy eyes. And they, I mean, I'm sure he's been told that more than once, but... You know, but he's not. He's at the age where he's not where he's going to be able to continue a career in this. You know that. He knows that. It's now or never for Blair. He's on a three-fight win streak. He's won five of his last six. six. <clears throat> I'm sure he's the guy at the gym where everyone looks up to because he's the veteran. But when it comes down to it, it's now 
or never. He's going against a young stud in AJ McKee, and the guy doesn't lose. If Blair Tugman can win this fight, this might mean something different. This might be something that might give Blair the chance. He has a very small window, but who knows, Craig? You're in Bellator. Now, if this is the UFC, I think it would be a totally different story. I think at 37 years old, the UFC would be a whole different ballgame. <clears throat> but- well, can I just be totally honest? Go for it, Craig. Now, being a man that's 55 and has competed in tournaments over 200 times, uh, let me say this. He's done. There's no sense. In, he just needs to win this fight to prove he still has a little bit of juice left in his nut sack and be done with it. He can go nowhere, Chris. It takes a year sometimes to get ready for a good fight, much less a contender fight. Man, dude, God bless him. I wish him nothing but love, but fuck it, man. You're dreaming if you, you got a career in this. I'm sorry. But, Craig, he's on the main card fighting A.J. McKee right now, who is undefeated. If he beats an A.J. McKee in, in the Bellator world, this could, this could catapult him to a, a contender shot. Bellator is different. There's no ranking with oh, Bellator. No, Bellator is totally different. And I agree with you on that. But as a rule, I don't, yeah, I got you, brother. Here we go. Nick Alley versus, and we, we're going to talk about this a little bit more later. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. I like this. Nick Alley versus Gary Boletto going down both three and one. I don't know why MMA Junkie said that. Three and one as pros. So here we go. This fight's about to go. I have a feeling it's going to be a quick one. Now, Nick Alley, keep an eye on him. He's a very quirky fighter, he's a little unorthodox. Uh, but who knows? Maybe that could work in his favor. He's, he's there, his hands in the air right now, representing, representing Nick Alley. So there we go. Who do you guys think have this fight? If you are watching, if you're just watching us, we'll just have a drink and relax. I sent a link to Jesse Bell Hill. I think she, she's too busy finger blasting herself. So maybe she can't come in right now, Craig. <laughs> Heard a vibration. I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> Jesse Bell Hill. She's like, <laughs> right, <laughs> right in the chooch. All right. Oh, good. My fucking stream is freezing. Uh, I, I'm curious to see how far behind I am with you, Craig. I'm going to set the clock up, get the clock ready. I'm going to go on our Fight Buddy screen. But my okay, fucking shit is... Oh, it's freezing, Craig. Oh, oh I, I know. Your, your uh, audio's breaking up, too, dude. My audio's breaking up? Just a little bit. Now and again. Now and again. Not all, all right. the time, but now and again. Okay, I think that's a Hangouts issue. So, at least the people... That's what it is. It's the Hangouts. Yeah, yeah. so we'll, we'll, we'll have aids between us, but the people will hear us. So, that's all that really matters. Man. You got it, brother. Craig, I need to tan in the worst way. I'm, I am so white. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Holy fuck. Now, you're not that white. You've got a little bit of a tan. It's bad. It's really bad. All right, the fight's about to get started. Here we go. They touch gloves. Brian Minner is the ref. Brian Minner was the ref at Premier FC 22. There you go. All right, so let's go, kids. Fight's about to go. Who do you guys have? Let me know right now. Ali or Boletto? Let me know in the chat. Finger Flip bliss. a quarter is probably just as accurate. <laughs> we have Craig Lee live on the MMA holes, and we're just having a little fun right now, right? A little fun hanging with the boys. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. That's right. Let's start the clock. I'm going to start the clock right now. The fight's about to get started. I'm probably delayed from you, Craig, but who, who knows? I don't know. All right. My clock. We're very started. close. We're very close, actually. All right, I got four minutes and fifty-seven, six, five seconds. Whoa, my man is coming out swinging. Boletto knows. Now Nick Alley's last fight, he got smoked on the feet, absolutely smoked. Let's see if Nick Alley could uh, bounce back. He's very confident going into this fight. Friends of the MMA holes, so of course we're going to be biased in this fight. But let's see. Come on, Alley says Jesus Christ. He's done says Jay Smooth. Jesse is being racist somewhere says Darth Bane. Wonderful, wonderful. Jesus, man, this is already out there on the floor. Allie is an MMA hole, says Jesus Christ, and there you go. I definitely have a little bit of a delay. Oh, fuck me. There, yeah, I'm definitely delayed from you, Craggy boy. Holy fuck. Look at the heel hook by Boletto. Allie's squirming out of it. This could be a bad situation for Boletto if, he could, if Allie could get out. Still going for the heel. Heel hook time. Whoa, that looks a little tight. Allie is twisted around and looking to slip out, and Allie slips out. Now he goes for a single. Allie goes for a single, trying to take down Boletto. Boletto, good defense, keeps it on the feet. Yeah, Craig, you're definitely ahead of me, but that's all right. I'll, I'll give some aids right here. One, two. Wow, Boletto is crisp. Crisp with his punches. But Allie's a tough dude, man. He eats the left, and here's a nice big right by Allie. Allie in premiere was losing the first round, was losing a fight, and wound up submitting, my man. So who knows? Remember, Quirky has a good chin. Let's Man, see. Allie's getting beat down. He's the, Oh, fuck that right lance flush on Allie's chin. Oh, my God. This is the same shit that happened with Bellator. Look at Boletto. Chris shots to the face. 
Tries to go for a choke. Turns around. Goes for the back. Ali is in. Oh, Ali's in deep shit. Ali. <laughs> Ali. Oh, fuck me. Boleto goes. Has the back. Goes for an arm bar over here. Ali is slipping around. Quirky stuff on the floor. Not for nothing. Boleto is piecing up Ali on the feet. Why not keep it on the feet, Craig? I don't know. I don't. You're right, brother. I don't know if I like this. Boleto going to the floor at Ali. Looking to pass. Maybe he might get mounted on this one. He's got the knee into the midsection of Ali. Ali's getting back up. <laughs> uh oh, Craig's laughing. Craig's in the future right now. Let's see what we got. Ali's holding on to one foot on the floor. Boleto on top and a shot to the ribs by Boleto. Boleto has the Batman symbol. Elbow to the ribs. Ali's got his head in Boleto's ball. Oh, no. Ali reverses on top inside the guard of Boleto. And like I said before, Boleto probably should not be playing on the floor with Nick Alley. Nick Alley on top doing some work. Boleto tries to push off. Bo Alley's stuck in guard. Boleto still trying to push off. Will Alley try to do something? Look at the high leg by Boleto. Alley's sticking it in guard and working in guard. The tail of two rounds. I have a two minutes and ten seconds left of the first round. Alley Boleto. Interesting stuff, man. Good trading between the two. Boleto has the advantage on the feet, but here we go. If Ali could stay on top for another two minutes here, Ali could steal a round. Craig, how about Ali doing some work on top? Boleto gets that high well, leg think, up. You know, it's like this, brother. I'm sort of surprised. With it. Now, the thing is, I can hear you at real time, Chris, by the way, because I'm listening to you on Hangouts. I mute the, the stream. So I'm listening to you on Hangouts, so we're pretty much within a few seconds. So, yeah, you're, you're, by the way, your commentary is on point, dude. I have to fucking refresh my stream. My, my stream has AIDS right now. It keeps fucking stopping, Craig. So I just restr- uh, uh, AIDS, 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 AIDS. All right. 120. Wow, I'm seven seconds. Okay, I'm back in business, kids. I got 116 right now. It just kept on freezing on me. They're back to the feet right now. Back to the future. I'm into the fight, though, Craig. One minute. Oh, a, yeah, I'm digging it now. I'm digging it. It's getting on up. Ali, Nick Ali versus, what's his name? Gary Boletto. Was I calling him Restrepo? I don't even know what the fuck I was calling him. <laughs> Gary Boletto. Anyway, Chris is Cave Beast Wasted, says Darth Bane. A little, hey, I'm sweating. Ali right is just uh, is being like a, a little school child being beat bad. Ali on the feet, no good. How did they get up, Craig? I missed it because my stream got all fucked up. How did they get back up? Boletto was off. Of his away. Oh, so he was off his back. He kicked off and, and just got up. All right. So anyway, they're on their feet right now. 33 seconds. My clock is a little bit off because I had to restrict. Whoa. Hey, head kick by Ali. I don't know if Ali did enough on the ground to win the round. It definitely looks like Boleto won the first round. 20 seconds left. But Ali hung in there. Ali just beat ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at these two. Leg kicks by Ali. Checked by Boleto. Interesting fight so far. Some sloppiness, but fun to watch. Never, uh, nevertheless. Ali would have right. Goes in for a clinch. Muay Thai needed a mush by Ali. Oh, eats an elbow on the way in. Oh, one, two, Ali. Round's over. All right, here we go. Round is Damn, over. Damn, you know, a little weirdness, but quick. That is good. I got to fix something, Craig. Hold on a second. Good shit, though. All right. I had to reset my stream. DirecTV now just gave me cancer. What's up, Mike H? Says, hi, Chris. What's going on? Late night smoker. What's going on? No, Floyd out. What's the fuck? What is he talking about? Floyd out injured yesterday night. Paulie is stepping in. Fuck this. Look at this guy. So we have a guest right now live on the MMA holes. Check it out. What do you want me to stop, Jesus? Let's play the music right now. We got a guest live on the MMA holes. Jesse Bale. All right. Jesse, welcome, kid. Hola. All right. Jesse, All right, Jesse's still going with the uh, curly look. I like it. I told you, it makes your head look good with your ratio of your body. It's perfect, <laughs> darling. Jesse. Thanks, Greg. There you go. The head to curly ratio is in effect. And I, I said the same thing. I agree, Craig. I actually agree with you on this one. Uh, I started the clock. I got to get a clock on here. You two talk while I get this shit going. Chris, no, seriously, sweet so girl. Serious. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Chris's microphone is seriously, like, glitching. Yeah, it is glitching hard, but I can still understand him. But, yeah, I don't know what that is. Hold on a second. Now, let me know. Is it is it glitching on the stream or just the Hangouts? It's, it's glitching the on the stream. 
On, I mean, on the hangouts, I mean, I think only. Ask them. Yeah, right. All right. So here's usually, usually the hairdo's better this way, baby. <laughs> All right. This is what I'm going to do. On, let's, on let's, the stream, it's clear. Okay. On the stream, it's clear, but on the hangouts, it's no good. I'm going to ask you guys yeah. to do this for me. If you could jump out and in, both of you guys jump out and in. Let's see if that works. If it doesn't work, we're going to reset the whole stream. You got it. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Hangouts is a fucking bitch, man. All right, I put the clock on the screen right now. Fight Buddies Unite. We are watching. Oh, Allie gets popped on the floor. In trouble. The fight is over. The fight is over. Allie gets fucking smoked on the ground. Oh, for fuck's sake, Nick. Oh, man, Nick is in trouble, man. That was tough to watch. Boletto puts Nick away. Wow, man. The striking is just way crisper on the other end. Oh, I hate watching a friend of the show get fucking smoked. But Jesus Christ. Jesse is a hot tomboy, says Chris Age. B Bax is Olympia Low Life Rom Zombie. The audio is fine. All right. So, yeah, it's a hangout thing. We'll, we'll fix it, kids. Oh, my God. If you're just jumping in, Nick Alley, friend of the MMA holes, just got smoked. We're one win, one loss on the MMA holes on this one. Man, Nick. Fuck. Oh, I was pulling for you, buddy. Nick Alley just got smoked. All right, Jesse, how do I sound? Any better? Much better. Awesome. All right, Jesse, welcome to the show. I'm not going to play the song again. We're going to get Craig, Craig Lee. So, Jesse, let me explain what happened. Our friend, Nick Alley, MMA hole, just got the shit kicked out of him. He got hit with a right. I'm going to explain what happened right now. He got hit with a right. Boom! Right on the fucking mush. Oh, that hurts to watch. He falls down, Jesse. I'm going to walk you through this. Actually, he doesn't fall down right away. Now he fell. Okay, anyway. Man jumps on top of him. And literally beats his, bounces his head off the fucking mat. <laughs> and I missed it. I missed all of it. Oh, fuck you, Jesse. What the hell? What the <laughs> all right. All right. So Jesse's the live struggle. on the show. All right. So here we go. You are talking. Uh oh, fidget spinner. That means she's either. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. But uh, all right. We got Craig Lee okay, back on the line. Back. All right. Craig. Craig, welcome to the. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Now, Craig Lee usually is a little louder. Jesse's a little lower. We're going to balance you guys out right now. We're going to have Jesse talk first. Jesse, give me a little check. One, two. One, two. All right. So Jesse's coming in a little bit low. So I'm going to move her up. All right, Craigie boy. Give me a one, two. Check one, two, one, two. All right, Jesse, one more one, two from you, please. One more one, two. All right. So, Craig, if you could do me a favor. I know you have a swoller set up than Jesse. I could hear it in your voice. Is there any way you could lower your mic just a tad? Jesus, let me see. Now, I'm just using my headset tonight, brother. Okay. I'm, I'm not using the actual audio interface. All right, so let Jesse, just, it's on you, kid. Let me just in real quick. Because Jesse, right. Jesse, you have an interface or do you have like a mixer? <laughs> interface. <laughs> uh, I'm, using my, I'm using my headphones, Craig. All right. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Yeah. Let me yeah. see if I just mine real quick. Uh, Chris, just give me one second. Let me see if I can adjust this. Uh, yeah, I, I want you guys both to be clear. That's the only reason. All right, let me get my properties brought up Chris. here. And, yeah. Chris, I only have your profile picture again. You only have my profile? Oh, shit. I guess you want to see me, right? I guess that's part of the deal. Okay, Chris. This well, I mean, is I, I, I'd like to kind of know what's going on in the stream. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris, you, how's this? You demanding bitch. <laughs> All right. Let's, Chris, uh, is this better? Actually, you sound you do sound better there, Craig. It's I went into my straight into my settings, and brought it down to sixty percent. All right, so good, Craig. Thank you. I appreciate it. Jesse's she is technologically uh, disabled, so we need to get it's Craig. Okay. Yeah, no sweat. I am. Uh, but hey, man, the video on both of y'all on Hangouts is perfect. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do one more quick sound check. Uh, Jesse, give me a uh, a sexy one, two, three. I mean, testing. Sexy one, two, three. All right. Craig, give me it. <laughs> Sexy one, two, three. All right. I'm going to put it a little louder. Anyway, Jesse's a little bit lower. So if, if you quit twiddling that shit, Jesse, it'd help you. <laughs> You're not right there where your microphone is. You're fucking with that thing, <laughs> that goddamn fidget spinner, girl. <laughs> Maybe you can use something oh, to fuck. be more entertaining. <laughs> Craig, you're making Jesse uncomfortable right now. I think she's. Craig, I think you're making it's an her addiction. moist. <laughs> well, just stay the fuck off of it. You didn't have one yesterday. Okay, you, you... can I, Craig? Can I tell you something about the fidget spinner? Sure. All right. So when I first heard about the fidget spinner trend, I thought it was the dumbest fucking thing in the world. It I is. I thought that people people spinning fucking plastic. You were correct. So it is stupid. 
But I found myself buying one about two days ago for no fucking reason. I started spinning it. Next thing I know, I'm doing tricks with it, fucking balancing the shit on my nose. Like, look, if you, look, let me say this, Jesse, if you're an avid masturbator, you'd be doing that. I mean, come on, it's just, it don't matter, just whatever, it's okay to fidget your spinner, but it ain't, it ain't okay to fidget your, your bean. Look, girl, I'm just telling you, but go ahead, but if you want, you want to keep fucking up your audio, keep spinning that thing right there by your microphone. I, I Chris, but yours ain't, yours, I can't hear yours, she's on that little headset and that little microphone's right there by her hand. That she's spinning. But go ahead. It's all good. I've got really good news for you guys. One sick Chevy is now an MMA hole. How do you guys feel about this? Who's that? Damn it, Jesse. One sick Chevy. You're fucking the whole thing up. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hold Sorry. on a second. You can hear it rubbing yeah. against your damn hair and stuff. Your little microphone. Pull it away from your hair and your boobs. Or tape it to your mouth or something. That's, isn't that the Look mic you're this using out right there? Go. The microphone? Yeah. All right, here we go. It's rubbing against your hair and making all that noise, baby. That's all. Okay. This is what we need Jesse to do, all right? We need, well, first of all, we need everyone. Yeah, there's a lot of rumble. It sounds like Jesse is fingering the microphone. So we need to get, we need to get some more donations in Jesse's uh, way. We need her to get her like a phallic looking microphone so she can. I'm going to donate some money right fucking now. <laughs> Next time you go live, I'm donating you money. I'm going to buy you a damn microphone <laughs> right now. Can you hear it? Because you certainly didn't produce no video that said I wanted to fuck you like you said I said. Because I, she said that in front of Marlene too, man. I said, I said, woman, you are full of shit. You never said, I never said that. And she, I said, you produced the video shut up let me finish whoa i said you produced the oh yeah i said you produced the video that i said that in i'll give you a hundred dollar bill she couldn't she can't because i never said that jesse i think of you as a sister now in the context we're not going that again but look i'll sit, look go on live next time you go live if you go live after the show i'll fucking send you enough money to get you a fucking microphone <laughs> done there you go yeah we need operation get jesse a microphone jesse you have a retaliation to what craig said there I didn't look for the video. I, I honestly didn't look. I completely forgot. After the after show, I was just, I was a little bit Because exhausted. it does not exist. Oh. <laughs> I swear to you, Craig, I can find it. I know I can find it. What do you want me to say? Hey, Jesse, if I, I told you it was in the realm. If I ever said anything near that, it would be in the context of, oh, if I was 21, yeah, I'd probably put a dick in you. That's all I probably would have said if I said that. <laughs> I put a put dick in you. Let's be honest. I think the rest of the, oh, okay. the chat room would probably put a dick in Jesse if, if we had to be honest, right? Let's, let's take a vote right now. What does that even mean, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know how this chat room works, and they're horny fucks. So I'm speaking <laughs> on behalf of these savages. Right, chat room? Let me know if you would put a dick in Jesse. Hit me with the ones. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> ones for dick and Jesse. Let me know right now. Why? All right. We are live with Jesse Bell Hill and Craig Lee. Uh, this is the next fight. I just uh, listen. This is not your normal fight, buddies. There is another fight that's about to go down. We're pretty we'll go down. Uh, <laughs> Brandon Saylor versus Chris Mutinhu. I am not. I know. How do you say that? I know. I'm looking at that. <laughs> Mutinhu. Uh, I'm not going to pay much attention to this fight. I will put the clock up. We will discuss if anything crazy happens, but we're just going to have a little fun tonight. So if you're having a good that's time, that's what we're doing, brother. It's okay. This is a great night. It is a great night. Let me know if you guys could hear Jesse and Craig. I know Craig is coming in really good. Jesse's coming in a little bit low. But uh, do we really want to hear Jesse? That's really good. <laughs> 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 Jesse, we're, we're, we're ganging up on you tonight. <laughs> don't sweat it, Jesse. We're going to have you mic'd up. Now, Jesse, here's what I'm going to tell you to do. And I, I don't mean to be a bossy dude. And Chris would probably agree with what I'm about to tell you. Which, unless Chris has one, if he has one, he needs to send it to you, but I'll be happy to donate. But you need is with a blue Yeti like the the MMA barber uses. The the blue Yeti, it's $129. They got them on sale on, on Amazon, the gray edition. You plug it straight in, USB, perfect audio, has three different settings. That's what you need. That's all you need. Now that you're starting to be familiar with how to fool with the OBS and stuff. Chris, it's a you know you know which kind of microphone I'm talking about, don't I, you? I sure do. Now, Jesse, does this microphone make you uncomfortable right now? Look into the camera and let me know. Let the audience know. I'm holding up a microphone right now, and let me know if this microphone makes you slightly uncomfortable. Oh my god! <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. 
That's exactly oh, what we want you to have right. because it works good, does it not, Chris? I'm it's sure. Yeah, Craig. No, I'm sure it does. This is the thing. Now, Jesse, Jesse looks at this microphone in a way you shouldn't look at this microphone. But this microphone is meant for voices, not vaginas, Jesse. So, well, we Chris, to- I'll even go another step further. How about this? If she will accept <laughs> that exact microphone, and if she will accept that I have a custom-made head of a penis. <laughs> As a, a as a pop filter, mm-hmm. we'll get that for her too, and she will she will we'll have that to her next week. But it has to have a penis head as a pop filter. <laughs> this is definitely Craig. I think we're gonna get arrested after this stream. Thank God Jesse's of age, but I think we're gonna get arrested. <laughs> we can't. We've done nothing wrong. She's twenty one. That's, That's true. Okay. And that pop filter, right. that thing would make a really good addition to her show. We're going to do a little commercial. No sponsor here. The Blue Yeti. Well, if you look at the pop filter, you need a pop filter on here because all the peas, you won't hear them anymore. So you put this little piece on here like this, and you won't hear it anymore. But this is the Blue Yeti. There it is. You put the pop filter on, and you got amazing audio. Jesse, get one of these. But use it for your stream, not for Jesse's anything. lost her shit totally, man. Yeah. All right. She's lost it. <laughs> Sit on that Are mic, you Jesse. horny Clarice? All right, we got a fight. That's about to go down. Fight buddies unite. Jesse's it's about to have a heart attack. 4 0 versus 6 5 0. Look at this shit. Mutino versus. What is that noise? Jesus Christ, I'm getting AIDS. It's Jesse. She's <laughs> shaking and laughing, and it's that microphone hitting her titty. Can some. What? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. It really is. I'm just telling you the truth. Jesse. I'm just, it's laying down on that little mic, and it's hitting her titty. Jesse. But she laughs. Look. Is the microphone okay. hitting your titty? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is getting bad. We're losing control here. All right. <laughs> I just lost the Hangouts for a second. All right. So if you're just jumping in on the MMA Holes Live, there is a microphone that's rubbing against Jesse Bell Hill's titty. If, and uh, it's making all that noise. If you were confused, now you're not confused anymore. Jesse, <laughs> are you regretting coming into this stream? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Craig, what are we doing? Fly away. Fly. Fly away. All right. Okay, so the fight's about to go down. Now, I am not going to give a, a crazy play-by-play on this one. Both of the guys that I want to see has fought. I don't even know if that's proper English. But um, this next fight over here, Chris Mutino versus Brandon Saylor. Well, this is uh, in the middle of the fight card. It's going down right now. And, hey, if anything good goes, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to put the clock up right now. But regardless, let's just have a little fun, guys, all right? Because Jesse's not watching the fight. She's just here f- for the boys, right? Hey, you with the boys? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves Jesse. Yeah. If you like Jesse on the MMA holes, hit me with the ones in the chat. If you don't, type AIDS right now. All right. There's going to be so many AIDS in that chat room. <laughs> I'll just voice my one. All right. Ah, oh, fuck. I missed it. I already missed the clock. Jesse, what are you doing to us? Sorry. That's all right. I forgive you. All right, so what else is on your mind, kids? <laughs> How's your days going? <laughs> there was somebody that said, what size cup is Jesse? Well, Jesse, what size cup are you? <laughs> I guess that means bra cup. Maybe solo cup. Jesse, you somebody wanted to know what size bra cup you have. That and is it w- confidential information. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, we're losing control. All right, chat room is giving the one. So how about this? The chat room likes this. Arb, Kinshiro Ryu, Ishmael Carrillo, Brooklyn, uh, Sega, Mike H, Lucky Chucky, Johnny Five. I didn't even know I had this many people were watching. Jesus Christ. Kobe's in the hizzle too. Oh, my God. There is a fight going on right now. We're really not paying attention. How about this? A guillotine attempt. Oh, no hey, good. Hey, Chris, uh, I know that is that we're not paying attention, but that, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Go ahead, I don't care. At best. But Jesse um, is flickering, but anyway, hey, uh, you know, dig this. You know, here, here's the deal. I want to say this real quick while I was thinking about it, while I saw Kobe. We appreciate your Connor video. I, I thought it was funny as hell, brother. Mm. Are you talking about the video where Kobe was beating off to Conor McGregor? Yeah, I, mean, I thought yeah. that was the greatest <laughs> fucking video ever, man. Kobe, let me know. If you want me to play the video, I'll play it right now in the MMA holes. Right now. That is great. They need to see this. I think it's worth playing on the MMA holes. Don't flag me. But, Kobe, if you want us to just, just say yes in the chat. Kobe from Kobe's Corner. Check down below. Down below in the description area, Kobe. Subscribe to my friend, Kobe from Kobe's Corner. That's right. Hey, Chris H., I don't have to do that, brother, because i got two women that will do it for me. <laughs> All right, so Jesse, can you explain what's in the background? You have a lineup of bottles. 
Which one is going up the veg? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I didn't. That was all fucking. All three of them, Chris. Oh, wow. All three of them in one shot. All right. All right. I got to clear something up real quick because I keep really getting dumb. asked this about 50 times in the chat. First of all, and we're going to end this discussion. Uh, I, di- I didn't say that I wouldn't fuck Jesse B. What? I'm just saying. I'm just saying that I never said I wanted to fuck her. I'm just saying if I was a younger man uh-huh. around her age, yes, she is definitely a nice little girl with perky tits and a slim body. And her sure little ass is perfectly tight and round and smooth. <laughs> so you get me all freaky now. I'm just playing with you. But no, I love Jesse. She's like a little sister. I'm just messing with these dudes in the chat. But there you go. Yes, I would fuck her if I was her age. Bye. Well, there you go. All right. So I just, <laughs> I just need to make an announcement right now. Blair Tugman, if you're still watching this video, I promise that this doesn't happen. All, well, maybe it does. It does happen. But um, CES, another one. I tagged CES. And CES was very excited. We were doing a fight buddies for this. CES, I apologize. Oh, there's a guillotine about to happen. Oh, my man taps out. A tap out. Man bun taps out. Holy shit. That for the dude win. went. He's done. That was just. <sighs> Guys, think about this real quick. I got to talk about something. I know we're all off the beating path, beating path right now. Three fights on the main card of CES 45. I know we're not doing it justice with the fight buddies. And guys, I promise CES, I tell you what, if you are watching this, I promise you, I will do a legit hardcore fight buddies for you guys just because (laughs) we have three fights and three finishes. Why the fuck not, CES? If you want more fight buddies, we'll talk about that. All right, Craig, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt that shit. No, no, we're having fun, brother. Everybody, you understand, this is not our normal fight, buddies. Like you said, then everybody in here really knows it. The people that are watching, pretty much. I've been watching the chat, but yeah, no big deal. But I was just trying to quell that situation. So, you know, yes, I would do Jesse if I was 21. (laughs) Okay, damn it. Let's get back to Jesse shoving all three bottles up her twat. I mean, that's that's insane that Jesse just said that. <laughs> all right. And by the way, I need to tell right. Dick's Enormous real quick. Oh, <laughs> and man, that's a pretty good name, by the way, dude. Dixie Enormous. That's pretty good. But anyway, dude, I don't need a flashlight. I got two women. <laughs> Fleshlights are for. I don't. I don't understand the, the the thing behind a flashlight. Anyway, I just jack my mate instead of spend whatever them things cost. But I got two women. Cool. You, you're new, so make sure you subscribe, Dixie Enormous, because you're new. Because you don't know the MVP. I'm back to you, Chris. I'm sorry. I'm muting my mic. Go All ahead. Right. Thank you, Craig. I appreciate that. Jesse, you have a retaliation to that comment? No, I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I was hoping you would help me out, but we know some, I don't know, something. Thank you, Craig. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Everyone spark it up in the chat. I need everyone to share this video. I don't know why. There's really no reason to share it, but it's pure gold. MMA holes, we are together. We are watching Axis fights right now. We are watching CES. 45. We had Blair Tugman on. Now, there was a lot less AIDS. There was a little bit of AIDS during Blair Tugman's interview, but I have to say, Blair was a great guy. So if you missed it, when the stream is done, go back and watch that. What I'm going to do right now, and if Kobe is still here, I would love to play Kobe's video. Now, Jesse Bell Hill, I'm going to give you a little backstory. Jesse Bell Hill and Kobe from Kobe's Corner have been the only people that I've really been loyal to and collaborating with. So Jesse and Kobe, respect to them. Go in our description, right? Go down on our description. And you can see uh, their channels. Go subscribe to them. Jesse Bell Hill does the after show. Right, Jesse? Yeah. She right. <laughs> You're breaking up for like five minutes. Uh, yeah, okay. Now, I'm going to say, Chris, I was going to tell you real quick. Jesse is right. I had my phone, my microphone muted. Mm-hmm. But what happens is something moved, and it, was, and it started gurgling, and then, boom, it went clear, crystal clear again. Jesse, is that what you heard? All right. Yeah. Well, everyone here is it. Unfortunately, the guests don't hear. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset the Hangouts. I'm going to send both of you guys another Yeah, just send a new one, brother. Yeah, I'll send you a new Hangouts. I think this Hangouts has died a horrible death. So I'm going to do that. You guys hop out. I'm going to send you a new link. And I'm going to show the Kobe video in a sec. Once Dude, because this show is awesome tonight. We're on a roll. <laughs> All right. Get out of this fucking Hangouts. <laughs> I leave now. All right. I'll send you guys the link. All right. Okay. Bye. Let's do this. Craig Lee. We're going to get Craig Lee and Jesse back on the horn. All right. There's my big stupid face. And uh, Fight Buddies Unite. This is definitely a weird stream, but it's okay. It's Friday. I give it a pass. Now, Wednesday shows are a little bit more put together. We have a little bit more fun, but I'm having a great time. If you're having a good time just hanging out with the dysfunctionalists, well, you know what to do. You drop that Uno inside that chat, and uh, we'll have a good time. I'm feeling the alcohol. I'm not going to lie. 
I never, I would never lie to you guys. But um, I feel like a lightweight today. I didn't eat much today, and uh, I'm sweating, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right, here's the hangouts. There I am. That's a really good looking guy there. All right, here we go. I'm going to send them the link to the Hangouts. Invite people. All right, MMA holes. And get ready. We're going to play Kobe's video. It's pretty goddamn funny. I have to give props to Co Cody. Kobe. Cody. Kobe. Fuck, I can't talk. All right. We're going to give them the link. Props to Kobe on that video, man. Good shit. Kobe's a good guy. Uh, fuck me in the asshole. Yes. All right. Actually, don't fuck me in the asshole. I'm not in the mood for that tonight. All right, Jesse Bell Hill, send you guys the link. Okay, so I resent them the link. As I'm doing that, there is another fight going down, and I am going to go down on you guys with Kobe from Kobe's Corner. Don't even know what that means, but I'll do it anyway. All right, let's go to the Google Zooms. Wow, there's a lot of buffering. There's a lot of shit going on on my computer. Let's just close some stuff here. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's just do that. All right, so I close some stuff up. There we go. All righty, then. Let's go to Kobe. Go to Kobe from Kobe's Corner. Go check my nigga out. Oh, I just dropped the N-word. My bad. Ninja. Ninja, I swear, I swear to God. Kobe. All right. Kobe. Jeez, I'm definitely fucking... <laughs> I'm so fucking shot. Oh, my God. I'm so... I... I, I this is what... This is a... All right. Let me just tell you guys. I'm going to make an announcement to the MMA holes right now. Do not drink... When you have no food in your system, if you don't have food in your system, I beg of you not to drink because it's a terrible mistake. You get drunk way quicker. So now if you look over, this is the MMA Holes channel over here. Scroll down. You see the video that's going on right now. And you go over to my friend, Kobe, Jesse, not the MMA Holes, Kobe, T-Man, Fangirl, Frank, Marlin, everybody. Check all these people out over here. Subscribe to all of them right now. We're going to go to Kobe. All right. Doubt me now. Let's see. Where's this masturbation video? Kobe from Kobe's Corner. All right. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, <laughs> his thumbnail. All right, guys. Here we go. So I know I'm going to probably play this video, and then Craig and uh, Jesse will jump in on the call. So I'm going to wait for them to jump in on the call before I play it. What's up? Yeah, this is good. This is a great video. All right. So we're better. Good. All right. I'm going to put my thing on there. You're perfect. There you're perfect. Cool. All right. So Craig... I wish we could get Jesse's mic a little louder. Fuck. We're going to get her a fuck. I, it's over with. We're doing it. Because Chris, is, this is pretty much, we're going to be doing a lot of crazy shit. And she's got that after show. She needs a good mic. That that Yeti is the perfect one for her. <laughs> That's right. It sure is. She loves that mic. All right. 33 watching the <laughs> MMA holes. Uh, I want to, I'm going to open up the phone lines too, guys. I'm going to definitely don't. See, here's the, I, Craig, I'm, I'm fucking buzzed. I can't even believe this. I didn't eat much. That's okay, but I could tell you got a little bit quicker buzz than normal. Right. But the amazing thing is, you're, 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 I'm going to tell you this, your internet is perfect because I'm looking at you on Google. I've got the other muted, and you're exactly on cue, man. No shit. Not even a second. All right, good. At least something's going right on the stream. I'm having so much fun on this fight, buddies. NH, thank you. At least someone's having a good time. Racism is real. Not the, uh, not get the fuck out of here, says KMX. There's no racism over here. You, listen. The MMA holes, we we know how to fucking, we know how to have how to have a good time without racism. Anyway, uh, all right, what am I doing here? We're waiting on Jesse. Maybe I'll just play the video without Jesse. Oh, there she is. All right, she's in. Jesse, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? All right. Yeah. So we came to the conclusion, Jesse. Do you hear us? Um, sort of. We need we need to do something about your setup. Here we need to oh, do no. some. I, I hear you. I hear you. Okay, good. We need to do something in the worst. All right, so you can't play with that microphone. You need to stop that right now. <laughs> you need to fucking cut that shit. Please out. see at least you said it this time, and it's not me being a bully. All right, I'm gonna Jesse. We're gonna do something. We're gonna troubleshoot. Do you have a hair clip? A hair clip uh, around me. I have a. I Just a, pull your I'm, hair back over your shoulder and get it away, get away from the damn microphone. No. It's a Hold fucking on. simple procedure. Hold on. Craig, stop it. I'm going to fix the problem right now. 
I know what's going on. So, all right. So, what do you have there, Jesse? You have something. I'm going to blue box you so we could all see. It's like a, what the like fuck a is... twisty tie thing. Do you have a, like a clip, a hair clip, maybe a, I don't know, anything to pull your hair back or um, any Wait, so, do potato you chip have a clip? Hair clip? Potato. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right. So, we're going to do this. Je so, Craig, what I'm going to do is this. We're, I, I can't. You hear that? I want to fucking slit my throat. <laughs> I want to die. I want to fucking die of AIDS. I'm right with you, brother. <laughs> it's fucking killing me. Oh my god. Uh yeah, she keeps on playing with it. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, me and Hank came out in the backyard to take a piss. I'm on my uh <laughs> my wireless headphones, but yeah, that's uh, that's just annoying as hell. We'll get that fixed. What I usually try to do, especially if I'm on uh my cell phone and I have like an ear like uh one of those ear pieces, what I do is I put a clip on, right? Then I have a little slack from where your microphone is. So if you have that slack, even if you touch your shirt, the slack will give you good audio. It won't fucking be jiggling yeah. around every five seconds. But what she's doing, because she's so nervous that there's so many good looking people in the chat, but she's, <laughs> she's fiddling with the fucking mic. And maybe she, she has elf ears. <laughs> See, that's what I found out was wrong the other night. I was monitoring that thing I got for Bree and Ling through a pair of buds like that. And it has that microphone hanging on it. And it kept interfering with the real microphones that uh, they had ordered. I can say I bought it for them. By the way, they ordered it though. Yeah. Now, guys, if you are here for CES right now, there are a couple of fights less left. I got a little buzzed. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, we will be watching it. We are watching these fights. There's not gonna be any play-by-play -play right now, but we will be paying attention. Anything crazy happens, I'm gonna put it on right over here. We saw three finishes: Richie Santiago for the win, Gary Belletto for the win. Wait, who who won the? Wait, hold on a second. Who had the man bun? What was the guy's name with the man bun? I don't remember. <laughs> the man bun lost. I haven't been paying that, but I'll, I'll say this. It's just, I mean, God bless him. This is not the most slow fights. <laughs> and we are the most sober people. Oh, fuck. This is so bad. Well, there goes my broadcast. Oh, fuck. We were supposed to play Kobe's video, too. God damn it, Craig. This is so ADD. I was fixing to remind you, but good, she's got her hair pulled oh, back. Fuck Thank me. you, Jesse. Thank you. All right. You're still cute. And quit right on it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to troubleshoot Jesse's microphone. She's pulling the hair back. There we go. Wait, we see a face. All right. Jesse, welcome back. All right. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to I'm going to just try to do something with you, okay? It's so, still hitting her tit, man. All right. So <laughs> No, it's not even touching, Craig. The microphone part of your headphones. Put put it in the air right now. Okay? All right. So now look at me, all right? I don't know if you can see me. Say this part is the microphone, okay? You see what I'm doing? Yeah. Right. This part over here, I want you to clip this part to your shirt like this. You see what I'm saying? All right. Below the microphone? Yeah, below the microphone to your 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 deep V. Ooh, yummy. All right. All right. Should I play some music? Do you want some music while this happens? Sure, right. why not? Okay. It's not unusual you want to be loved by anyone. Da -da 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 -da. Ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to troubleshoot Jesse's microphone right now. Let's see if we can do it. All right. I don't. I can't play the music. It can't even help me think. All I hear is that fumbling ass microphone. All right. So the deal is Jesse. The deal is this. We want that. Ooh yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That deserves an end bomb. I'm sorry. Oh, that deserves oh, a oh, fucking oh, end oh. bomb because Mystic Moss might have solved the fucking problem. All right. Oh, there is no fumbling going on right now. Perfect. All right. Perfection. All right. So Jesse, no, this is this is no what I want you to all? do. No, you're all right, you're great. Go. Do not touch that wire. Keep your hands away from that wire. All right. And so yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. I'm a rebel. You're fucking touching you the wire. You your very own <laughs> microphone clip from Chris through this TV ad for only $19.95. You get two more for free. <laughs> All right. She, because we told her not to touch the wire, what do you think Jesse's doing right now? She's going to fuck with <laughs> All right, Jess, you're in. Do you hear us? <laughs> She's what? Jesse, do you hear us? No, yeah, now I do. Okay, cool. I'm going to reset the clock. I know I missed it. The uh, The first round has begun. We have two fighters, Nate Andrews versus Bruce Boyington. I'm going to fucking uh, start the clock with that. But listen, we're just going to we're going to have a little fun tonight. All right, Jesse, does that feel you're playing with your hair? Are you nervous right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have, All right. What are you doing there? I have hair. I have a piece of hair sticking out uh -huh. and I'm trying to. 
It's fucking very distracting. Just I'm not gonna lie. Just <laughs> Craig, are you? With your own thing. <laughs> Okay, I'm just see. watching, brother. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. I did drop the M bomb two times. Listen, I What's am up, man. People know you don't mean <laughs> that, racist dude. This uh, we got a good bunch. I need to make an announcement right now. Now, Mexican deicide, who re- God rest his soul, is deported and he's not here. But he he has mentioned that every time that Chris gets a little drunk, he drops N bombs. And listen, I drop it because I get excited. Listen, you got to drop an M-bomb when you're excited about something that happened. There's no more fiddling. There's no more fumbling. Jesse Bell Hill is completely clear right now. Perfection. All right. Jesse, how are you feeling right now? (laughs) Was she not there? She cut off. Dude, you keep going in and out. So, like, I get part of what you're saying and then part of... It's your phone, Jesse. He goes, I've got him. I can see his lips moving real time. That sweet ginger. No, I can beard. see him. <laughs> right. I can see him. I just. <laughs> All right, so Jesse, okay. I'm gonna help you out here. Uh, we helped you out with the mic situation. Did you upgrade your internet yet? Yes. You did. So this is the high speed internet right now. Yeah. All right. She, Craig, should we troubleshoot this because I feel that she's running at a low speed right now. The nerd in my well, head. I don't even know if she. No, Jesse, are you on your phone or is that a computer that we're looking at you through the camera? Oh no, I'm I'm on my phone. Oh, see, that's where your problem is, Chris. Oh fuck! I'm sorry. There was a big right landed. You know, Axis TV does not show the name of the fighters. Apologies for interrupting you guys, but no, I saw it. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> good. Yeah, but no, on, see, Chris. that's your problem. Is the phone, Chris? So you think that's what She's it is? On her phone. Yeah, it's definitely the problem. I'm mm. always on my phone, though, for these But students. it always has a little bit of a, a jerk, but right now, it's like right now it's perfect at this very moment. But, you know, then it's just been, it'll glitch. If you Is your phone stationary or are you holding it? No, it's stationary. Okay. Well, I don't know if there's anybody moving around or if they're blocking the Wi-Fi signal, but that's what's causing most of it, I think, Chris. By the but way. You, you, you check it out. She's using, o, she's not using OBS, right? No, she's just straight up on a hangout right now. Jesse, we'll, we'll troubleshoot. You, you're crystal clear right now. We have to fix the problem so you can hear us. I can hear you guys right now. All right, good. Yeah, as long as she's clear. If her, if her image is clear, the audio is clear. That's just how they're two in the same. KMX makes a great point. Says her upload speed is shut, meaning shit. And, and I think I've mentioned that before. But, yeah, upload speed is very important for streaming. We'll troubleshoot. Uh, listen, we won't talk about it anymore because we're giving everyone aids in the chat. But... We'll, we'll get this fixed. Jesse, you're, you're coming in clear. I got to say, you're coming in very clear. You look beautiful. Perfect. Right. So, Jesse, unfortunately, you, you're not watching the fights right now. There's a man taking a back of a man with corn rolls, and I think he's going to... Oh, man. Oh, yep. Slipped out of it. Good fight so far in the first yeah. round yeah. over here. Jesse, unfortunately, you can't watch what we're watching. I'm but, missing it. Yeah, it's, it does. Listen, it's not the UFC. It is CES. And I have to say, Craig, what do you think so far? I know we've been fucking around a lot, but let's be honest. We are, this is four fights in, and not for nothing. This guy is going for a choke again. 32 seconds left, not getting it. But not bad stuff, Craig. What do you think so far? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of surprised at the quality of some of the fights have been. You know, there's been a lull at first, but then, you know, since we're not really familiar with them, and then it kicks in. Yeah, look at this. Look, look, My man's look. in trouble. My man's in big trouble. 14 he is, seconds he is, left. Yeah, look, oh, look. he's cracking the shit out of the head. Oh, this is bad news. This yes. is bad. fights the hand. He fights the hand. He gets out of it. Man Bun gets Damn. out of it. Holy shit. Man that Bun was, gets oh, out of it. Shit. That, I thought that was it, but good job. Wow, guys, did you see that? Okay, we're watching. Jesse, I'm sorry. We're screaming in your ear right now. But we are watching CES right now. First round. Some crazy stuff going down. Okay, we're... Be, we're it's okay. I don't, I don't need my ears anyways. <laughs> I, have no, I have no use for them. As long as you have your boobs and a round little bottom, you'll be fine. Jesse, what do you think about that? We'll go with that motto, Craig. <laughs> as long, actually, that's actually a pretty good motto, Craig. I have to say, I think I'm not going to make that the slogan of the MMA holes, right? I think it's... <sighs> <laughs> Absolutely, it should be on a t-shirt. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got a guess. Got a guess, baby. Huh? You Yeah. All right, who do we got over there, Jesse? Who Jesse, did... tell Mama I said hello and I love her. Is that Mom? They want to see you. Just, just say hi real quick. <laughs> Rock tell bottom. Mama I said hello. What's up, kid? I can't see you. 
Whoa! We were right there. Yummy, Jesse's mommy. Mom. Look at over there at that one to see if that's on there. Hi. Hey, mom. What's <laughs> going on, mom? Right there. How's it Hi. going? Mama's got Hi, a Chris. tattoo. Is that Chris? I am. That, that is me. I saw What's you the... earlier. Did you really? Where'd you see me? Of course, I can't hear anything that Jesse has in her thing, so. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Jesse's mom. We need to get Jesse's mom on this. If you guys want to see a Jesse's mom interview, hit me with the ones. But that'd be great if we could get Jesse's mom on the show. She is here, but she can't hear us. We'll see. All right. Wait, can Jesse's mom hear us now? Jesse's mom hear us. Yes. All right. Welcome to the show. Jesse's mom is Hi. live on the MMA holes. Look at you showing some skin off. Woo, mama! What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Oh, we're losing you for a second. Jesse's mom, live in the MMA holes. We're watching some fights together. Unfortunately, Jesse can't watch the fights, but it's even... Oh, the fuck is that about, mom? What channel are the fights on? It's on Axis TV. I don't know if... Not everyone has it. No, I've never heard of it. They don't have it in Arizona, Chris. Jesse's mom, sit down. Get comfortable. I have a lot of questions for you. Oh, no. Hey, first of all, I want to say, hey, hey, mama, you're looking pretty tonight. And I didn't know you had a tattoo. And you're still just a sweet woman. I think you're a great lady and love to papa, too. OK, I will tell him. Thank you. I agree, actually, with Craig Lee, with everything Craig Lee said. Now, what is the tattoo on your left arm over there? If you could show us. It, okay. <laughs> you see? Uh, Sort of. It's a little blurry. It, all right. It's like a tribal. Oh, look at you. You got a little tribal thing over there. What tribe are you from? It's an Aquarius. my um, sign. It's Aquarius. Jesse's mom. I have a Pisces tribal symbol. I'm not proud of it, but I have it on my left side of my ribs, and it hurt really We all bad. have zodiac signs. Yeah. <laughs> this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That is true. That's all right. I, I love that song. That yep. is Aquarius. <laughs> Listen, I got to tell you, Jesse's mom. Uh, there's a lot of Aquarius in my lives, and they all hate me. <laughs> hey, Chris, there's some people wanting to know if they could call in and talk to Mama Je uh, Mama Hill. Oh, Sweet Mama. Okay, we might have something here. Now, there is a fight. It looks like there's about to be a tap going on. Craig, do you see yeah. this? Oh, it's taps. Oh, that's it. All right. Nope. Anyway, I'm more interested in Jesse's mom, to be honest with you. Not, listen. Who listen. isn't? I mean, come on, listen, really. This listen. is not, if this was UFC, then I'd say no, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, hey, right. this ain't the UFC, and this is mama. Come on. All right, now I apologize. <laughs> now, what would you like us to call you, Jesse's mom? Mama J Beans? Like, what would you like us to call you? I'm all J Beans, not shout. Mm, you broke up a little bit. Could you repeat that? He's picking up. What name would you like to be called by, sweet lady? Uh, just call me by my name. What is your name, darling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You keep breaking up. This is terrible. This is terrible news. Jesse, can you do Jesse. me a favor? Here, just... All right, All right. I think what we're going to need here is this. I think Jesse might have to jump in and out. This is, there's a lot of cancer going on right now inside our chat. I have a lot of questions, but... Unfortunately, we have a disconnect in the chat. Craig Lee, what do you think about that? Bigger pull over there. I'm going to plug in headphones. She's clipping. I, I can't understand anything that's going on on her side, buddy. Jesse, what we might need you to do, we might need it on your end. We might need you to jump in and out one more time. I know it's a pain in the ass, but I think your connection is... Please do, Jesse. Please do, Jesse. Jump back in because they do want to talk to mom. This <laughs> Such a disaster. All right, MMA holes. What's going on, friend? It turned down. It's, it's echoing, is, it's what echoing it's is what it's doing. Is what it's doing. All right, I had to turn everyone down for a second. Guys, MMA holes unite. We are hanging out with Jesse Bell Hill and the Momskis, and it is exciting right now. Let's go it's back exciting. into the hangouts. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, what's going on, friends? Do you hear me? Oh yeah. Seriously, terrible, man. Yeah, it's just a connection. Don't. I think they'll jump back in, and we'll try to get that going. Here's the deal, guys. I, be patient with us. I know a lot of shit is a. It took a, lo a long time. I mean, a couple of months for us to get the live stream and going and understanding. And I had a lot of shit streams for a long time, and now I'm completely out. There I am again. There it is. But um, guys, bear with us. We have more people that I want to interact with the show. Unfortunately, when other setups are not as swell as the MMA holes, it gets a little jammed up. So we're gonna get that fixed up for you guys. But other than that, how about that? There are, we're four for four with finishes. Check out this card, CES. 
I know we're not doing justice on a fight, buddies, but we're having fun over here, so that's all that really matters. But um, Santiago, Nick Alley, unfortunately lost. I was a little upset about that. And uh, the two fights over here, I don't remember oh, who was who. But um, but um, anyway. All right, Jesse's back in. All right, Jesse's back in. Jesse's mom's back in, Jesse's and then we're good to go. In. We're missing yeah. Craig Lee. Craig Lee. We have a fucking feedback. I apologize for my, feedback. my language, I apologize for my, like, but I'm getting a... F <laughs> God damn it. I'm getting a feedback. She's, she's, a, she's a sailor. She knows. She talked like that. She still talks like that. <laughs> All right. All right. Sounds better, the audio right now. Okay, good. I hear like an echo. Does anyone else hear me talking over myself, or is it just me? Okay, it's just me? Just you. All right, so I'll no, deal with the echo. echo. No, it's, no, he's talking... It's different. Never mind. Okay. There's no echo, Chris. There's All no right. echo. Let me know in the chat if you hear me echoing, because I hear myself echoing. I want to throw myself through the bricks right now, like really bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And see, the feedback from Jesse. She right. is echoing into her microphone. All right, Jesse, how are we plugged in right now? Let's figure this out. We're going to troubleshoot. Sorry, Kobe. I want to play your video in the words. You know what? While Jesse figures out her situation, I'm going to play Kobe's video. Do you mind me doing this real quick? It's one minute and 23 seconds. Let me play this because the, the AIDS is seeping in. All right, here we go. Oh. Great video, by the way. This is a great video. All right, guys, here we go. For Kobe's Corner, check this out. Holy Malinaji, who the fuck is that guy? Straight garbage. Conor McGregor is going to destroy Floyd Mayweather. It's single discipline. Connor by knockout. Easy money. But I got to go take care of some of these trolls online. Keyboard warriors everywhere. I'll talk to you later. Kobe, get, get to bed. Just a minute, babe. I'm defending Connor's honor. It's the championship rounds. Uh oh, look out, kids. The music is playing. He's getting ready. Kobe's tying. Here we go. Kobe hits it and puts it up in the air. It is good. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Look out, kids. Here it is. Kobe's took his. <laughs> Get it, Kobe. Oh man, look out, Kobe's Corner, go subscribe to my friend Kobe over there. All right, yes, what do you guys think of that, Kobe's Corner, beating off to the McGregor's over there, that is wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so there you go, Kobe, man, respect, much respect, we got the hills back on, we have Craig Lee live in the MMA holes, earlier we had a swole MMA hole, Blair Tugman, You're, I am so feedbacking right now, I want to slip my throat, all right, so, all right, Je hey Jess. I don't know if you could hear me. I need to help Jesse get her situation fixed up. <laughs> Kobe, by the way, that video was absolutely great. Jesse, unfortunately, we're echoing. Actually, we're not echoing now. Whatever she did, that's good. I think she, I think she muted us. <laughs> but I don't hear an echo anymore. That's great. All right. Wait, hold on. Can you hear me just nod? Maybe we don't have them talk. That'd be great if they just nod. <laughs> nod if you can hear us, Jesse. I can hear you, but oh, it's fuck. just Break really it broken. Why is it broken? It is on your end, Chris. It'll come and go. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's something sake. on your end that no matter what, when she comes in or I come back in, it's on your end. I'm sorry, dude, but it just it's in between. But I can put up with it. I can still understand you, but it'll get crystal clear, and then it breaks up. Hmm. It's the audio part. So I don't know if it's a cable or in your mixer or what. Well, unfortunately, the MMA hole is here, but my guests don't hear it. This is a big problem. All right, so I am going to set up a yet another Google Hangout. So I'm going to email you guys another Google Hangouts. We're going to try this again. <laughs> We're going to get this to fucking work. I, it sucks. I hear Jesse really good right now. I, it sucks that she can't hear me. Because when you do it, well, mama, my mama's still available because yeah. she's a precious lady. We don't want to bother her for too long. <laughs> Poor mama. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Apologies, mom. All right. I'm going to try one more time. I don't understand this. This is insane. This is really insane. Just insanity. send it back to us. We'll get it, bro. Fuck. It's all good. Everybody's patient. We're all having a good time. It's Friday night, and we're enjoying ourselves. This is going to be a quick one, guys. I'm going to set you up with one more link over here. If it doesn't work, we're going to kill everyone in the chat. This is going to be a murder in the chat. All right, so I'm going to stop. We're going to deal with it. It's what we're going to do. It's all fine. See, right now, you're clear, still clear again. Yeah, I don't get this. I, think it's, I don't think it matters, Chris. I think it's something in your audio lines. I don't think it has anything to do with Hangouts. Jesse, do you I'm hear sorry. me? 
Jesse doesn't hear me. All right, so I'm going to send you guys another link. Jesse's drinking right now. She is. I just saw that. Jesse drinking. I haven't All seen right. that in a while. I'm going to set up another link. <laughs> Get ready, kids. Check your emails. All right. All right, guys. This is. I apologize for the cancer that's going on. This is the first time that this has ever happened. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but hang in there because we're going to have a little bit of fun. Okay. I, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. It's so weird. But uh, anyway, CES is going down right now. And uh, I got Jesse Bell Hill, Mama, and Craig Lee live on a call. Let's see if we can get this to work. Maybe I, what sucks is I might just have to have just one person in. Maybe Hangouts is just being a bitch. I don't know. But I'm going to set this up one more time. I'm going to try this one more time. If this doesn't work, I'm done. I bail. We'll go back to the fights. Here we go. Craig, Jesse, MMA holes unite. Keep on liking this shit. Let's have a little fun. Sent them the Hangouts link. All right, there we go. So that's that. 56 likes. Another fight is going down right now on the MMA holes. Let's take you over there. Kobe's Corner is wonderful, wonderful. I'm just trying to close shit. Maybe things work a little bit better. I don't, it's nothing to do with that, man. All right. I'm telling you. Here we go. Craig Lee is back in on the call. Craig, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing good, brother, but it has nothing to do with that. I think once it gets, uh, there's, so, there, there's something that get it, gets in the system there that goes bad. But, I mean, this has been going on for months. I mean, well, here's I mean, the thing. It's, it's just, just some, some kind, kind of little, little short, short there. there. No, I had Blair Tugman on the whole time. It was good. So, I... Uh, I don't know. I, I, something's, something's weird. We're going to troubleshoot after this. But, yeah, but not, now you sound perfect, brother. Yeah, I don't know. Think about it. I had Blair on for like 50 minutes, and we didn't have any problems. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's some troubleshooting. We'll get it done. Jesse's, it ain't no big deal. We can still understand you. It's only on Jesse's side that she can't hear you because she's busy running her mouth at the same time. I love you, though, Jesse. I think there's a um, problem in between, maybe with the cell phone, because she does have the cell phone connected to. I'm going to troubleshoot. Yeah. I'll get it done. Don't worry. Yeah, it's no big deal. I think what happens is once it gets in there, it starts getting weird. But there she is. She's back with sweet mama. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Ladies, what's going on? Welcome back. <laughs> this is so dysfunctional. Jesse, do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, actually, you sound better. Okay, good. So maybe we had a hangout -ish, ish uh situation. All right, so I'm going to start a, a clock for a fight that's about to go down. We're yeah, really it's about to start. Yeah, there's something going. This is the co-main event over here. There's a title fight going on. Ladies, just give me one second. I just want to explain what's going on to the viewers because some viewers are probably watching these fights. Um, I want to what's going on. <laughs> you ain't missing nothing, but ain't go ahead. Pedro, Pedro Gonzalez. This is the main event of the evening, so you don't have to deal with this anymore. Pedro Gonzalez versus Sal Almeida is about to go down. I'm going to put up a clock. And if anything happens, I'll just go, oh, that's great, and then stop. But we're going to be talking to the Hills right now. All right. Craig Lee, Jesse Bell Hill, and Mama. Mama Hill is live on the MMA Holes, and it, let's talk. All right. So we discussed Jesse and Mom are here. Now, Mom, what should we call you? Wait, hold Chris, on. I don't see your um, oh, video. Shit. Yeah, let me put myself on there. Sorry about that. There I am. Hello. Do you see me? Now you can see him. Oh. All right. First of all, this is real time. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of things going on right now. All right, MMA holds unite. We have Jesse and Mom right now, the one that made that brought this young lady to to this earth. So, everyone say thank you in the chat right now. Uh, Mama, <laughs> <laughs> Mama Hill. I don't know what to call you, Mama Hill. I, we don't even know what your real name is. Hey, you can call her Shell. Shell, like the gas station. Yeah. All right. yeah. Shell. So your name is Michelle. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. We'll call you Shell. I like Shell. That's pretty cool. So where did you get the nickname Shell? Was this just growing up? You got this name? From my husband. Oh, so there you go. That I mean, that makes sense. I mean, he's who's the boss between the two of you guys? Depends on the day. You really got to ask that. Come on. Still, at the end of the day, the lady is the boss of the home. It's not true. Sometimes I try to take control of the situation. It doesn't work for me, but <laughs> I try. I try my best. <laughs> so, all right. It depends on the day. I like that answer. Now, unfortunately, a lot of uh, young ladies don't have that answer. A lot of young ladies say, no, I'm the boss or, or he's the boss. But you say it depends on the day. So it sounds like there is a democracy between this family right now that you guys share yeah. the responsibilities. Well, we've been married a long time. We have to have a democracy. How long have you guys been married for, if you mind me? That's going on. See, marriage is going on twenty-two years. Twenty-two years. God damn. So, so it it can happen. <laughs> yeah. 
There you go. Th- dream. I think it's a lot longer than that, but yeah, it's going on 22 years. What is the secret to marriage? You talk. Communication. Communication. Ah, oh, Craig, do you hear that? We do it. Hey, brother, I was married for 18 and a half years before Sharon died. And if she was still alive today, I wouldn't have no Bree and Ling. I'd still marry, be married to Sharon and would have been over 30 years. Yes, I understand exactly. Me and Sharon had a working, wonderful marriage of give and take. And, uh, you know, with the foundation of Christian, Christian principles, not the redneck ones that people think about, but the real ones that are <laughs> from the heart. Exactly. I agree. Craig, Craig is preaching right there. Mama Hill, uh, Shell, yeah. I heard that you, are you a religious person? Yes. So are you, did you were raised Catholic or? Yes, I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is your thought on the Catholic religion? Like I have mixed emotions on the Catholic religion because I feel like they lied to me, but maybe you could help me out on this. The Catholic <laughs> religion. Uh, what do you think about it? I mean, do you still practice? Do you still go to church every Sunday? No. You're going to hell. Shell, you're going to hell. <laughs> Shell's going to hell. Let's get the hashtag Shell's going to hell. Uh, <laughs> so, Well, Chris, you know, realistically, the kingdom of God is not here or there to be observed, uh, but it's within the person, within the soul. So the, the building is not as important as the spirit itself. Craig, that's bullshit. She's going to hell. She's got to go to church every Sunday. If you're a true Catholic, you have to go to church. Every- no, because uh-huh. in all honesty, okay, you asked for it, Chris. Yeah, I'm sorry. I love you not practice Catholic religion anymore. I do, however, go to a mass if I have to for funerals because a lot of my family still is. Um, mm-hmm. As far as going to church, you do not need to go to church every Sunday. Okay. As long as two more people are brought together, that is considered a church. Oh, well, that makes sense. My well, fa- there's two or more gathered in my name. That's correct. You're correct, Shell. I'm going to tell you a quick story. I was with my father. We used to go to church every Sunday. I went to Catholic school. They lied to me. And uh, when I was in church, I would sit there. I would kneel with my father. My father looked over. I mean, it was after a death. We sat in church, and then we kneeled. We were praying. My father looks over to me. He's like, ah, fuck this. And we never went to Sunday Mass again. <laughs> Whoa, okay, Papa, thank you. No, I did. Hey, look, now, I don't cast dispersions on anybody's yeah. beliefs. Yeah. As long as you're not hurting anybody, as long as what you believe in does not harm another human, I'm cool with it. But I don't go with the parameters of a lot of people. I do have a basic foundation in my life that I live by. And I think everybody needs a code, whether you believe in God or any of these other things. There's something bigger than us, Chris. And let me say this, and I'm not going to preach. This has nothing to do with God. But let me say this. Look, you, we're sitting here talking to each other. And in my lifetime, this is amazing. Okay? In my lifetime, this is amazing. Now, if this stuff was not ordered by someone, it never would be. We wouldn't have the technology that we have right now to be shooting the shit with each other and <laughs> looking at two pretty ladies on the other end. Mm-hmm. Now, that being said, how can you say that this earth did not come into existence, how his people did not come into existence without some kind of thought being put into it? It's like saying, hey, give me one free pass and I'll explain, I'll explain the rest of how the world happened. But I need you to let me have this one. Please. All right, I could go on further, but I'm done. Now, Darth Bane's <laughs> Darth Bane says, "Church girls, do church girls have more fun?" Well, you get one that ain't been rode so hard if you get them at church. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. If you're just jumping in right now, we are the MMA holes. We are watching actually CES. It's over here. It's the main event. We probably should be paying attention to it, but I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm intoxicated. So forgive me for all my this sins. Is way more fun. <laughs> Please forgive me. I'm gonna look back at the stream and be like, delete. Anyway, um, but it's all fun. We're all having fun over here. Uh, no disrespect to anyone that is religious or any religions or anything like that. We are the MMA holes. There's a lot of tomfoolery over here. So let's have a little bit of fun. So Craig, do you pr- you practice? Uh, Religion. <laughs> well, I mean, right now, okay. See, there's where we're getting into a real gray area with Craig. Mm-hmm. But uh, because you know where I, how I live, and I think probably Mama knows by now, but if she's watching any of this. But you know, I'm like this. I do have a core MMA belief. Holes. Okay. What mm-hmm. we got? Somebody just subscribed. Yeah, Christopher uh, Bell. Anyway. Welcome. 
Go ahead. Anyway, I have a core belief and a core code that I live by. I do believe in the in the way I was taught as a child to a point, but not all the way. I love all people, all races. You treat me right, I'll treat you right. You treat me like shit, and your life is over as you know it. <laughs> That's how I play. I'm dying. But otherwise, I love everybody, Chris. I have to laugh right now in the chat. Tanner2432 says, guys, if you're just jumping in right now, the topic is Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. We're not even, see, that's the whole thing we're beyond that we're, we're just talking about oh, we're fuck. just talking about the fact that this world is so ordered it could be it can't just be a happenstance it's something bigger than all of us it is not that there is any particular religion that is correct it's that there's a force that's in this world that lives yeah. and moves through us and everything either get on it right. live with it there'll be good times bad times be a miserable son of a bitch the rest of your life i got faith and i feel fine yeah all right i almost read a rainbow you there we have to stop about talking talking about this religious stuff we're um, done. I'm not talking about religion. That's the whole point I was trying to make. Fuck it. <laughs> no, good points right there, Craig. You always bring the wisdom. You, that's why you're the MVP. Now, okay. Mama Mama just lost the fidget spinner. Look what she did. Oh, my God. Just, she lost. I'm trying to get it. Uh, <laughs> Jesse, what Ask happened? her some pressing questions because we want to know. I definitely do have some questions I do want to ask right now. Look at that tribal tattoo. What a badass mom is. All right. Um, mom was probably a gangster chick in the day. Probably. <laughs> All right, so, Shell, when was the first time you and Papa Jay had sex? <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> Look at Jesse's face. Now, Chris, oh, man. We need to know. Was really, it? I mean, you could have not, you could have not embarrassed her and Hold just asked me. I could Listen. tell you married people have sex this, this many times a year. It on happens. anniversary, birthday, or when the woman watches some kind of Patrick Swayze movie that gets her all moist. Listen, these are these are questions. These are questions that need to be asked on the MMA holes. Now it's a normal. See, was I not right? Mama got a kick out of that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, she did. Yeah. If Pop... well, Christian, no, he's married, right? That's true. Yeah, the first time I had sex was the best day of my life. It was on the floor, actually. I fucked my wife on the floor. I did. <laughs> Just, I mean, See, I now he's friends? forty. He's starting to schedule. Stuff, you know? <laughs> now it's like once a year. It's like the fucking eclipse. It's like, you know that fucking... Birthday and anniversary, <laughs> just like I said. It's like that... Or, you know that lunar thing that happens every four years? Yeah, that's called marriage. All right, so anyway... Lo Christine, just joking. <laughs> Only kidding. Kidding, kidding, kidding. All right, anyway... Wonderful, wonderful. But uh, where are we going with this, Craig? All right, so you met your young husband back in the day, Papa Jay. He swooned you. You guys were married for 22 years. How long were you dating before you guys got married? Um, probably about three years. Three Ish. years. I don't know. Whose idea was it to get married? Who was the one that was pushing this the uh, situation to get married? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you were not. Uh oh, this lies. Daddy was, I bet. Uh oh, we were hold on. fighting for three years. Oh well, yeah, we were fighting for three years. <laughs> <laughs> we fought. And that's why they have so many kids because their exciting hate and love relationship spawns many children in the Catholic family. This is true. He's not Catholic. J guys, if you're just jumping in right now, um, wait, am I not Catholic? Who is, who's not Catholic? Me or Craig? J Papa not Catholic. Oh, yeah, uh, Papa Jay. Yeah, Papa Jay is not Catholic. What is Papa Jay? He's a Unitarian. He's a unicorn? What? I heard the Baptist. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, Baptist. Mm. So, guys, Jesse Bell Hill, let me just give you a little description right now. If you are new to the show, Jesse Bell Hill has a YouTube channel. Not only does she have a YouTube channel, she has over 500 subscribers over there, thanks to the MMA holes. Uh, she is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she's doing a great job over there. She does an after show for us. And I got to say, she's been doing a wonderful, wonderful job. Wonderful, wonderful. So go subscribe to Jesse Bell Hill. The reason why we have Jesse on right now, well, I don't know. But Jesse's mom's here, so we're just going to grill her for a couple of minutes. Why the fuck not? Jesse's mom gave birth to jesse now when you gave birth to this lovely young lady were you like this is a special child yeah <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't always say anything in birth she's the only one i'd have any medication for <laughs> <laughs> does jesse stand out from the other children now you have a a, a litter you have how many sons and, and daughters do you have I have three boys and two girls. Jesus Christ, you get around. God damn, Shell, look at you. 
This is <laughs> <it>. <laughs> now, before you got married, were you guys like, we're going to have a nice big family? Or were you like, oh, mistake, mistake, mistake? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> um, well, the first one is from my ex. Oh, then, yeah. Hold on a second. Don't end then. Let's talk about the ex. Uh-oh, my goodness. <laughs> you just opened it up, Mama. I'm sorry. All right. God bless you. Now, trust me. Shell, no one's watching right now. We're going to talk about this. So you said your first child was from your ex. Yeah, I'm right now. That's all right. Go ahead. Did you guys have a son or a daughter, your, your first child? My first child is a son. A son. Okay, so how old is your son right now? He'll be 29. Oh, okay. So everyone's pretty much around the same age. Was this guy a deadbeat dad? Who? What's the deal? Do we have to fuck this guy up or what? What's going on with this guy? No, no. Actually, he was a great father. We just didn't. We weren't compatible. I'll put it that way. Okay. That's so we got married. I tell you what. You seem like you have. We got a, married. Sorry, I cut you off. Go ahead. We were both in the. It just didn't work out. It didn't work out. Shit happens. It does happen. Now, it seems like you're a very level-headed person. It seems like you have like, a good level of patience. Um, when it comes to stress and stuff like that, are you very chill, chillax, or do you lose your temper when stress comes? Oh, Jesse's laughing, but... <laughs> it depends on what pissing me off. Okay, so it depends on the situation, basically. Okay. So now, so now you have another child. You meet uh, Papa Jay. How is it? Mm -hmm. How is it with Papa Jay now? Now he seems like a, like the coolest guy in the world. He seems like he probably was a fucking player back in the day. I see it. I see it in his eyes that my man was a player. He's a ladies' man. Is this true? Yes. Uh huh. He'll deny it, but no, he was. Now, how do you slay one Papa Jay? How do you control him to one woman? Oh, that was his choice. Wow! Look at that. So, do you have a golden vagina? Oh what? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, forget it. The good thing that broke up. I anyway, <laughs> anyway, he was speaking of your secret garden. Yeah. So hey, listen. To, to, <laughs> to, to, to tie down a uh, vagina slayer, I think that's the way to say it. Uh, to tie down someone like that, you have to have you have to be good in a sack, right, Craig? Pretty much, that's that's the deal. Uh, pretty much. I mean, you know, I don't have to get too freaky, but I need my woman. To, I need to know that she's there and into it. Mm -hmm. so, and pers <laughs> personally, now I'm a pleaser. I have to admit this. I'm the kind of guy I like to take care of of my other half of the situation. And since my situation now is two halves, I'm pretty busy. So, you know, I finished them up so that way I don't have to work no more and it's all do me. <laughs> it's a wonderful, wonderful thing, really. Now, I got to say, we're live with Jesse Bell Hill and mom right now. I have to say, Shell is putting up a great, she's doing great right now. So a round of applause in the chat she's room. She's awesome. This dealing woman, I'm telling you, if I was young and she was single, or should I say, we're not that far apart. She's about Bree's age, probably Bree's 43. But anyway, you know, I'd be checking up on mama. So we're, we just gave up on the main event right now of CES. There's a fight going on. It's going to round three. We've totally given up on it. Shell, listen, we're just talking about you and your sexual encounters right now. It totally got everyone's attention from the chat. I mean, that's pretty good right there. I have to say, you might need your own YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Jesse is definitely uncomfortable right now. Any questions in the chat, we'll ask as well. Now, all right, we'll get a little bit serious now. You fall in love. Wait, what the fuck is <laughs> Jesse's losing her stuff, man. <laughs> I love it. I, we need Papa J in on this. So, where's Papa J right now? All right. Time to pull. Time to pour a shot of that cheap ass fuck <laughs> and bring his ass on there. Oh my god, <laughs> there is a lot of autism going on right now. We have forty people watching right now. This is insane. Look at this. The chat, the chat room loves this. Um. So, all right. So, twenty-two years of marriage, great success right there. I tell you what, it's infectious. The relationship that both of you guys have, the little bit that we've gotten to see on YouTube. It's, it's really cool. I want to talk to you. It's really a lot of fun to see. Oh, God, this is so good. Can you bring the pussy slayer onto the screen right now? <laughs> All right, guys, get ready with the questions in the chat. It's the Duke of Earl and his Here sword. Here we go. 
Sister. Oh, we need the whole family in here. I don't know what's what's happened, but the, the, the hills have just taken over the MMA holes. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. You know what you can do with that fucking finger. There he is. Hey, look at this. He's got a Pink Floyd shirt on, wife beater. Are you going to beat your wife live on the MMA holes? No, I do that later when we're alone. Ooh! <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Oh, my God. Jesse leaves the situation. Sit down. <laughs> wow, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> is this a fetish video? <laughs> I tell you what, the ratings are through the roof right now. 43 watching, right? I thought everyone would have left, but why not? Jesse's <laughs> giving you these blank signals like, please don't keep inviting people. I want my parents to go away. <laughs> Here's the deal, guys. The point. Uh, she called me in here. I was just fine sitting in there on my sofa. <laughs> we love you, Papa Jay. We are just playing. No, I mean, Jesse was. See, she's leaving now. She was giving these eyeballs like, oh, no, no. No, we love you both very much, brother. Good to see you, my man. <laughs> All right. So well, the- I wish I'd said good to see you, but I can't see you. <laughs> oh, it's Craig Lee, my man. Okay, anyway. All right. Oh, pa- no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, all right, so guys, we're here with the Hills right now. We have uh, Papa Jay and we have Shell live on the MMA Hills. Uh, now, here's the thing. Here's the moral of the story right now. And as much as I'm joking around, love does exist. 22 years of marriage. The, 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 you got to have an applause button for that. Seriously. I mean, <laughs> if you think about it, the divorce wait rate is through the roof. People are just like, ah, I'm done. I'm done. Seriously, now both of you guys are here. You could pretty much be honest. You could look each other in the eye, maybe make out. What is the secret to 22 years of marriage? Um, my own personal opinion is we talk to each other and we have a fit. <laughs> hey, first of all, I got to say that that's correct, Papa Jay, because I was married for 18 and a half years before my wife passed. But even on another note, I want to say you rock because you were in a Pink Floyd tank top. So, you you know, you still listen to good music, my brother. Sure, he does. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> but did y'all go to concerts together? And what oh. concerts did you go with? Sorry, Chris. Didn't mean that. I'll, I'll, I'll get out of the way. <laughs> Good. You can answer that question and I'll I'll jump in. OK, honestly, believe it or not, we have only attended one concert together, but we were supposed to attend several concerts together. Um, We had an unfortunate series of events where I refused tickets that I could have gotten because I didn't think she could go, and she refused the exact same tickets because she didn't think I could go. There you go. Hey, concerts, they're the way to go. Uh, Except for my wife wants to go to New Kids on the Block concert, which results in suicide by her husband. Oh, my God. (laughs) What? Yeah, trust me. I've tried tried to off myself. Um, So here's an interesting thing, guys. We had the same question for both of this lovely couple over here. And we asked, what is is the secret to a long, strong relationship? And both of you guys have said communication. So there you go. It shows you right there. If you have good communication, you can pretty much get through anything. So there you go. Round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get to the cringy questions. What is Shell's favorite position, Papa Jay? Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Chris, I'm going to fucking murder you. <laughs> wow, I didn't oh, think Jesse's you were still here. Go wait, there, my man. Wait, I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I asked you to ask that question. Uh, her favorite position is standing behind me when I got my nine millimeter out. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh All my right, god! All right, Jay, on the good foot. Woo! All right, hit me with the guns. All right, <laughs> let's talk guns. We need to talk about guns. Now we spoke about religion. Okay, we need to talk guns. And, and this is why I say we need to talk about guns, because we know that you guys are gun advocates. You, you guys possess guns, military action over there. Um, I, on the other hand, am a bitch, and I don't like guns. I'm not going to lie. I don't like guns. I don't hate. I don't think people shouldn't own guns. I'm fine with people own guns, but I just don't like the bad karma of guns. Explain to people that are um, on the fence about guns. Why should people own guns? People that own them. All right. This is going to get bad. (laughs) This is cringy. This is Ishmael. (laughs) 19 and 1, motherfuckers. is KMX. All right. So uh, speaking of guns, I just want to talk about one serious topic here, and then I'm going to completely get off of it. The gun situation. Now, I I know Craig Lee probably has an opinion on this as well. But why, if people aren't into guns, if people aren't for guns, 
Why? What is the other side of the story when it comes to guns? Why should people own guns? I'll let Papa Jay go first. All right, Papa Jay, floor is yours. Well, the way I look at it is it's a deterrent. Um, if you're going to break into somebody's house, you're going to rob somebody, or you're going to do something stupid, and you don't know if that person's got a gun, you tend to kind of back off. If you see that the person has a gun, you definitely back off. Mm-hmm. Um Plus, I like the knowledge that at any given time, and, and I'm not trying to go too political here, so please, please don't take this the wrong way. But at any given time, things can go awry, and I would like to know that I have the ability to protect myself and my family, or at least try to, um, without too much hassle. All right. Thanks for putting me to sleep. That was great. All right. So, (laughs) Craig Lee. (laughs) Sorry, you gave me AIDS for two seconds there. I I just stay politically correct there. (laughs) Well, here's the deal, man. Okay. Growing up in the South, um, I I was hunting. I had a 22. I had a shotgun when I was seven. uh, Hunted squirrels. We learned how to skin and eat and all these good foods and all this good stuff. Now, being a military man, I've shot and been shot at. The thing about it is there's some people that do not need guns, Chris. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like guns, but now, once again, this is a whole deep subject. We can't go deep, deep in. But if you ever took some time to get with a handgun instructor since you're so unfamiliar with them and shot, you might enjoy it. But anyway, the whole point is I've hunted my whole life. I've fished my whole life. But now you got people that need them for protection. Like Papa Jay said, I like knowing i got a gun, access to a gun. But also, like Papa Jay was talking about, and we can hear you on the background, by the way, you're cutting this out. But uh, anyway, um, the thing is, having the, the freedom to own a firearm gives us a ability to fight against the government. And I don't mean that in the wrong way, in case they got crazy. Sort of like what Papa Jay said, I can protect myself if shit went crazy and I didn't agree with what was going down. At least I have that right. Well, there you go. Now, guys, yeah, the- Craig, Craig put that better than I did. <laughs> well, no, I get where you, both of you coming. I'm just fucking with you guys. Guys in the chat right now, if you do want to see like more shows or topics like that, we're probably going to move this over to not the MMA holes and do some fun stuff over there. I know this is the MMA holes. We should be talking about MMA. We're in the fourth round right now of a title fight, and two guys are just kicking the shit out of each other. But we're talking about guns and religion yeah. and sex. So I don't give a fuck. We're still going to talk about I- agree with kicking the shit out of each other I, it's a violent sport you know i mean why do we gotta be oh, violent? can't so we all just get along <laughs> well you know what let's <laughs> talk about it let's talk about the subject of mma now let's 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 get into this now there is a violent sport mixed martial arts okay i am obsessed with I, this sport it's 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 a terrible obsession but i'm obsessed with a lot of sports but this one has stolen my heart and made me make a youtube show about it the parents right now shell and papa jay I would love to hear your opinions on mixed martial arts. Be p- completely honest. If you don't like the sport, tell me why you don't like the sport. If you like the sport, tell me what you do like about the sport. Why? I couldn't hardly hear. He said, "If you tell him, tell him if you like the sport, why you like the sport, and if you don't like the sport, why don't you like the sport? You guys don't even watch the sport. I don't watch the sport. Well, we don't get a channel that has the sport. Right. That's not the question." Butterfly in the sky. The sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. Let's sing. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. All right. Sorry. I sorry. I just got autistic for a second. Every once in a while. Actually, we don't watch that. All right. So answer that question for you. All right. So if you don't watch, honestly, I. I don't watch it at all. Um, to tell you the truth, I, I'm really not that much of a sports guy. I'm really not. Hmm. <gasps> this is terrible news. What? No, no, no sports, Papa J. You just like slaying uh, pussy, Papa J. Is this is this what we're talking about here? It's like no time for sports, just he's vag. Busy slaying stuff. You're Twenty-four right, seven pa. vag for Papa J. <laughs> <laughs> is this what's going on? Well, I, I like to watch rodeo once in a while. Whoa! <laughs> hey, no, there you go. So, as a kid, I grew up around rodeos, Papa Jay. Do you guys watch NASCAR? Oh, yeah? I sure did as a kid. So we had show horses, 
And so we, we'd go to the rodeo on the weekends. And yeah, just as a kid, I used to do the, I used to do barrel racing and uh, calf rubbing, but sorry, we got off on another subject. Y'all go ahead. All right. What I want to do right now, before I fucking throw myself through this bricks in the chat room right now, let me know what you think. I need some questions. We have the Hill family on the show. Let's make Jesse very uncomfortable. And by the way, as much as I'm joking around, I love talking to you guys. You guys are good sports. My parents, they came on during a fight buddies, and Craig Lee said he wanted to fuck my mom. Craig, I do remember this. You said you wanted to fuck my mom, Craig. Your mother? Yes, you said you wanted. And Jay Smooth, you I and Jay Smooth. I never said that. You, I never said that. Nope, I would have never said that. You and Jay Smooth were going to put my mom on the rotisserie, and I, I will never forget this. Um, you bring it up, and I'll give you a hundred. You show me the proof, and I'll give you a hundred dollars, Chris. I don't talk about fucking people's mama. All right. All right, here I'm we serious. go. You do it, and I'll give you a hundred. Along, go along with those several other ones I've given you. <laughs> Craig Lee definitely single-handedly. Fra Craig and Frank are the only reasons why this show still goes on. So, respect. Wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> anyway, uh, let, we're going to get some questions from the chat right now. Let me ask you, you uh, lovely young youngsters, some questions here. Do you have questions for the MMA holes? I mean, you see us do this, this craziness online. What do you think about people that try to express their opinion on YouTube? Uh, yeah, I'm all for it. I think everybody should be able to express their opinion no matter what. Free. There you go. So Papa Jay's for it. What about Mom Shell? I see a little bit of distaste in her mouth. I don't think she's as into it as Papa Jay. Or maybe she's... I had no problem speaking my opinion. Oh, sassy. You a sassy. You a sassy one. Uh, <laughs> what nationality are you guys, if you don't mind me asking? What nationality are you? Redneck. <laughs> Redneck. <laughs> there you go. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. No, German. German. Uh, you broke up there, Mom. What'd you say? German, Mom, Mexican. Mom, she's So German and Mexican. I think that's what we heard. Was that what we heard? German yeah. and Mexican. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a great. Russian. Yeah. Why? He's, he's Russian. Why? No, right. well, yes. You said. No, I said it. we were white Russians, which is a foreign German. Germans that were in Russia. And so mean. that's Russian. No, the Germans. No, that's Russian. If it's from Russia, it's Russian. No, I don't know, but that's way, stupid. Mean? That's that's so Russian. That's so dumb. It's a, oh, it's from Russia, but it's not Russian. They were Russian. It's they Russian. Were German immigrants that lived in Russia. That's so that's dumb. That's German. That's in it's like the Mexicans that live here. You wouldn't call them Americans if they're Mexican. Okay. Oh no no, they are Americans because we have not built the wall yet. There you go. All right, so this is what we're going to do. First of all, Jay, Jay Smooth wants to put the pipe in my mom. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for saying that. Uh, I'm going to open up the phone lines. What do you guys say about this? You, would you like to talk to the chat room? I'm <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the chat if you want me to open up the phone lines and the Hill family if you would like me to open up the phone lines. Keep in mind, Blair Tugman, I mean, Jesus Christ, he handled the phone lines pretty well, but uh, let's see if we... What do you guys say? Would you like me to open the phone lines? Let me know in the chat. And the Hill family, would you like me to open up the phone lines? Why is she so embarrassed? She just is. You want me to leave? not going to be good. <laughs> she does because the questions they're going to ask is you very prepared. All right. Nice. All right. I don't need a cigarette either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is totally <laughs> insane. Better be my idea, hon. All right. So, wait. Where is the sister right now? Where's Monica in this mix? She, like, nah. Chris, what is the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need this to get even more uncomfortable, but all right, this is good enough. Miss Monica. Okay. All right, here we go. The phone lines. Uh, I see two ones, and that's all it needs. Phone lines are open. <laughs> five one six. Five. You got an L. Two two. Zero two. Six seven. The phone lines are open. Any questions for the Hill family? Now, guys, keep in mind, Jesse Bell Hill is a YouTuber, does the after show to the MMA holes, and has some content that you may want to check out, so go check out her channel. Over 500 subscribers. Not as good as my channel, but okay. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Hey, Craig. Actually, Craig. No, it's, it's better. It's better. Mm. It is better. You know what, Chris? Yeah. Got fired. <laughs> Craig, what was that? Oh, nothing. I thought you asked me a question. I had my microphone muted. Craig, uh, actually, Craig probably has the best channel of the three of us. He he knows when to talk and when not to talk and just lets everyone talk. So, 
Appreciate I'm interested credit. in the whole thing here, man. We got we got you know like a, a partial of the family, so we're we're learning some valuable things about these people and the spawn that they've created. James, Spawn's a good word for it. <laughs> we used to call him that. Name. James Stuck says the Ball cringe. <laughs> The cringe is real from James Stuck. Monica is working. Poor girl says Jesus Christ. Uh, EA says, or Walmart Nate Diaz says, Jesse is cringy tonight. Oh, my God. Jesse, are you cringy tonight? A little bit, I guess. Jesse, I noticed you're drinking. You usually don't drink. What's going on here? What, what, is the, what is the special occasion about? I do sometimes. I just have to make sure I didn't take my meds. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, that wouldn't be. Wait. So you're off meds right now drinking. This is not good. We better get that fi fidget spinner ASAP. <laughs> it's starting to kick in a little bit. That's, what, right. that's what I got this for. Are your parents there? It's behind my mom. All right. Good. So she's just used to having a perpetual buzz. So she's just replacing it with beer at this point. Yeah. Different kind of buzz, Craig. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, believe me, I, I'm very familiar. They used to make me think I had all kinds of crazy shit wrong with me and give me all kinds of pills. I'm not saying that you don't. I'm just saying they did it one time to me. So, you know, I was just saying I know what you're going through. It's all good. Let's go around the room real quick. <laughs> Let's talk about everyone's favorite cocktail. Drink, beer. What would be your... Uh oh hold on a second. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hold on. We have a tip. Just so happens to be here. Oh, God. Thank you. Here we go. Chris, we love this channel. Love to mom and pop. Love to Jesse. Love to all in chat. I will not say filthy things because I do not want to say things like pussy a dick. Mm-hmm. I do not want to say dick a fuck. Hey, does Pop want to smoke some weed one day? Love too. There you go, Craig Lee. Thank you, Craig Lee. See, he knows he knows how to do it. He he's multitasking right Pop now. Pop doesn't smoke weed, Craig, but um, Mom does. That's all right, Mama. All right. See, I knew they were good people. I could tell. And not that you're a good person just because you smoke weed, but you're laid back, relaxed, and that's what I like. I love it. Smoke weed. No, lately. No more. Right. And I do get my bang for my buck. Yes, yeah, so everybody, when you donate, write all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem with that. I can't keep a Cheeto in the damn house. Stay in much. It. All right, mama. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ is saying, let the people speak. Jesus, the phone lines are open. 516-522-0267 if you would like to talk to the Hill family. We have, we have three of them right now. Very important parts of the Hill family, so let it fly. CES went down, and it looks like it was a dominating fight by a man named Gonzalez. Looks like he took all the rounds except for the last one. So there you go. That is the update on CES. So Pop, Mom, and Jesse Bell Hill live on the MMA holes. Pop, it looks like he's going to have a smoke. Is that what's going on right now? Yeah, he can still hear you. He knows me so well. Yeah, I do. We're, we're kindred spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, when I smoked, whenever I drank, I'd smoke. But now, you know, I don't. I hadn't smoked in 30 years, man. Wow. Yeah, I quit myself. We're going to get... Whoa, what the fuck? That's just how old I am. <laughs> yeah, Craig, I used to smoke, too, as well. I was obsessed with smoking. Smoking was the toughest thing to stop doing. It really was the toughest thing to stop. How did you stop, Craig? You know, I, I was pretty lucky, dude. How it happened was I was in a service, and I was. we, we were at... Had a have pre-flight before we go flying, and then sometimes we have a few minutes to play basketball. So I was playing basketball, started coughing, and coughed up something out of my chest that looked like it fell out of an ox's nose. And I said, "Shit, I got to quit smoking." And that was it. No kidding. <laughs> that that was it. Didn't ever smoke another one. <laughs> well, hey, good for you, Craig. I'm glad you did quit smoking. And Papa Jay, we're gonna we're gonna tie you down to the to the fucking couch. And make you stop smoking. Or just smoke weed <laughs> instead. <laughs> We're going to find you. We're going to hunt you down. We're you gonna, don't have to live with them when he doesn't have smokes. We're going to hide all your guns. We're going to tie you to the couch. We're going to rape you until he stops smoking, Papa Jay. <laughs> hey, don't threaten me with a good I'm time. I'm so down for that. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Not the rape right part. Smoke. Not the rape right part. I'm not going to rape my father. That's. That's a little bit weird. Just oh my god. <laughs> you smoke. Oh, wait, hold on. Did we hear that Jesse smokes? Wait, hold on a second. I do not smoke. 
She got caught. She's but, been smoking though. She has been smoking no. Jesse till the truth. Just, I know, I promise. I swear to God, guys, I do not smoke. There's somebody else's cigarettes, Daddy. I promise. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> No, no, I actually, I, I really, I don't smoke, guys. All right, MMA holes, you're jumping in. You know the deal. The Hills are here. Mystic Moss is here. The MVP is here. We have a hangout going on. CES just wrapped up. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we're having a good time over here. If you are not shy, get in on the calls. We have the phone lines open. Why not? 516-522-0267. Darth Bane said that he would like to call in, but I think he is sipping on stop. the Creed Bane, juice. Stop drinking, too. So. Hey, Jesse, uh, Brian Roger wants to know what he keeps going. Guys, y'all aren't reading the chat. I don't know if he's talking to Chris or Jesse. Uh, I'll watch the chat. Y'all chat. Y'all chat, and I'll watch the chat. Let's, I'm, gonna, I'm backtracking right now. If I missed anything, apologies. Uh, I'm a little I don't up. fucking smoke, guys. <laughs> he's fucking around. Okay, he's fucking around. I do not smoke. Is <laughs> Jesus. Ishmael Carrillo says... Jesse, is it true that you smoke sausage? Because Ishmael Carrillo is saying that this is what happens. I smoke sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. All right. <laughs> Daddy's still there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you forget that? Jesse, I made my father a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Let me ask uh, real quick. Uh, I'm fucking drunk. This is stupid. Why am I drunk? Shell. Because um, you. Yes. Uh, do you, what do you think about Jesse Bell Hill collaborating with this dysfunctional MMA whole family doing an after show? God, I'd love to know what you think about that. Did you just say Jesse L. Hill? I probably did. He's, he's stumbling them words a little bit. <laughs> did I say Jesse L. Hill? I probably I did. I sorry, Austin. Awesome. I don't know what's going on. Jesse, what do you think about this? All right, all right, we I'll, like drunk Chris. He's a little more loose. Not nah, trust hey, me. Let's mess up tight. I'm never, I'm never, I'm never around. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. You got drunk Chris tonight, guys. So if you want to call in, this might be the time to do it because I'm like, I'm fucking a sinking ship right now. Um, Seriously, people call in, man. What were we talking about? Oh, about Jesse Bell Hill running the after show um, on the MMA holes, collaborating with the MMA holes. We need to know what Shell thinks about this. We need to know the opinion of the lovely Shell. And by the way, you guys look like twins over there looking at the both of you guys. You do, right? Craig. Do you say like twins? They yeah, do. They look twins. very similar, no? Do what, brother? They're cutting out. Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hear it because they were laughing. Oh, Jesse. Hey, who's looking like twins? Jesse's got a twin sister live on the MMA holes. It's wonderful, wonderful. All right, so, oh, Mom. Okay. What do we think about the collaboration? Uh, give me your honest opinion. If you think it's a stupid move or if you think the whole thing that Jesse's doing, anything that Jesse's doing is stupid, let us know because it makes for good content. They think so. everything. <laughs> the good part is about Jesse, she's such a good sport, and we do love it when she does her thing. I don't know if you guys have witnessed this. This chair rocks. I almost fell over three times on this stream. I saw that. Just <laughs> like, I, was, I was like, hangouts. I can think it easier here. It's like a fucking well, eye hangouts, It's a different view, so I oh, can tell. It is a different view. Yeah, you guys get to see my clips. They don't get to see my clips. My clip. They get to see my clip. But, um... And clip is that what you said? No, clips, of course. So uh -oh. we that never one. <laughs> We never got the answer correct. All right, so mom, we're gonna give you the floor. We're babbling like idiots. It's it's yours. <laughs> oh hell, she's always got the floor. What am I supposed to be saying? You didn't tell me. You, I didn't know you had a clip. You just you know I do I actually Irish people, all Irish people are or have clits. My my I'm Irish but from the waist down, so I'm I'm a glorified clit from the bottom. But anyway, let's not talk about me. So, mom, <laughs> we're talking about clits with Jesse's mom. This is great. <laughs> if you're just jumping in, Jesse's mom, Shell, Papa J. Yes. What do we think about the MMA Holes collaboration? Because actually, Jesse's been putting in some work uh, on a couple of yeah. streams over here, and uh, she's been actually helping out. Let's be honest. I, I am a stats person, and I d have been looking at the stats. There has been an increase on both channels, and Jesse has been fucking, she's been doing a great job. She's been putting a lot of work into the situation. But do you think it's a waste of time for Jesse to, to be mingling with this dysfunctional shit show <laughs> called the MMA holes? I'm more than, you know, mingling with this dysfunctional shit that's over on this side. <laughs> I have to say something. Actually, this, this is way cheaper than therapy, mama. <laughs> it Very really true. Is. I like to think that we uh, 
raise her, preparing her for this kind of a environment. <laughs> you did a good job, the guys. You did a real good job. <laughs> Darth real Bain. good job. Darth Bain says Chris has a mini Pepsi can p- cock. So there you go. Wonderful, wonderful. There you go. In case you guys were wondering, okay. that's something everybody needed to know. Yeah. I feel this, and I'm going to tell you guys my opinions right now. I might be shot out of a cannon right now, but I'm 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 an optimist. Okay. When I did see Jesse's channel, I saw a crazy amount of potential. I thought she was a funny girl, and she had like some sort of it factor. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's autism. I don't know what it is. But she. <laughs> I think. Is it autism? Is it? Is Jesse autistic? Let me know, parents. Is it, no. Anyway, but I, I do think that Jesse has something going with her channel. I don't know if we're corrupting that channel, but I do see something there. So I'm going to make a prediction. I do see Jesse with a bright future. She's still young. She could still hit strong with YouTube. I do think if she puts her nose down, goes in the right direction, she can go to the right places. But as parents, <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Craig? As, I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> as parents, and I have parents too. Granted, I'm fucking 40 years old and they're still alive. It's amazing. But I have parents and they have criticized me many of times. Have They're actually for it now. When they see a little bit of steam, they're actually for it now. But my parents, especially my father, who's a great guy and a realistic guy, has given me the conversations over and over and over again saying, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? It's insane, right? As a parent, being protective of your daughter, how is it? For Jesse to try to chase a dream, and let's be honest, it's an unrealistic dream when it comes to YouTube because the percentages to be successful on YouTube is slim, and you want to protect your daughter. Honestly, what is going through your mind? Is it tough to support someone that's chasing a dream that's tough to get? No, because you don't know how tough it's going to be for that person unless that person actually goes for it. They're talking about you particularly or me. No, I know, but we're letting you. We're not giving you crap. You're you're a grown adult. <laughs> <laughs> it's and if she tougher wants to probably on daddy than it is mama, I would think. <laughs> well, the doctor said it joined uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? I know they're all squirming right now from the uh, the uh, the situation. But oh. sit. 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 I'm sorry. We have a huge dog. Is that the, do- the butt. Is that the raping dog? Is that the dog that rapes the family? Yeah, she just shoved her head up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wonderful, wonderful. That is it. Uh, so it's Darth Bane says Chris crushing your dreams. The only reason why I'm saying this is because I, I'm familiar with it. Now I am older, so I, I've, I've been going through this my whole fucking life. But um, YouTube is a whole different monster. It's, it's, it's a tough thing to, to exceed in. And it has to be tough for a parent, especially being overprotective and being open in a situation like this, to be supportive because you want to help your daughter at the same time. How, how do you go about doing this? Like, I mean, you sound like you're very supportive in the situation, but does it, is there a part of you that's scared in the path that she's going? Jesse, you like that, there, Jesse? There's, al- there, there, <laughs> there's always a fear, mm-hmm. okay? But anytime you attempt to achieve something that is risky or unknown or, you know, you just... It, it can really go shitty really quickly. Um, so, yeah, the, the fear is there. And we do spend considerable time cautioning her. Um, but at the same time, we try to be supportive to where... It's her dream. She's got to figure it out. Yeah. And sometimes you just kind of got to let them go. And, and if it goes south, then you say, okay, well, what are you going to do now? Now well, I want to chime in in a minute. Go ahead, Craig. Go ahead. Jump in. No, I mean, I'll just go chime in just for a second. As a father myself of a son who's fixing to turn uh, 30, uh, he, as a parent, you're always worried about your kids, man. I mean, you love them. You brought them into the world, and you feel responsible for them for the rest of your living days. Chris, just like I'm sure your parents, if they never voiced it, they do feel that way. That's how normal people are. That's normal parents. That's how it is. Now, Jesse is on a quest. Now, I'll say this. Sure, she has a long shot here. I mean, there's no doubt about that. It's like with you also. 
uh, the thing is, Wait, there's no on, bad Craig. exposure. People say uh, there's bad exposure. There's no such thing. Being here, getting around people, conversing, social skills are the biggest thing that's lacking, or one of the biggest things that's lacking with young people today, social skills. And she's learning those, especially with us rough bunch of redneck mother grabbers. And you ain't got to be from the South to be a redneck. But we all good, and I love everybody. There you go. There's, there's another perspective from someone that, that deals with the situation, a 30-year-old son right there. So Craig Lee, could you believe Craig Lee actually spawned a child? I can't even believe this right now. Wonderful. And he has a Ph.D. <laughs> Whoa, he's got a Ph.D., <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he, he has uh, two master's degrees and a Ph.D. Yeah, man, he's awesome, man. I didn't have to pay a dime for his college. He made such a high score on his uh, ACTs, he got a full ride. Then he graduated summa cum laude from his college, and another college called Auburn University in Alabama offered him a job to come teach while he was getting his master's degree and paid it all the way through. I'm a blessed, blessed man. Craig, what did you do different than Jesse's parents and my parents? Because clearly we're two idiots. <laughs> so well, no, I mean, I was pretty yeah. much, I mean, see, dude, I didn't, I mean, I was always pretty much a kind of, I mean, although I come across as a, a, a devil may care kind of dude, uh, I was a big dude. I mean, I studied and I played football and in, in high school and then I went on to college and I got my, my degree and then I went and got my master's degree and went into the service. I mean, I don't know. It's just been how I've always been, dude. My mm. parents not, were never around. So my grandparents raised me and taught me if you want to get anywhere Hold in life, on. you got to work for it. Hold on. We got a phone call. All right. You are live with the MMA holds Jesse Bell Hill and ah, oh, you fucking hung up, you bitch ass. Ni All right, five one six five two two five one six five two two zero two six seven. Hi. Someone called. Someone called and 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 oh, hung up hi. on us. The one who. Anyway. Yes, you think? Craig, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I saw a phone call coming and I wanted to catch that call. Um, oh no, no. I'm just saying. You know, you have to work for things in life. And you know and what? That's just like what you're doing, and just like Jesse's working for that goal, that dream. If you don't dream, you ain't getting nowhere. Not for nothing. It, it, I'll say this, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, Chris. And I don't even like to quote Casey Neistat, but he made the point of saying, "Do what you can't," and that's a very good saying. That is true. I want to get Jesse's perspective on this whole situation because she's been very quiet, flicking around a fidget spinner. I feel like she's getting off very easy right now in this whole situation. <laughs> So let's give Jesse the floor. Oh, you're lucky, Jesse. Saved by the bell. You're alive with the MMA <laughs> Hills. I'm always saved by the bell. What's your name? Where you're from? And let's go. Uh, can you do me a favor? Yes. <laughs> can you please tell Craig to shut the hell up or show his face? I'm tired of this creepy voice just chiming in on everything. Oh, no. Hold on. This shot's fired right now. Someone's calling in and saying, I'm tired of Craig's voice. We need to see a face. Craig, you have a retaliation? Well, he haven't been around long enough. No, no, I've look, look, dude. No, times, shut your brother, mouth. Show but, your face or shut yeah. your mouth. Hey, look, redneck. Shut, fuck you. Shut hey, up. I'm not going to get shut into Shut up, you redneck. redneck. You redneck. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let Craig Lee talk. I'll leave you. Oh, he fucking hung up. That goddamn bastard hung up, and I wanted to let. Hey man, the holes have seen me. I, I don't. I don't go about this. I mean, I got too much to lose. I can't be robbed. For, I mean, you know what I do, and most of the people in there do. Mm. I'm not going to let them catch me and jack me from my damn goods, man. <laughs> you know, I'm wow. not an idiot. Craig, I don't know, but. That guy was trying to take your throne over there. I, I could tell that he came ah, in. Man, look, I don't. You know me. I could care less <laughs> about these mothers, man. They're all haters. Well, here, in fairness, we all get it. I get it. Craig gets it. Jesse gets it. Actually, mom's gotten off pretty easy on this one. I think. I think mom's doing a very but nice you've job. You've got to learn to do is not entertain these bastards more than once. <laughs> once he, if he tells back, don't entertain him anymore. Now, because if you use me at that, at my expense. To, to you know, then you just need to fucking do away with anything to do with me. Whoa, Craig! You protect your own. Craig, you stop it right now. You stop it right now. You know I support the MMA holes in every way. I support the MVP, of course. So uh, listen, here's the thing. I I let people go on a little long at the phones because I like them to stay on and defend themselves. When they leave the phone call, 
they are giving up on the situation. So what I wanted to do there is give you the uh, the light, but hey, it is what it is. You know, the guy was. Being oh, a- it's fine. I'm just saying, if he comes back, don't give him any more time. He did his shit. He talks. He's a waste of time. Talk to people that's got something good to contribute. By the way, I completely dropped the ball. I know this has nothing to do with anything right now, but <laughs> I thought the last fight was the title fight. And <laughs> there's another fight going on. No, it's, it's not. I just noticed that. It's myself. the fucking main event. Oh, my God. It's the main event. Oh, I'm such a dickhead. Uh, KMX, you are live with the MMA holes, which uh, we know your name. Uh, what do you have on your mind? Please save us. Hey, what's up, Chris? All right, there's a lot of hostility going on. I think everybody's a little fucked up, honestly. Mm. <laughs> so, anyways... Um, if Papa J is still there, I just want I just want to give a shout out to him because he's a cool dude and he's rolling with the punches. You know, he got his daughter and his wife there. Papa Thank J- you very much. There he goes. <laughs> oh, sweet. All right, so he is there. Yeah, and thanks for serving our country too. Really respect that. Papa J is a good man. He is a good man. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> oh yeah, Craig. Holy shit. You're a good man too, man. Don't don't let these haters get all up on under your skin or anything. They're a bunch oh, of man. fucktards. You know that. Oh, we all good, brother. We love you, man. Good to talk to you too. But good to see you again. Hey, yeah, uh, we all good. Sorry, I was coughing, but yeah, we love Papa J. Look, we go have people come in and try to insert, you know, shit. But Chris has got this circus. He's the ringmaster. <laughs> yeah, I think Chris is feeling a little buzz. You should have <laughs> ate some food before you started drinking that shit, my friend. <laughs> You're right. I should have. I fucking. I definitely made the cardinal sin. I made that that sin that the girl goes on the first date and not eats and then gets fucked by everyone in the chat. That's pretty much what happened right now. But it's good. It's good entertainment there, KMX. That's all that matters. KMX. Any questions for the hills? I mean, you got the stage right now. You got the whole crew waiting for you. What do you say? Oh shit. I don't even know. First of all, uh, let me give a shout out to Jesus. Jesus is a good motherfucker, right there. You know that. Um, Vun, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> don't don't be playing that freaking reading rainbow <laughs> shit on me, bro. <clears throat> no, go ahead, all go right, ahead. all right. I don't I don't want to hang the line up too long. I know some other people <laughs> probably want to call and stuff. So thanks for having me on and everything. No, KMX, take your time, man. You're you're a swole MMA hole. I'm Jesse, not gonna cut you, you got off. that. I know you did. <laughs> I really don't know what to talk about, honestly. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I was then sitting here giving my daughter fucking horsey rides, and then I come up and, and hear Craig getting all pissed off. So I figured I'd call in and let, let him know that, you know, he's got some love coming from over here. There you go. And actually, thank you for calling with that, KMX. Craig Lee, Craig Lee knows how it is, man. Here's the thing. I mean, you know, we, we, we get people that try to trigger each other. I get fucking ripped on all the time. It happens, man, over here. It is what it is. Craig gets it, man. As much as he was busting chops, he gets it. We know Craig Oh, no, it. yeah. I like to get a little antsy once in a while. You know me. Otherwise, I'm always spreading the love when they throw the hate. I just like to give these little shits a little problem once in a while. Craig, let me bury my head between your legs right now. I'll fucking Eskimo kiss the shit out of your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can do without that, but I love you too, Chris. <laughs> all right. KMX, any last words? Um, all right. For the record, we need more people with guns. All right? Guns are a good thing. It adds, pro- it's pro- it adds more protection. You know what I'm saying? I trust that here in Colorado, we got open carry. So, you know, we've got people <laughs> rolling around all the time with pistols on their hips and shit. You there know, you go. I, I used to not really like it, but if, if somebody's got a gun on their hip, you know they're the good guy. You know what I mean? I like this. Plus, you got weed, legal weed. Golly, man. I love Marlon. Oh, yeah, Wayne. of course we got the legal weed, too. You know, my medical card just, just ran up a couple days ago. So, and I'm going through some shit with my family right now, so I probably won't be renewing it for a little while. But, you know, I've got a, I've got a stash, you know? That's good stuff right there. i got to get on the weed ba- bandwagon. I really have to get on that Man- bandwagon. <laughs> Did I? Hey, good for the soul. Shell, don't make me come over there, Shell. Don't make me come over there. All right. So, <laughs> all right, any last words? I know we gave you last words again, but KMX, feel free to call in whenever you'd like, man. You're, you're, good, you're good peeps. I love that. Hey, you guys are good people, too. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, there he is, KMX. Love to you, brother. Unfortunately, KMX had to call in when Chris is drunk, but it happens. Craig Lee, what are we going to do about this? I got to get high with you guys. I really do. I think if I do, when I do jump well, next off. Next time I come to New York, we're going to. That's just it. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, what's the odds? What's the odds we can get you at 
uh, in November. Is, is that too early to get you to New York or what? Um, actually, no, because actually I'll be coming before November because I got to have everything decided because I've, I make all my clients get your orders in before Thanksgiving because I got only so long to get them ready for Christmas gifts and stuff. So what I, I go buy diamonds usually in October. So we probably can hook up in October, my brother. All right, Craig, we're hanging out, man. Definitely hit me up. And if we could get the whole oh, we'll together, fuck we'll it. it up, man. Awesome. I definitely want to do the November. Was it 4th? November 4th is the MSG event. November 3rd. I wish I could be there for that. God, yeah. that'd be awesome. That's going to be a good time, guys. November 3rd, the weigh-ins. We'll go to that. We'll go to the bar afterwards. We're going to work it out. But Jay Smooth says he'll get me high. I'll, yeah. I laugh at everything already. So imagine See, I'd like that because I know Smooth lives in Maryland. He would definitely come because I've talked to him on Hangouts. We've all talked on – and yeah, man, that'd be awesome. We'd have some fun. <laughs> Darth Bane's going to make me autistic with some marijuana, so there you go. I tell you what, <laughs> I'm dying to meet you guys, man. I'm dying to meet you guys. I'm dying to hang out with you guys. Seriously, if it wasn't for you guys, there's no MMA holes, man. If it wasn't for you guys, there's no J-Beans. If you really think about it, there's no YouTube channels because you guys keep coming back. So respect. Respect to everybody. Very true. Well, we appreciate all the hard work you put in this, man. And also the hard work that Jesse's put into her stuff. Yeah, Jesse doesn't do, do that Thank much. You, I think I do more work than Jesse. I don't know. That's just me. Oh, anyway, no. <laughs> Here we go. We got a caller. <laughs> You're. Li I love you, Jesse. Live with the MMA holes. What's your name? Where are you from? Yeah, I'm calling back for Craig. Oh no! <laughs> Hold on. Okay. All right. We're gonna moderate this right now. We're gonna go one and one. I'm gonna give you. Hang on, no, 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 look. Yeah, either when hang I up phone, or you said that was a big to Hold on a second. Chris, we can fight. Hang up. You, 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 you do all this fighting stuff. All right, I just muted both of you guys. You guys could hear each other maybe, but I muted both of you guys. This is what I need you guys to do, okay? If we're going to do this, we're going to do this civilized. I'm going to put the volume back on. We're going to go one at a time, back and forth. Here we go. Walmart, door he's, still he's still fucking talking. <laughs> All right, we done? All right, hold on a second. Either, cut, hey, look, either cut him. This is real right. simple, Chris. I'm going to make it easy for you. I cut him off, either Craig. cut his ass off or say fucking goodbye to me. I'm not here to amuse <laughs> you or your fucking shit. Craig. Either do to you don't. I've been a good <laughs> man. Craig, dance. Dance for me, Craig. No, come on. I'm fucking with you. He's gone anyway. He left. I, I muted him because this is what I wanted to happen. I wanted to have a little fun I'm with done, you guys. man. I'll check you later, No, man. Craig, don't leave you. Don't. I'll, I'll, I'll hunt you down. I'll find oh, you. Fucking cut that. I'm Craig, not, I'm not here to fuck with these idiots. You Craig, can. I'm going to fucking they spoon talk you. talk about me, you fucking let them go. Get done with them. Craig, we're going to spoon. If you keep this up, we're going to spoon. <laughs> we're going to fucking spoon, all right? If you keep See, this... you don't know me, man. I cut these motherfuckers' <laughs> heads off and shit in their neck, man. You just don't know what kind of right. evil motherfucker I am, and I don't like that evil being brought out. Listen, he's, he's gone, by the way. He is gone. So, uh, I'm having... Craig, we're having a little bit of fun over here. You know I'm fucking with you a little bit. I, if it... I know. Just don't entertain these motherfuckers <laughs> at my expense, man. I don't appreciate that at all. All right, here's the thing, and I have to be honest. Jesse Bell Hill has been raped multiple times inside that chat. She is willing to be raped. <laughs> I told you from the beginning, I'm all not. Right. I'll tell you what. Let's let's be fair here, and I'm I'm going to throw this out there to you, Craig. You know we love you. You're the MVP. You're always going to be the MVP. I mean, you're the fucking you're the heart and soul right now of the chat room and the MMA holes. All right. So if things get out of control, don't – I need you to do me this. Don't say it bothers you. Just kind of bounce, chillax. That's what I'm going to say to you. That's I will. I'm sorry. Right? I got a, I'm, I got the only reason why I'm hands. saying that is – Oh, fuck you, concussion, Polly. <laughs> but anyway – But you know uh, what I'm saying? No, no, no. Concussion, Polly is another little cunt. Right. But no, I've – now, you got to admit, man, I very rarely – I put up a lot of yeah. shit – a lot of shit you don't see. I got people DMing me. Yeah. I had to change my deal where you can't DM me unless you follow me. Because uh, I have people DMing me all the time from this show, man. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm being, I've am being i shared my soul and I've shared. Uh, so I've been roasted hard. You just don't see a lot of it. And some of it's in the chat, but a lot of it's been by DMs. People wanting money and shit, thinking I'm out trying to be some kind of fucking uh, sugar daddy and stuff. Weird shit, dude. So anyway, your word's getting out. At least you know that. But, <laughs> you know, I'm good. No, Craig, I'm your right. brother. You're my brother. We're all family. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm a big man. I know that meant when I was wrong. <laughs> no, it's all good, Craig. I lost my shit. Listen, like I'm I sorry. Said Jesse and them, y'all are tough skinned and I should be. I'm sorry. Here's the thing. And Craig, I get it, man. I totally get it. Any Anytime you feel anything that's a little off, 
Oh my god. You bounce. That's what you do because the problem is when people see that there's a reaction or something like that, they feed off of that shit. That's what trolls do. So Oh no, I'm usually I'm usually perfect with that shit, but you know, I'm just like somebody, you know, I don't know. Man. I get Tonight you, man. maybe I don't know. I think I had a little little <laughs> thing earlier with the girls, but never mind. It's probably where it came from. Like, uh, the office still on the table. Credit cards have a limit, you know, for a reason. <laughs> the office Okay. The offer's still on the table. I will be spooning you, Craig Lee. I will no, be I, I look, Chris. You know how I feel about you, buddy. And I, right. you know how Jesse and I, everybody knows how I'm a, I'm a decent man. All right, I'm going to mute, and y'all go ahead. Right. But I'm, I'm going to be here. I'll just mute, but I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead. All right, so this is what I did. I opened the phone lines open. Now, my friend that keeps calling in and going after Craig, chillax, man. You got your shit in. I, I, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. You are live with the MMA holes. What's your name? Where are you from? Well, this is the last time I'm going to call. Uh, but, uh, look, is Craig's last name Cormier? Because he's doing a lot of crime right now. All right. Hold on. Where Can I get a name and where you're I'm from? Done. I'm not worried about Craig. I'm not going to talk to him. I understand that he's going to cry if I talk to him. I'm worried <laughs> about Mama. Mama, uh, she's sexy. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Now, let's go towards the Hill family right now. What is your name? Can we? You don't have to give me your real name, but what can we call you? Uh, my, my real name's Jeff. Jess, wait, you're my really name's Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. My name is Jeff. That's from like 22 Jump Street. You ever see that? Where, where, all right, forget. Anyway, uh, Jeff, Jeff, listen, Jesse Bell Hill and mom are here. The f I mean, you could say whatever you would like to these young, young ladies right now. The floor is yours, my friend. Okay, you guys should kiss. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> all right, I gotta. You, you can't. I try. I try to give you a chance. To, to just wipe the autism off for two seconds, and this is what I get. You guys should and kiss. See, I didn't say a thing. I Good didn't job, say Craig. a thing, did I? Good job, Craig. See, Craig sniffed you out. All right, listen. <laughs> it is what it is. I It is my fault. This whole thing is my fault, but I'll open the phone lines back up. 516-522-0267. <laughs> I'm in control now. They can say what they want, but there's no sense in entertaining it for yeah. too long. No, nah, they're yeah. going to get... It's like them talking about Christine's pussy or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fucking... Well, it's not here. Anyway, so, all right. So, let's see what we got in the chat. Oh, shit. This is Jay Smooth. LOL. Craig Pierre. Good one. Craig Cormier says, all right, now let's keep going. Uh, enough of Jesse, for fuck's sake. Filthy George. Oh, my God. Jesse's mom, Shell. Let me ask. Can I call you Michelle? I'd rather call you Michelle. Is that cool? It's fine. All right. I don't like Shell. I'm sorry. No offense to Papa Jay. But I'm going to call you Michelle. Okay. There's a new sheriff in town, Jesse's mom. <laughs> All right, um, Michelle. What was I going to ask? Oh, Filthy George. What do you think about this Filthy George character that's been jumping around? <laughs> I mean, he's been nice and been mostly horrible to your daughter. What do you think about this man? I mean, I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he's a confused man, but or a child. We don't know. But what do you think about Filthy George? We'll go with that. My daughter can handle herself. Mm. All right, so there you go. What do you... Uh oh, shit. I, I gotta remember the number of this guy. All right, let's see if this is him. I don't even know. You're live with the MMA Holes. What's your name? Where are you from? Hello? It's Zane Williams. Oh, okay. We got a different call here. Zane, Zane Williams. Welcome to the Zane show. Zane Williams? Yeah, Zane Williams. You know here. who it is, right? Zane, what's going on? I, I know. know. You're the one who Zane wants to fucking Christmas ass. Of course. That's my man right there. Go ahead, Zane. All right. I got a question. Who is that girl? Speak up. I can't hear you. What'd you say? I said, I got a question. Who is that on whoever you're video chatting? Okay, so this is Jessie Bell Hill. She does the after show for the MMA Holes, but not only does she do that, she has her own channel on YouTube, and she's been doing, she's been killing it over there. So go subscribe to her. That's Jessie and her mom with a fidget spinner. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, you guys going to hook up? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I'm married, so that might be a problem. That might be a little bit of an issue, but but what are you oh, going to do? Oh, wow. Zane. Hey, right now? Yeah. Right now, I have a big question. All right. Actually, hold on. Let me, let's me. let all pause. Collect your thoughts. Zane has a very big question right now. This is exciting. I'm actually on the ed edge of my seats. The MMA holes are on the edge of their seats. <laughs> Zane, I'm telling you right now. All right. This is big. Let's Let's let it out. Let it out. All right, this okay. is this is the biggest you know announcement out there. Um, <clears throat> my ass is open. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm ready to be penetrated by one of your viewers. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. 
Now, Zane, is there a preference to a viewer that you would like to penetrate your asshole? Uh, any viewer can, you know, step up, take me on. <laughs> step up on the plate and just, yeah, you know, anyone, just, just comment. So the first person that comments that says they want that ass, you're willing to literally spread cheeks and go for it. I'm willing to spread my ass cheeks. And sit on him. <laughs> now, what if it is a female? What if it's a young lady that has maybe I don't know uh, a large um, thing well, that like could, a transgender? Yeah, well, it could be a tra transgender, or it could be uh, I don't know. It could be Becky, Becky D in the D machine, uh, one of the seven percenters. <laughs> well, you know, this is what I would do. I, I would tell them to you know put on a strap on and just mm -hmm. let it loose. So you're into that. Okay, that's good. Uh, all right, so now Renato Laranja says, Zane, my dude. No one is, there's no takers right now. I'm waiting for a taker, but I don't see anyone in the chat that's willing. I need a taker. I need a taker. At least uh, the one. Craig, can you help? Can you help him out? Well, Filthy Anybody. George says he would hit that stuff. Filthy George wants it. Oh, I'll go in. There you go. All right, I'm uh, sorry. I'll I missed in that. that in that shit is what he said. So Filthy George is in. Like my balls. So there you go. Filthy George. Filthy George is in it? Yeah, Filthy George. So what I need you to do when you get off this call, I need you to suit up and get ready for Filthy George. How's it sound? Uh, I'm Tanner's right. also All right. volunteering well, to be too, people. All right, guys. All right. Thank you, Zane. This is a really good call. I appreciate All right, it. All right. Good. All yeah, right. So Tanner wants in that stuff, too. He's, he said he'll do it, but not in a gay way. That's sort of, <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Could you imagine... If Blair Tugman was watching this, Craig Lee? <laughs> I don't know if he... <laughs> he might... Look, man, people are getting a kick out of this, man. You got 33 people watching. Look, <laughs> we're having great. a good time. Yeah, this is not our normal shit, but this is a great time. And to the new viewers, if there are any new viewers, welcome to the MMA Holes. We are the MMA Holes. There are fights hey, going on. Sound like, let me just say, here's how you Wait. sound like a really old man. Let me say this. This is how you like a really old man. Mm -hmm. Well, at least they're playing on the YouTubes and not out robbing folk. Thank you. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> All right. So there you go. 516-522-0267. The lines are open. Jesse's mom has been hanging in there very long with us. Jesse's mom, Michelle, great job. Where's Pop? Papa J bounce. That's it. He's done. Yeah, I think she's about ready to go to bed here soon, too. They All got right. work in the morning. All right. So, I'm still oh. sitting there. You can't see me. Oh. He's smoking. Lurking in the corner. Are you smoking in the house? or uh, Wait, how are you smoking? Where you, you're in the house? <laughs> they only do it during the summer because it's too fucking hot to be outside. Does he stand near the window and sort of crack the door or something? Well, and we'd have to have all the air hot again. Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So, there you go. <laughs> Down here. <laughs> The look of disgust on Jesse Bell Hill's face. Everyone just zoom in on that right now. All right. <laughs> We're on to you, Jesse. We're on to you. All right. So I have to say right now, I have to say, I am very excited. Well, no, I'm not. Let me stop. Let me, let me back up for a second. I am very happy <laughs> to have the Hill family on the MMA holes. This is very nice. Uh, the lovely Michelle and Papa J did a great job jumping on the stream. And a round of applause in the chat room. Now, the phone lines are open. What I, oh, no, fuck this. Oh, no. Guys, I apologize in advance. The sixth man is live on the MMA holes. Let's go for it. All right, Jay. <laughs> hey, what? all right. So, uh, <clears throat> so uh, Papa, all I'm going to tell you is uh, you, you did well. <laughs> you, you, not only pick, you not only picked out correctly. Uh, you created uh, fuckable daughters, at least from what I can see. So you you deserve all the respect in the world, sir. You have very good selection. You know, a little a little thicker, but hey, not bad. She she definitely uh, can get pipe. But anyways, uh, everyone have a good night. Uh, I'm high. You should all be high. Fuck it, let's have a good time. Right, thank you, Jay. I do appreciate that. That was great, Jay. You know. Not now, Jay makes a great point. They produce fuckable daughters. I mean, let's be honest. I think he makes a good point there, right? Chat room, do you agree? Craig, do you agree? Man, I feel so sorry for Papa Jay right now, man. I love you, dude. You, I would have done killed somebody by now. I can't. He's, he's, 
repeating what somebody else said. Oh. <laughs> I have to say, I'm a big fan of Papa J. I'm not going to lie. I, I wish we could get more Papa J on future streams. I hope Papa J jumps in. But no joke, even in the stream where Jesse was doing the tattoo, Papa J jumped in there, and I have to, you're riveting. You're fucking riveting. You need to be in front of the camera more often, for sure. So just a word of advice over here from the MMA holes. I would say. Very uh, nice. See, me and Papa J could do an, the old veterans chat. Fucking J. Uh, that would be raunchy. <laughs> we'll open up the old veterans chat, and me and him will do that. How cool, Craig. How you you throw up those chats when I'm I'm not able to do it. You throw up the link. Could you imagine Papa J? This could blow people's minds right now. Could you imagine Papa J and Craig <laughs> Lee in on the chat together? Be crazy. Ooh, that'd be a salty mother. That's right. Jesse's having a convulsion. No, you're damn right. <laughs> Jesse's dying right now. There's a reason why Jesse's blue box. No respect, disrespect to you, Craig. There's no video, so I'm keeping them. On the camera because it definitely is the thing to show right now. Uh, respect to Jay in the chat. Jay Stupid. What's up, Junk Drawers? What's going on? Ask these two sluts if they'd have a mother-daughter threesome with me, says Junk Drawer. So, Junk Drawer, the phone lines are open, <laughs> Junk Drawer, from Canada. If you would like to call in 516-522-0267, you could ask them yourself. But Please, hey, listen real quick, Chris. Uh, EA, EA UFC... Uh, please, no old veteran chat. Hey, you don't have to come to the chat if we have one, you piece of shit. <laughs> what <happened>? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm missing a lot. I'm missing a lot in the chat. I apologize. I'm way further than I should be. I'm further. I, you probably realize it, but I'm trying to conduct myself in, in a professional way. So let's yeah, Even Ishmael said Jay was a classy caller, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jay was saying that Jesse's mom, uh, <laughs> Papa Jay was punching up. That's what Jay was saying. <laughs> good job, Jay, on that one. Well, not for nothing. Papa Jay did a very good job. What's the age difference between the two of you guys, if you don't mind? You don't have to say an age, but what is the difference? Is there what's Six years. Six years. Oh, that's about right then, right? Right, Craig? I don't know. That's perfect. Uh, Papa Jay's the older one, right? Younger. Younger. Wait a second. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a my, father was, my father was in first grade at the same time my mother was in eighth grade, seventh grade. So. Hold on a second. I love Papa J. So, <laughs> so my mother was a file. <laughs> Where's Marlon when you need her? So, holy shit. <laughs> I can't believe this. Papa J. Nabbing mm -hmm. the older woman. This is pretty exciting right now. Good for Papa J over there. What do you think about this? Is, Craig, how do you feel about this? A cougar. Hey, I'm all good. I mean, she's a milf. Papa Jay's like, that's right. He's fucking rocking. Where is the belt? He should have a belt over his shoulder right now. The champ right now amongst his friends throws the belt over. <laughs> 22 years oh, ago. Oh, I don't need no belt. All I got to do is let you look at my wife. Oh, hey, there you go. There you go. That's what I used to say, Papa Jay. Mine was so beautiful, man. People go, what in the hell are you doing with him? Mm -hmm. hey, I'm I, say they say, they, I have, have a belt to prove my worth. I say the same thing they, about well, see, here they, they still do that to me now, but now they realize that I, I got a little bit extra money to throw around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Look at this chat room. Still hanging in there with the MMA holes. It's gone completely out of control right now. I'm going to take this to 12... Uh, all right, it's 11.45 over here on the East Coast. It's still young over there for the West Coast, but I'm going to take this to 12 a.m. on the East Coast. So let's do this 15 more minutes before I fucking blow my brains out. You guys are great. Craig Lee is great. The chat room is great. Chris is drunk. Did he say he was going to blow himself? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. That's right. I got to get out of here before I give myself head. I must leave. All right, anyway. Hey that then we need to talk because i need some tips <laughs> See, God, i just sound so gay <laughs> <laughs> just saying if i could do that i would never have to leave the house papa jay what are your thoughts on this what are your thoughts on this over here take a look right over here <laughs> <laughs> right. this is a microphone well it's big and it's black and um hello all right so this is a microphone now i want to say something jesse has been <laughs> shopping for this microphone do you think she should stop shopping for this microphone? She's about to piss herself right now. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's a good Alrighty. microphone. In the chat, let me know with the ones if you think Jesse should buy this microphone. No, do not. Let me know with the ones. 
Drop. All right. Oh, are you That's wanting a, to sell it? Because yeah. I thought we was going to get her one. Are you wanting to sell that one? <laughs> no. We well, need to get Jesse one of those microphones, and we're going to do it. No problem. We're going to talk about this on the next stream. Mm -hmm. Craig Lee uh, says yes. Uh, KMX, yes. Brian Royger, yes. Jay Smooth, yes. That Jesse should buy that microphone. So there you go. Everyone thinks that Jesse should buy that microphone and then use that microphone on the after show, right? Is that what everyone's saying right now? Absolutely. That's right. By the way, you talk into that microphone, Jesse. You talk into that. I don't know where you're going with this, but you talk into that microphone. It's a microphone. All right. Uh, Brian Royger, Dave, and H, Ishmael, Junctra, Filthy George. Everyone says Jesse should buy that microphone. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. I don't know, but Chris, I'm watching how you're kind of guarded while you're talking on your microphone right there. You, you all of a sudden got booped. Well, this microphone over here, it doesn't he fit. did back up a little bit. This microphone over here, <laughs> it doesn't fit as nice on my, in, inside my anus. But that one over there, let me tell you, that's a perfect fit. Hold on. <laughs> Do you actually get another one you're wanting to use or something? Well, I have. All right, here's the deal. This microphone was my first microphone. It popped my cherry, <laughs> if you know what I mean. This microphone over here, Blue Yeti, was my first microphone. A great microphone. I use this on the Fight Buddies. So there you go. There's another microphone that I used in my well, just, band. Just, we'll talk about it off the stream and we'll get it to her. I'll, I'll take care of it. Yeah, anyway, I didn't shove that microphone up my ass in case you guys were wondering. This one, yes, yeah, she did. wants it. Yeah. All right. So anyway, fidget spinner. So, all right. So that's it. Can we see Dad play with the fidget spinner? Is that possible? <laughs> mm-hmm. We should do, hold on. We should do something here. We should do, let's see who could have the fidget spinner go the longest on their nose. What do you guys think? Craig, what do you think about this? Uh, yeah, good luck. I gotta get a, I gotta, really I gotta she doesn't want to let me play with her toys. I got to put a timer on you. <laughs> <That was so laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't even want to answer. I don't even want to respond to that. <laughs> All right. So, uh oh, we got a call. Holy fuck. People are calling off the lines. All right, here we go. You're live with the MMA Holes and the Hills and the Craig Lee. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, yo, man, can you please, like, stop talking about homosexual shit? Okay, that's fine. We can. What else is on your mind? Does make you uncomfortable? Uh, I wouldn't buy a microphone off Chris. <laughs> was, was that's stopping. nasty, man. Yeah. Well, listen, sometimes you get lonely, my friend. Sometimes you get lonely. And you gotta no no no. Right. We'll take an ultraviolet no. light to make sure if it's been anywhere <laughs> weird. <laughs> All right. Any questions for the lovely guest on the show today? Because if she buys it, Papa Jay's, that's going to be his favorite chair in the house. You're saying that's going to be Papa Jay's favorite chair in the house. Papa Jay, would you like to answer this? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening to the first part of that. So um, let's try that again. Yeah. All right. Any anything else on your mind? <laughs> Oh my god, dude, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> uh, I right. love the Hill family. You love the Hill you family? You guys are great. There you go. Yeah. All right. But All right, I had to cut him off. He loves the Hill family. You guys are great. So there you go. See, look, at you guys are a hit. You're a goddamn hit, for God's sakes. I mean, how do you feel? Would you guys like to make a speech? That. Hmm. All right. One, Let me see the spinner. <laughs> I think I don't know. We'll open the phone lines again. <laughs> but they love the hills. The hills are a hit. And remember, subscribe. Actually, have we checked the hills subscriber count? Have we done that as of late? Let's see if we got some new subscribers. We have not in a couple of days, my friend. Check the play the music and check the count. Do you guys want me to play the music, ladies and gentlemen? Not yeah. only is Jesse's father going to be fidget spinning on his nose. But we will be checking the subscriber count of the hills. That's right. Look at him balance that fucking fidget spinner. <laughs> oh my god. That's right, kids. Pure autism. Let's go. Let's see if he can get that fidget spinner on his head. Let's go. Oh, um. shit! That shit's going! That's going! Hold on a second. <laughs> I saw it. Craig, did you see that? I am sort of amazed. He had it spinning on his 
on his For nose. a moment, he, I mean, I guess it technically made several revolutions even before it fell off. 533 subscribers on Jesse Bell Hill's Wait. channel. I don't know where we were before this, but how about Papa Jay spinning that fidget thing on his nose like a freaking sea otter? Look at him. Holy crap. These nice. are records. Holy smokes. That thing is spinning like a mofo. So showing up his daughter right now. Papa Jay. Jesse is so pissed right now. Jesse's so mad that Papa Jay is way better at this fidget spinner. <laughs> 533. That's good. 533, by the way. On Jesse's channel. Jesse, where did we start Chris, before the stream? I was going to... Go ahead. No, but where did we start on Jesse's channel before the stream? I don't remember. I've lost count. I, I can remember. I was, uh, Jesse's pissed but that Papa Jay got the thing longer. No, Chris, no, I, there's something I was going to bring up. Just uh, a, a little... This is nothing to do with anything except, you know, fidget spinners have really gotten everywhere. Mm -hmm. but, and as you see, they've been, they're all over the world. But now... Think of where another place that popular things go to and what they would make little movies or videos about. And then they and then it brought fidget spinners into it. Can you guess what genre of film that would be? I'm thinking you're saying, Craig, a balancing a fidget spinner on a clitoris. Is that what we're talking about here? On a dick. Oh, a dick. Oh, okay. Close enough. I yeah, even got fidget. <laughs> and they even got, they got butt plug fidget spinners. No mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You said no shit right after butt plug. That was really cool. <laughs> you got that, Papa Sharp. Jesse, if it makes you feel any better, we we just lost a subscriber for you. <laughs> someone pulled out five thirty two. So someone was a cunt. Hey, nobody pulls out in this family. <laughs> you don't even pull out. I cannot blame them after this whole shit show. So that, that is the quote of the night. No one pulls out in this family. I like that, Papa J. I like the way you think. You are wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, Sick, wonderful. I think I got five kids. <laughs> well, Jesse, good news. You're back to 533. All right. This is what I'm going to do. And I need to end this autism because I'm literally killing myself right now. I'm dying slowly. 533, Jesse has. So the, the, the thing we need is this. We need to good get night, Jesse to 540 before right, we get offline. 540. We're only seven away. Eight, nine, ten. Seven away from 540. Let's get Jesse Bill to fight. Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Bill to what? Jesse Bill? Jesse Bill. Da -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, fuck. I got to stop. All right. Yes. This is it for me. How much of your bottles left? All right. We're 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 almost done with that bottle. 533. We got to get Jesse. Were you on the good stuff or you were on that gas <laughs> station booze your nah. cousin gave you? No, nah, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm back to double black. I mean, it's okay. All right. So let's do this, guys. Here's how I want you to do this, all right? Because I need you guys to help a motherfucker out right now. We are at 533 on Jesse's channel. We need to get Jesse to 540. We have 26 people watching. We're going to wind down the stream. If you're having a good time and you're not subscribed to Jesse Bell Hill, the reason why I want you guys to do it is this. She does an after show for the MMA Holes, and I drag you guys over there on Wednesday nights. So we need to get her to 540 in order to end this and end her. <laughs> Endure. Ah, <laughs> yes. Wonderful, wonderful. We need to end this stream at four, 540. So what I need you guys to do is go to my channel, all right, or my description. There is a link to Jesse's channel. You need to go there right now and subscribe to Jesse Bell Hill. Let's get her to 540. Let's do it live, and we're going to have a celebration. If we get to 540, Jesse, what can we do live on the stream tonight? Give me something we can give to the fans. Um, what can we do? I don't know. We can have, what? We can have Papa J um, fidget spin up until we get to 540. How about a uh, Jesse versus Mom arm wrestling match? What is Bravo. that with the fucking arm? Bravo, Chris. Bravo. Uh, <laughs> Jesse, Mom arm wrestling match for the death. Now Jesse has taken out her, her sister twice on the MMA Holes Live, but can I but can really Jesse take out Mom? <laughs> On the MMA holes. That's a, that's a big question right now. We don't know. Okay. Chances are 30 people that are watching are not everyone is subscribed to Jesse. I just feel it in the chat. So when oh, you, I can't. you think, what did you say, Jesse? I can almost guarantee it. Yeah. So we need those people that aren't subscribed to go down in the description, go down on me and click the link. <laughs> Subscribe to Jesse Bell Hill. We get to 540 and. We will see Jesse arm wrestle her mom. I think that's fair, Jesse. I think it's a fair trade. All right. Mom, what do you think about this? 
<laughs> well, I'm wrestling my mother at 5.40. We can get to 5.40. Mom, are you in? Sure. Oh, me now who's going to win this fight between Jesse and Mom? I need a little trash talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. They're looking. Is That's not a fair either. fight. You're stronger That's than both of them. <laughs> Dad That's wants a piece. <laughs> Let's get Jesse to 540 subscribers. I need you guys right now to go in the description down description click on jesse's channel subscribe to jesse we only need seven people to do it we got 32 watching get over there right now and jesse are, are is is not fictitious accounts welcome as well fake accounts yeah who cares hey i don't want to take anything at the moment Troll numbers are numbers. let's get jesse to 540 fake accounts welcome 540 let's get jesse there we're gonna oh we're at 534 534 oh. we are so oh. close right now guys 534 if we get Jesse Bell Hill to 540 subscribers well we will have Jesse and her mom arm wrestle live on the MMA Hills 535 we are five away five away kids five away to Jesse Bell Hill should we play dramatic music should we do it Godfather look out friends Five more subscribers. Oh my god. Five more subscribers. And we get Jesse Bell Hill to 500. I mean, and 40 subscribers. Let's do it. <laughs> We're stuck at 535. Let's go, kids. Still at 535. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. We're stagnant. Five more people. Let's do it. Jump over to Jesse Bell Hill's channel. Let's get five more over there. 540 subscribers. Let's do it. They went being a couple. You know what? I don't oh, even yeah, know. No. I don't know. 30 viewers no. watching. You are watching the MMA Holes Live. Now, we spoke about CES. Well, Jesse, you lost a subscriber if it makes you feel any better. Uh, with <laughs> anyway. Wonderful, wonderful. You guys. I don't understand how people do not want to watch Jesse... And Mama Michelle arm wrestle for the title of the MMA host. You lost another subscriber, Jesse. You're at 533. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. That's too funny. They're too <laughs> troll. <laughs> no one wants to see you guys arm wrestle. No one wants to see it. Oh, this is sad news. I don't want to arm wrestle. So well, honestly, I, I want the 540. I just... Mm. I don't want to <laughs> All right, fine. I will date any of the cougars out there for one date. Well, Jesse, there is a... Oh, 534. We're back in business. <laughs> We're back in business, kids. 534. Now, guys, we don't have much time left. So you have to subscribe soon because I'm going to shut down the stream. So if you do not... I don't think I heard you. 535. If you do not subscribe to the MMA holes... I mean, not the MMA holes. Well, you can subscribe to me, too. But Jesse Bell Hill we're focusing on... 535, we are five away for Jesse Bell Hill versus Michelle. Mom, arm wrestling match. We need five more Mom. subscribers. Let's get over there to Jesse's channel right now. Link in the description. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Anyway. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. Run through the chopper. All right. So. You got you to gotta sound like Terminator. <laughs> yeah. So do it now. All right. So listen. <laughs> All right, there we go. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so we're stuck at 535. You mean to tell me five people are not out there to subscribe to Jesse Bell Hill's channel? This is a travesty. I'm very disappointed right now that we're not going to be seeing arm wrestling <laughs> go on with the MMA holes. Look at this. Just take a look at that. I have it on the screen right now. 535. Let me see what we got over we there. Taken, we have taken all 535 people of the human population... There are no more left to subscribe. Mm. They don't want to see That's you arm right. wrestle, Jesse. Apparently, they do not want to see you arm wrestle. It's it's insane. Maybe they're trying to spare either you or your mother on this glorious They're trying occasion. to spare my mother. Is it your mother? They saw what I did to Monica last time, the last two times. Mm -hmm. And so now they're just like, man, we don't want to put... She's awesome. We don't want to put her through that, you know? Well, this is this is unfair, Jesse. I don't think that these people should be cheated, treating you this way. I mean, stuck at 535. Jesse, I need you to look into the camera and explain why they should subscribe to your swole channel. 
I gotta come up with a really good. I gotta put my game face on her for a minute. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put it on Jesse right now. There we go. She's ready. She's looking at the camera, and she's gonna explain why you should subscribe to her channel right now. <laughs> uh, hey, J hey, uh, Chris. Let me say something real quick. The guys in the chat, if y'all wanna chat afterwards, I'll set one up. But if Jesse's not going live, but if y'all wanna set up a chat, I will. But it, you know, that, there was people asking about that, Chris. Mm -hmm. Anyway, go ahead. By the way, we're at 536, so Jesse, plead your case, my friends, and maybe we can get you to that point. Let's see if we can do it. All right, Jesse, here we go. This, this, it's yours. How many is that? Four more? Four more. Four more? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's going to she's gonna bribe you guys into subscribing right Almost. now. Almost. <laughs> 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 All right, Jesse, doesn't know what she's saying right now. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get a, I gotta get a certain voice down real quick. Hold on. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> if this is the voice I'm thinking of, I'm out of you. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm excited about this. I don't even know. Mhm. Mm You're not selling what it. Change your mindset. ready okay jesse the floor is yours my friend how what why would they subscribe to your channel right now it's, it's hard doing the voice when you're on camera pretend you're not mm -hmm. <laughs> jesse you're killing me <laughs> we're trying to say we're trying to save you right now but you're not doing a very good job if no, anything, i know I, people I'm are gonna unsubscribe voice, but it's different when i don't have a, an icon instead of a camera looking right at me okay. for the voice. All right, Papa Jay's here. Maybe he can help you out why they su should subscribe to your no, channel. I'm definitely not doing the voice. Mm -hmm. hey. Craig, can, I... Craig, can you help Jesse out? We're, we're, we're sinking right now. What would you like me to uh, What do you want to know, brother? Well, anyway, uh, hey, look, Brian, you're the one that called me dipshit. <laughs> I'm sorry if Jesse wants to go live, it's up to her. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. What was you saying? Now, I say, why should people subscribe to Jesse's channel? I mean, regardless, we would love to see the two arm wrestle for 540. But why should they subscribe to Jesse Bellhill? Well, I mean, let's just let's just just let's go to the straight. Let's cut straight to the nut, as they say. <laughs> Look, guys, even out of a sympathy sub, go ahead. I mean, what's it go? It don't cost you a freaking dime. Mm -hmm. So just click the button, okay? But I love Jesse, so yeah. I mean, that's cool too. Mm hmm. So we're at 537. Man. Subscribers, we're only three away. Uh, three more. And three more subscribers. We're only three away. That's it. So Jesse, you need to look into the camera right now. Look into the audience. Show those say, eyes. Show those eyes. Show those thighs, and let the audience know eyes, why. Eyes, not oh, oh, thighs. eyes. Show the eyes, <laughs> Jesse. Show the eyes. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> All right, she's showing the eyes. The mailman That's eyes. A side eye. That ain't. She's just like giving you a dirty look kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was. Actually, that those that look just gave me AIDS, Jesse. Thank you. I I just subs unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> I just unsubscribed hey, to Jesse Bell. Your eyes are your biggest and best feature. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh oh, we got a call right now. Oh fuck! Thank God. Oh, it's gonna be my 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 All right. three subscribers. So Hello? you you are live with the MMA it's, holes. We have Jesse to 500. It's Zane. It's All right. Zane. Oh fuck! Here we go. All, all right. right. Go ahead. So, yeah, I, I I need you to give me a favor here, all right? Mm hmm Um, um, get uh, ask Jesse's father, all right? <laughs> well, you can ask right. him. You're ask on the phone with him right now. You can actually ask him yourself. Oh, all right. Hey, um, uh, what's his name? Jesse's father. That's his birth name, actually. Jesse's father. Oh wow, <laughs> amazing. Anyway, <laughs> um, the, all right. Yeah. I'm wondering if I could. Slam my balls on his bald head. So you want... <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't you give me your name and your address and we'll come over and I'll talk about it. So oh, yeah, I'll drive you. You want to slam your balls on like Jesse's father's bald head. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, I, just, yeah, I want to clean those my balls. So now, what makes you want to do I this? Say, oh, my... mm -hmm. Name, and, name and address. I'll I come over, we'll I mean, talk about it. It'll be a good time. For me, at least. I'll drive you too, Papa. Hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so... Wait, so is that a deal? Are we doing it? Jesse, uh, Je <laughs> Papa Jay, what do you think Give about this, this proposal? 
Hey, come on, I mean, like, I could be your I'm new gonna wife. I'm going to stop talking now for legal purposes. <laughs> <laughs> He's not talking for legal <laughs> purposes. All right, thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Casey Guys. He just right, wound yeah, no up problem. dead tomorrow. They don't, he don't want to be blamed for it. All right, I had to hang up on him. <laughs> All right, so I have some bad news. You are at five. You are at five hundred and forty subscribers. Five hundred and forty subscribers is Jesse Bell Hill. And I didn't even have to bring out the voice. And you didn't have to bring out the voice. So this means only one thing, Jesse. Congratulations to hitting five forty on the MMA hills. Maybe Zane brought the fucking viewers over there. But you know, it's time to, you know, isn't it time to get the baby all, or was this some kind of other wrestling match? So, all right, let's. <laughs> what are the rules? <laughs> what are the rules to this match of. No. All right. Jesse's mom, Michelle, yes. versus Jesse Bell Hill. Well, this is exciting news. Even though someone just unsubscribed to you, Jesse, it doesn't matter. You still hit 540, so that's all that matters right now. Wonderful, wonderful. It doesn't matter. You still hit they it. They just did it for the wrestling match. And <laughs> yeah. They all take pretty that much. Ball away from her. Jesus Christ. That's so annoying. Guys, after this arm wrestling, two people are all right. There you go. <laughs> Give people unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm dying. I got to get off there. All right. I promise the next time I come on, I won't be this drunk. I promise. I, I swear to God, I won't. I won't do this to you guys again. I promise. Sometimes Chris got to let a little loose, you know. Sometimes he's got to just hit the scotch. You know? Who are you all? Y'all were all talking to somebody else. What the hell is going on? I don't know what's going on in there, Craig. They're getting ready to arm wrestle. They're, now, listen. They're arm wrestle. You guys could keep on subscribing to Jesse, even though we had fun and get this arm wrestling tournament ready. But this is exciting, guys. There is going to be a major arm wrestling thing right on live in the MMA holes. I, I have to say, I'm excited. Craig, are you excited? I'm looking forward to this. I, I think Mama's gonna get Jesse with no sweat. Who do you guys have in the chat? <laughs> Michelle Mama Hill or Jesse Daughter Hill? Let me know right now in the chat. Right now, who do you have? Mom or daughter? Let me know right I have now. Middle name Chris. Ah, fuck Jesse that. Daughter. Jesse Daughter Hill. <laughs> That's right. Uh oh, here we go, guys. The dramatic music is on. Can they see it okay? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there is going to be an arm wrestling match between the hills. Let's go. Chris, you see him okay? Okay, we see you guys actually very good right now. This is a perfect angle. It's like you you were ready for this the whole time. All right. Hit me with the ones right, if ladies. you're excited. Who do you got? Jesse or mom? Let me know in the chat. Wow, mom is... Hey, let me, let me ask you a question, Michelle, before you go down on this. Are, oh, wait, that didn't sound right. Before <laughs> you battle your daughter right now, are you taking this serious? Are you looking to take Jesse down? Do I what? Are you looking to take Jesse down in this battle of arm wrestling? Well, yeah. Okay. Now, we want a clear winner here. We want no cheating. We want a clear cut winner. All right. So, good luck to both young ladies over here. Let's see how this works out. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Remember, like this video because, I mean, you don't really get to see this much. I mean, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the MMA holes. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, the two young ladies are fighting for position. Look at the, com the competition right now. Now, Craig, would you like to count the young ladies down? Sure, okay. Ladies, nod your head if you're ready for me to start the countdown. All right, Craig says nod ready your head. Ready for me to start. All right, ready? Craig's going to count you guys down. Here we go. Okay. All right, one, two, three. And they're off. Jesse Bell Hill versus Mom. Holy shit. Mom is looking to take the lead. Jesse's holding strong. Jesse's arm looks look like a toothpick as it's been. Oh, my God. Jesus. I knew Christ. it. I knew it. I told you, Mama. Mama <laughs> even Mama tried to let her have a little victory. Oh. I mean, Mom wasn't going to let her win, but she just sort of played oh. with her. She could have put oh. Jesse down right off the bat. That she, was worth it. She puts, she puts all of her fucking weight in on her arm. Like, she doesn't <laughs> use just her arm. It's like, let's use my arm and my body. I don't use my arm and my body. Wonderful, wonderful. Jesse's mom. You're supposed to do it that way. You're supposed to use your arm and your body and weight. That's how you arm wrestle. Listen, I'm not going to lie. If she has the advantage, don't, because I'm in a <laughs> corner. You chose to be in the corner. Because I was helping you. 
I believe this, we need to switch sides, Chris. What do you think? Well, I think that Jesse just got poorly malnagied on that whole situation. I think that Jesse's <laughs> mom was Conor McGregor in this situation and had just schooled her daughter. A very good fight there, but I have to say, Jesse, that was uh, I think that was a little revenge for what you did to your sister. <laughs> Chris, they need to switch positions so she can't blame it on where she was sitting. I, they need to do another one that because is, she, she said she's blaming it on her position. That is a good point. Now, I see in the chat they say rematch. I think it's only fair. I think it's only fair that if oh, the Purell... <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'll <stall> her. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, she fucking skeeved the mom. All right, listen. We need. <laughs> you know, when you guys clench hands too tight, a lot of germs transfer between two parties, and that's why the pure. Oh, no, fucking. <laughs> I love it. All right, listen, we're having a little fun with the Hill the Hill family. Congratulations to us because we are witnessing greatness right now. The Hill family is doing a great job over here, having a lot of fun, and we're having fun with you guys. They're an awesome family. They are really cool people. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want you guys to adopt me. I want to be reborn and be adopted into the Hill family. So I just want to say that, Craig. All right. So this is what I need. Said, uh, <laughs> officially our sons. There we go. You are now officially <laughs> sons. Craig, how do you feel about this? That's righteous, man. I like it. All right. We're part of the family. All right. So this is what I need you guys to do. Now, now is a complete dominance. Can Shira Ryu says rematch. NH says rematch. A lot of people want to see this go down again. It's kind of like when John Jones fought DC. They wanted to see it again. Now, the question is, who is John Jones <laughs> and who is DC? I think mom is John Jones in this, this situation, but we're going to switch spots. What do you Are you kidding me? Jesse, you <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesse, you may look like John Jones, but you're not John Jones. Chris! Right. <laughs> Chris, she doesn't even know who John Jones or DC is, and you're yeah. going to make me DC? Jesse, because... Come on! <laughs> Listen, you Chris, may look shit, like John Jones, but you're not John Jones, all right, Jesse? So just relax. All right, listen, this is what we're going to do. I cry like the fight. <laughs> <laughs> complete autism. All right. So, mom, what do you say? Would you give your daughter another yeah, shot at a rematch? What do you think? You want to do another rematch? If we switch spots, because she got a leverage. Oh, okay. Now, mom. That's what I'm saying. Switch. <laughs> mom, do you think a, re a rematch switch? Oh, she's in. Mom's in. All right. Here we go. Let's see it. Look at this. All live right. Live. All right. All right. Subscribe to Jesse Bell Hill down in the description for arm wrestling tournaments with family members. And subscribe to the MMA holes. If you're not, do it right now or I'll uh, slaughter you. All right. Now, who needs that. MMA when you have arm wrestling, right? Craig Lee, should we start an arm wrestling channel? The arm wrestling holes? Only females. <laughs> yes. Wonderful, wonderful. If you guys want the arm wrestling holes channel, let me know in the chat. And maybe we'll start that thing up. All right. This is great. <laughs> Zane Williams. Mama means business. Mama's ready. <laughs> Zane Williams is hunting down Papa J. All right, Mom is. Yeah, she does mean business, Craig. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's his name? Yeah. All right. Zane Williams. Yeah. Zane, Zane Williams. Williams is quite a character, and he would love to have Papa mm. J's hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost snotted on the microphone there. You guys are in. You guys want the arm wrestling holes? There's a lot of ones in the chat, so. We might have to make another channel. Jesse, look what you started. Mom, look what you started. I mean, Michelle, I'm calling you Mom. You started with Monica. This is you, Chris. This is all this Monica. This is all cool. you. All right. So here we go. We have the hills We have the hills going down right now. Uh, I mean, go, they're arm wrestling now on the MMA holes. They're right-handed. Are both of you young ladies right-handed? Or how does this work? Predominantly right-handed? Yes, they both are. Okay. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right. So... Here we go. This is now. This is the rematch. The first, if you're just jumping in, Jesse Bell Hill lost horribly to her mom. It was really pathetic, to be honest. So now we're going again. <laughs> I held in. Chris. <laughs> no, right. Mama let you hold on. Mama smoke her butt and show her what you could have done right off the bat. Yeah, I want to see Mom go over the top <laughs> and humiliate her daughter right now. To be honest, that's what I want to see. What do you guys want to see in the chat? Who has this one? All right, we got the rematch. Craig, I want you to count this one down again. The hills are going at it, live in the MMA holes. Okay, ladies, let's join hands. <laughs> join hands. I love it. <laughs> You're the best. Here we go. All right, lock up. 
is so dumb. Get up in there. Get your smile out of the way. Get... All right, get your elbows in there. All right, this is going to be a good. Okay. Jesse's, Jesse's looking for a win on this one. She's moving the elbow. Uh, she's really getting this stuff. Okay, here we are. Y'all are there. Get steady. Steady, and I'm going to count you out. Yeah. One, two, three. Go. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Boom, I told you mama could smoke her. I knew she, I could tell mama can smoke her right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo, mama looking good. Yeah, mama kicked it. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? I did not elaborate. Just a little more. You pull your elbow all the way back your body, so there's this much. No, I just. Oh, come on. No more excuses, Jesse. Oh, that was great. No, thank you. No. All right. No. I already got to it. All right, so. (laughs) (laughs) Let me know in the chat if you want mom to do the after show instead of Jesse. Let me know if you want mom to do the after show instead of Jesse. Oh, no. Pop is jumping in. All right. Uh oh, Pop is calling out. No, oh, he's calling out Mama. Okay, here we go. How Papa about this? Mama. I got a question, guys. What about Mom and Daughter versus Papa J? Two against one arm wrestling tournament. What do you guys say about this? Well, he's a little old, so he doesn't have that much strength left. Oh, wow. So you're saying straight up Mom and Dad is a good fight? Oh, yeah, fuck. probably. Oh, God. I, have to, I can't even believe I'm watching this. All right, here we go. Craig. Craig, you count them down. Okay. Okay, now watch her. She back to fucking body and on you. Okay. She cheats. Okay. Look at Jesse. Get up. All right, here we go. I'll let Jesse count yeah. them down. Let Jesse hold her hands yeah. and count them down. Here we go. Definitely. Thank you for the subscribers. All right, so Jesse's counting this down, or is Craig counting this down? I see a little bit of an Jesse, advantage. Jesse, you count them down. All right. Okay. You're trying to adjust my hand. That shit ain't happening. Ah ha ha! You don't like it when people cheat, do you? No, no, you don't. You, did. you, you know, suck. You, you can fish it, but you can't drink it. <laughs> Three, right. two, one, go. Oh, fuck. Jesse goes three, two, one, go. We have a stalemate in the middle right now. Both mom and dad are going down on each other, live in the MMA holes. Fists are together. <laughs> Papa Jay is like, oh, this is easy work. Mom is looking like, yeah, you want to play this game? Strength. All right, they're in the middle right now. Mama Jay yeah, versus Martha. Papa. Uh-oh, Papa's going over. <laughs> Look at mom. She stuffs him. She stuffs the takedown. Mom is coming back. <laughs> Mom is coming back. Pop is like, oh fuck. Oh no. Pop is Look at this. Oh no. Mom is coming in strong. Pop is holding his own in the middle. Holy smokes. Ah, elbow movement. Elbow movement. Elbow movement. Oh elbow no. Movement. You cheat her. You what cheat happened? her. You cheat her. You cheat her. Cheat her. What happened? Cheat her. Help me out. Cheat her. What what just happened? What happened? Help me out. My elbow came up. Her, she cheated. Is what happened. She cheated. My T- elbow came up. Tanner says this match has brought you elbow. brought to you by Walmart. So there you go. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> oh, I don't know what just happened. Break my arm and that's how you so win? Functional, please, guys. I, I think that was a tie. I think it's safe to say. Oh, wait. They're going again. All right. Here we go. All right. Okay. Three, two, one, go. She's like, oh, my God. You're ready. You're ready. That's right, guys. Hey, You're- Chris, we might need, need to make sure we watch out and make sure Papa Jay is safe <laughs> in this domestic situation. I feel mom is going to throw <laughs> Papa through the wall. I'm not <laughs> taking anyone to the hospital tonight. I do not call dibs. The, if you look at the body advantage, it goes to Papa J because he's putting all his weight into it, and Mom is just using arm strength, pure arm strength, holding Papa J in place. This is insane. I can't even believe I'm watching this right now. Mama, Mama Michelle, uh oh, Papa J is coming in strong, and Mom is like, fuck that, stuffs it. Mom, god damn, I am so aroused by Jesse's mom with her strength pulling off. <laughs> This is insane. Papa. Papa Jay is going down. Oh, my God. Mama Jay is coming in strong. Papa. No, oh, my. I saw that. I saw that. No. Get, 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 No, you little cheater. I know you did. I know you did. Yeah, you fucking cheated. You fucking cheated and you saw yourself cheat. Fucking cheated. I'm fucking cheating. Wow. Wait a second. Fucking cheater. That was insane. No, she just said she fucking. Dude, the man came up her, she lifted her elbow. Minus, she lifted her elbow. I, I she can't. Fucking cheated. Craig. She cheated. I Jeez. don't know. I don't know here. I have she to say, I think mom won that fair and square. I, I mean, we, we can go to the replay. She just admitted. I just watched her do <laughs> it. Last minute, my elbow slipped. Yes. No slips. You lifted yeah, your yeah, elbow so that you could push his arm down. I was We're going to replay this shit. I have to go to the replay. I have to go to the replay on the sun. 
Oh my god. Occurs. I'm fucking replaying this. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking zoom in and show you how you just went. Oh, what yeah. I'm just gonna win this thing right All now. Right, I'm gonna go okay. on the replay Jeez. right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. Unfortunately, you guys are gonna be a little delayed, but I'm gonna watch this one back and I'm gonna put this on the MMA holes. Let's see. All right, here we go. We're going to the replay. All right, so right now <laughs> I'm done. They're getting ready to go. All right, so right now I have the replay on for the holes. Papa J is soaked in sweat. Nerves are going strong, and Papa J is going. He had the advantage in the beginning. Papa J was going strong in the beginning of the match, but then Mom is like, "Fuck you, Dad. I'm gonna take this party over." Now watching. All right. So in other words, Mama gonna knock you out. <laughs> now watching this back, Papa has the advantage where the body is positioned. But mom has the over-the-top hook. And, well, here we go. This is a stalemate, so they're going to go again. But Watch your elbow. I did notice that, it well, slipped. we hit a stalemate. Hold on. This is the first run around. They're going to go again. But I did notice that mom hooked the hand over. It's not the elbow. She hooked the hand over, which is not a penalty. It's not a penalty. I'm sorry, mom. No, no, it's not no, a penalty. No, 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 no. Craig, no. what do you think? Both hands, both arms, both hands have to be a parallel fucking line. You can't have one person have the advantage by fucking... Mm. No. I don't no. know. Let's no. get a second opinion. Now, the, the fight's about to go back on on the replay. Craig, what do you think? What do you think about this whole situation going on? Well, the thing is, when you start off, they're even. And what happens after that is up to the person. You can manipulate the wrist and pull their arm out of a, a, a good hold. So if you can manipulate their wrist and arm and make them slip their hold and push them down, you're good. So the manipulation of the wrist, <laughs> which I do this? agree, the manipulation is there. I don't know what's going on there. Now, I have it on the screen now for the replay. Father tries to go over the top, and Mom, she did. She positioned Watch her hand elbow. correctly. No, I tell you what, that's a clean win. That's a fucking clean win. Watch her elbow. Watch I have it on elbow. right now. That's it's a clean, a clean win. It's a man. clean win, Jess. Listen, I would he love. Lifts her elbow. I would love to 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 take that side, being the male right now. I, I for the male race, <laughs> for our people. But mom got it. You could watch it back right now. This is no, a little bit of a. Just, you just fucking lifted. You just fucking lifted your okay, elbow. Okay, I want to rematch. This is bullshit. I saw it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh come on, really? Yeah. Okay, rematch. Rematch. Right, here rematch. we go. Did it. Order in the court. Order. I would like right. one more final rematch. All right, here's the deal. Wait, let's, shut up. Let's, all, let's, all, let's, all, let's all settle down for one second. I am opening up the phone lines, okay? We need to know from the callers. Call in right now, okay? 516-522-0267. Who won that match between Jesse and uh, Jesse's mom and Papa J. We want to know Michelle, Papa J. Who got that one? I don't know, man. Watching it back, and I, I, I Papa J. Listen, I want to take your side in this one in the worst way because we both have penises. So I am on your side on this. But Mama, she fucking smoked you. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, she fucking smoked you. Craig, what do you think? I think she won, brother. From what I saw, I mean, from the, no. from the replay. Mm. All right, phone lines are open. Don't but give be him scared. his rematch. Give him his rematch. So you're saying immediate rematch right now. No phone calls. Let's just give him the rematch, and that's that. Well, I don't know. Do you want like, – here's the thing. All right, so he's asking for rematch. Here's, you, you're, the, you're the ringmaster of this circus. Let me lay this out to you. So do you want him to get, a, get humiliate, well, humiliated hold on. and then him calling and give him shit? We got a call. Do it now? You we got have, it. Well, here's the deal. We have a call right now. You're live on the MMA holes watching what? the Hill family Let go. Let the old fart go. <laughs> Let the old fart go. What are you trying to say there? What's going yeah. on? They're going again. They All have right. to go. So you're saying run it back. Okay, there's one call saying run it back. Phone lines are open. There's one call saying run it back, and it looks like we might have to run this one back. Jesse, are you saying run it back? What? Jesse, are you saying run it back? <laughs> run it back? Yeah, do you think they should go? Oh, we have another call. Hold on a second. All right. You're live with the MMA holes. One person said, Jesse, mom and dad should run it back for another arm wrestling challenge. What do you say? Mom won. It's uh -oh. me, Ann H. Definitely mom won. Ann H. Ann H is in on the line, and Ann H says, mom won. All right, explain why you yes, think this. Yes, yes. Legal, legal. It was legal. You can do that. Ann H, my top 7% are what the fuck are you doing to me right now? All right, so, <laughs> Ann... Yeah. Even uh, though even, even though mom won, do you think that they should run it back for a rematch or it's a clear victory? Let's stop. What do you think, Ann? 
Uh, let's make it fun and do another rematch. <laughs> and <laughs> HP. Let's watch them fight some more. <laughs> let's get the kick out of this. All right. So there oh, we you're go. crazy tonight, you guys. You're absolutely crazy tonight, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> NH, I appreciate the craziness because, yeah, it's out of control. I'm, I'm having fun, though. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ann. Thank it's you. It's crazy. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Ann. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. All right. Ann has spoken. Ann has spoken, guys. Hey, Jeff. I think we need to see the rematch. Even though we are split. Actually, we're not split. Everyone's saying mom won. But anyway, we can go again. It's up to mom since she's the champion. Mom is the champion right now. Michelle, you are the champion. But if you want to give him a rematch. He's, he's asking her a question. Uh, if you want to, if you want to give Papa J another run at the title, let us know right now, Mom. Oh, he's gonna cry if I don't. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it again. Uh oh, we have a run it back right now. All right. <laughs> May I make a suggestion? Yes. To keep it fair. Sure. Allow us to do it left-handed. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. What what if you guys switch spots? Maybe you should switch spots. I don't mind switching spots. I'll There's do... no way to do it left. Yeah, I think so. I'll do it right handed if we, if you want to switch spots. I don't I'll do it out of standing right. on my head. <laughs> Let's do a switch <laughs> spots so I can fucking stop the stream and, and, and kill myself. All right, so <laughs> I say a switch spots. I think the chat room agrees. Let's see the rematch. Let's see it for the title. Now yeah. the title is on the line right now. It's on the line. The Hill Arm Wrestling Championship of the World is on the line on the MMA holes. Who will win? Will the belt be defended or will it be snatched by the other side? Papa J, let me know. All right. <laughs> Thank God. Craig, <laughs> Craig who's going to win this one? What do you think? I don't know really now. So from what I was listening to, Papa Jay's using his right hand, but he's predominantly left-handed. <laughs> Brian Roy just says this show is off the tracks. Just end it. Yeah, don't worry, Brian. This is it. We're, we will finish it after this. But I'm having fun watching this. So anyway, all right. Actually, I am predominantly left-handed. Yes. So Papa Jay is left-handed. This could be a, well. Papa Jay, you're fighting a woman for oh, God's sakes. Would you stop? We're still doing it right-handed because they won't challenge me left-handed. <laughs> All right. No, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, kids, here is the rematch. Jesse, you can do the honors of the countdown. Both family members are very into this one. This is for the championship. Hey. Belts on the line. Get your week ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh shit! All right. Uh oh, Papa. J oh, quick win by Papa J. Look at that, quick. Oh. Win what? by oh, Papa J. Oh my God! We... Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Did that one count? Well, I mean, no. I don't know. He no. She wasn't ready when I said it. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? All right. So there wasn't a ready. So oh, Jesse is the that. is the. Uh, all right. Your arms are longer than mine. It's good German. This is so Three, ridiculous. Two, this will never happen again. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, he got. All right, so uh, Papa J's got the championship. We got to stop this right now. All right, <laughs> this is great. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate. It. That was awesome. All right, I need to rein this in before okay. I kill myself. Hey. So <laughs> there's there's all right. There we go. Cordial. I don't know, Ann. I don't know what happened there. All right, so let's let's give credit right now to the the hills. They uh, went they went cray cray on the MMA holes. Good sports about this. We had some arm wrestling. And uh, I have to say, there was, a, there was a challenge. It was very competitive between the family over here. There was a lot of challenge. But mom was victorious. Let's be honest. The second one, Papa takes the belt from, from mom. And uh, there you go. Maybe the next time we'll have to find out who is the true champ. Any last words? All right. He asked if there was any last words. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Oh, I know. I'm like. I <laughs> love, love you guys. Y'all guys are awesome. We love you. All right. There you go. We love you guys, too. <laughs> All right. You guys were awesome. All Thank right. you for so joining us. Like have domain back. Y'all have a good night. Awesome. Good have job, good night, guys. guys. Thanks for having us. All right. There you go. The Hills. Night. Bye-bye. All right. Let's, uh, let's set that up. Craig, I love you. <laughs> love you, brother, man. All right. So here we go. So let me just, let me just explain what happened over there. Uh, Jesse's back. We have... Uh, <laughs> Jesse, would you like to explain what just happened there? No. 
Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, Craig, would you like to give a quick recap of what just happened there? Oh, it was just a wonderful, wonderful thing, you know. Uh, the typical uh, story told throughout time, man versus woman, but their eternal love affair for each other as well. That's pretty much it, Craig. That is pretty much what I saw as well. That was a very good way of saying that. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going we're gonna to stop this now. Uh, we're going to stop everything that happened. I'm going to have last words by both of our uh, lovely guests, Craig, the MVP, and Jesse, the uh, after show extraordinaire, Jesse Bellhill. We're going to start with... Uh, let's start with Jesse since ladies first, right? Jesse, what would you like to say? Last words. Last words. Okay, guys. Well, thank you to all the troll accounts who subscribed and then unsubscribed. That was really nice of you. I really appreciate it because I got my ass kicked in front of the world. So thank you for that. <laughs> um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the videos. Fucking watch the podcasts. Shh. If you guys don't watch the podcast at 9 on Wednesdays, then you're not going to know what's going on in the after shows. Also, I did have some viewers who have been requesting a panel again. So I, I am planning on doing something like that, very similar to that, for them again at some point. And then, yeah, I fucking love you guys. Make sure they watch the, the after show on, on Wednesday nights after the podcast. Hey, announce the monthly arm wrestling tournament. No, <laughs> right. no, we're not doing it. All right, thank uh, you. No. Thank you, Jesse, for that. And yes, Wednesday nights, Jesse will be live doing the after show. Go subscribe to Jesse Bell Hill if you haven't. Do it right now. Craig Lee, what are your final thoughts? Uh, just, hey, man, it's always great to hang out with your brother. You're a good man. We appreciate all the hard work that you put into the channel, and we love Miss Jesse. And, uh, you know, we just really appreciate it. And the other thing I was going to say is um, those that are in the chat are wanting to do hang at Google Hangouts. Uh, we'll we'll talk about that. I saw Ann and Darth and a few others talking about that. And Chris, you're welcome too if you want to invite. But anyway, uh, I love everybody here and I appreciate the, the hard work, Chris. You're a good man. Thanks, brother. Thank you to both you and Jesse for coming on the MMA Holes Live. We had a good time. As, as autistic as it was, it was fun. So that's all that matters. Thank you guys again. Have a great night and we'll see you. Thank uh, you, Chris. We'll see you on the other Thanks, side. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. All right, there we go. There it is, guys. All right. It happened. It happened. That all, everything that you just saw right there just happened. Now, MMA Holes, it is Friday night. We did a Fight Buddies half-assed. CES, uh, we watched the first half of it, and then the last half got crazy. But um, some things to talk about with CES, and when I sober up, I will talk about those things. Let's go back. Let's get out of Fight Buddies, because realistically, we didn't do a Fight Buddies. So let's go back to here. We made a couple of more friends on the MMA holes. Uh, thank you to Blair Tugman for coming on the show. I will isolate that and re-air that as well because Blair fucking killed it, man. Blair, Blair did a great job. Good luck at Bellator 182. We went on way longer than we should have went on, but it's all about having fun. It's all about having fun over here. So I thank the guests, Blair, Craig, Jesse, for coming on. The chat room for keeping it swole all night. I mean, this thing was just lit all fucking night. Let's look over here. We'll take a couple of comments from the chat. You guys killed it, man. 55 likes. Still got 18 just chilling on a Friday night. Good nights is Ishmael. Darth Bane's dropping the ones. They charge me uh, for both stand-up training and ground. Says Jay Smooth. It's fucked up. It sounds fucked up. I don't know what it is. You must get paid, says Filthy George. Skip and Shannon. So there you go. There, that's I don't know what's going on in there. But anyway. Oh. What Chris Dana released a sparring video says Ishmael Carrillo. Is this true? Did Dana release a sparring video? Is this true? I'm going to look right now. Polly just made me right. All right. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's play breaking news. Let's go. Let's get out over here. Fuck, man. I drank too much. They said that Dana, Dana, Polly just made me right. EA. All right, we're going to see this. Dana, so if Dana released, Dana, Dana, uh, Dana Carvey, Dana White released the, uh, the tapes, <laughs> Paulie's te tears taste salty. This was fucked up night. Yeah, NH it was. Is there an after show, guys? Brian Roger, if Jesse wants to do it, it's up to her, but I am not going to drag anyone into any more of this. I think I've, I've been on since, God, I've been on since 8 o'clock, for God's sakes, but it's fun. I had a good time. All right, let's go to Dana, Dana White. Let's see if you released it. Dana White. I'm going to go over there. Will, for fuck's sake. All right. 
Hold on a second here, guys. Hold on. I'm watching. Oh, hold on a second. All right. You ready, guys? Breaking news on the MMA holes. Check this shit out. Here we go. No sound. Look at this. Now, Dana White put this on his Twitter, okay? Now, this is fair use Twitter. Dana White posted this. Dana White, Conor McGregor. I don't know how the fuck this got released, but check this shit out, guys. Breaking news on the MMA Holes Live. Overhand. Hold on. Pulley swings in with a right. I mean, that right was weak. Conor ducks under it. Comes in, tries to hit him with a right, misses. And then, boom! Boom! Hits him with the right. Now... Let's look at this again. Let's, let's take a look. All right, guys. Paulie was kind of going down here, all right? Looking at this, let's look at it again. Something hit Paulie before he started falling. That's so weird. I don't know. It wasn't a push, though. I'm going to tell you right now, this shit was not a push. All right. Paulie was on his way down. He was on his way down, but something made him lose that. Let's look at it again. I can't fucking stop watching this. Let's look again. What the fuck hit him to make him fall? He was falling down like a ton. Was he tired? He, he ducks under, right? He ducks under there. I don't even know if a knee is down, but he kind of ducks under. Comes back up. Actually, no, he's fine. Throws a couple of... Sh oh, something hit him. Let me look at this again. The right. There it is. It's the right. It's the fucking right. Look, watch this, guys. I found it right here. Here we go. Sorry. Hold on. Let's try to zoom in a little bit. I know it's a little far away from you guys, but I'm drunk. All right. So let's look at this again. All right. So he comes in over here. Pulley ducks under. Right. All right, now he's he is he is like in limbo over here. He's fine, but here's here's the situation. As he's like here, Connor hits him with a right. Boom, hits him right there. That right, boom. That little right. Paul is still on his feet. Boom, that right dropped him. There it is. That's not a push. That's not a push. People are saying, "Where's the tattoo?" It's there. It's just this video is really blurry. If you look over here, you could see it, but it's it's a very blurry video. Comes in. And hits him with the right. Here we go. Comes in. Boom. Right there. Boom. Hear it again. Boom. Right with that right. Comes in. See you later. He's down. So now he's down. The picture gets taken. As Pulley gets up. And there you go. Here's another angle over here. Can't really see much over there. But that's fucking clear as hell that you know. Wow. Crazy shit. That's crazy shit right there. Not a push. Wow. Guys. What do you say? What do you say? There's another vid. Mayweather is fooked. Check out the other footages. EA, Craig Lee, good point. Where's Connor's tattoo? No, it's there. It's fucking there. You, you can see the other uh, video, but here's the thing. The reason why it looks like Connor has no tattoo is it's really pixelized. It's like it was taken with a cell phone. Connor has a uh, piercing power. Knocked down. Connor's cock. It was the, it was the right. Guys, I watched it over and over again. It was the right. Just like Floyd will fall, EA Best Boxer says, Sweet Science is just an excuse for not doing MMA. It's on Dana's IG, Jesse. So there you go. That was on Twitter, by the way. It's uh, at Dana White. Check him out on Twitter over there. Um, it is what it is, man. That's wild. That's fucking wild, Fight Buddies. I don't know why I'm still in the Fight Buddies. Let's go back to the bricks. What do you guys think about that? Should I open the phone lines? Let me know. I mean, I want to fucking shut this thing down. I'm exhausted right now. But that's wild. That's fucking wild. KO says Mike H. Wow says Ann H. Darth Bane says he got rocked. In, that, in the picture, Paulie was wearing a gray shirt. Guys, that was Paulie and Connor. I watched it over and over and over. Maybe by the better run, says Jay Smooth. Fucking A. Mayweather will never be that tired. And there you go, Sean Anchor. I mean, listen. It's a whole different animal. HML color filters. A JBH work tonight for 660 subscribers. Do the after show and put Connor and Malinaji on in the description. So here's the deal. I didn't I didn't really do any of that stuff. I put some in the the tags, but I wasn't I wasn't going for the Connor, and I probably would have got more with Connor. But guys, 
You want to see it again? I mean, the proof is in the pudding. It's the right that happens. This is on Dana White's Twitter. Check his Twitter account, okay? This is fair use, guys. We are looking at Dana White's Twitter. This is not copyright or anything. This is on his Twitter. He did it publicly. All right? There is the right. Watch it again. So they had the exchange over here, right? Pauly comes down. He's, he's not in bad shape. He's just kind of like off balance. And as he's off balance, Connor comes in with that right. It was like a fucking weird little uppercut hook. I don't know what the fuck you call that, but boom, right there. Boom. There it is. Boom. We watch it again. We can watch this shit all day. Bink, bink, bink. Watch that shit all day. Boom. And then Pauly goes flying to the floor. Did he hold the top of his head? I want to see if he did like a left hand on top of his head right there. He did. Watch this, guys. So now watch this. Conor McGregor, okay? Conor McGregor, what he does, and a lot of MMA guys does, do, is hold the top of the head, okay? Hold the top of the head. So watch this. Conor has his left hand. Oh, shit. Hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. It's, po- it's very possible. Sometimes Chris is wrong. See, this is what I want to see. See that left hand? I want to see if it's on Paulie's head. If he's stabilizing Paulie's head and then nails him with the right, that shit's going to hurt a hell of a lot more than that shit flopping. And it looks to me, let's look at the other angle. Oh, fuck that rope. That rope sucks. You can't even see because that rope is there. That fucking rope. Oh, no, that's not it. Hold on, sorry. My bust. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to see what our left hand is, if it's holding his. And look at that, guys. Look at his left hand. Look at Connor's left hand, guys. Connor's left hand is on top of Paulie's head over there. Now, I don't know boxing rules, but I know at MMA, when you hold the top of their head and fucking punch him right in his mush, he's going to go to sleep. And that's what Connor did. He held the top of his head and came in with the right and bang, put Paulie out. See that? Look at that shit. Look at that. Look at his right. No one's going to be talking about this shit. Only on the MMA hills we talk about this shit over here. This fucking, this is, this is the shit right here. This is called Drunk Chris fucking making it, making it rain over here. Look at this. Watch his left hand. You see his left hand and that black thing is a boxing glove. All right? That black thing is a boxing glove. He's holding the back of his head. Now, I don't know, guys. In, in boxing, can you do that? I have no idea. But he's holding the back of his head and then pops him with the right. See you later. Right to the floor. Mayweather is so fucked now, says Jesse. Dropped a two-time world champ, says Darth Vane. He owned up to the world, uh, says, word, says James Stuck. Got dropped by a rookie. Jay Smooth, it's true. Mayweather is going to get cock slapped, says Jake Troy. Kind of held Pulley's head. Is that even illegal in boxing? Ishmael, that's the, that's the question I'm posing right now. If you look at his left hand, he did... I mean, he's not holding it because of the gloves, but he's putting it there, pressing it there. Now, if you're stabilizing the head and then popping him... The head doesn't have mo- room to move. It fucking hits, it hits a fucking, like a wall. You know what I'm saying? He fucked up that bitch, says Mike H. Connor gonna get murked. I need to know the rule on that. Paul, Paulie arguing with Ken Flo and everybody on Twitter. Now still calling. Now, who released this? Dana White put this on Twitter? Guys, this is a hot topic. I feel like shutting this thing down and talking about Connor and Paulie. This is hot as fuck right now. Wow. Dana White released this shit. Dana White released this shit. That's crazy. It's got me crazy. So easy. Plain or whatever, says Filthy George. I've been saying Connor was going to make this look easy, says EA. Two hours of playing the so easy. Paulie's still shook. Ref Joe Cortez didn't say shit, so maybe it's legal, says Ishmael. I really want to know that. I don't Listen, I'm, this is not a boxing channel, but I'm curious. That's his headgear, Chris. Let's look. Let me look again. I am drunk. So, it's possible. Let's, let's look again. What are you talking about? Is this headgear? His headgear is yellow. What the fuck are you talking about? Who said that? <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> Who said that's his headgear? <laughs> you motherfucker. His headgear just changed colors. His headgear is fucking yellow. Look at his left hand. Guys, I called it first. See, now look at his head, left hand right there. It's holding his head. And then, boom, he pops him with the right. I don't know it's illegal. I have no idea. But the ref was there. Didn't say anything. The left uh, took him down, says uh, KMX. Paulie going to tweet uh, for the next week. Oh, fuck yeah, man. This is crazy. I wish I knew who Paulie Malinaji was. <laughs> oh, fuck boxing. This is Filthy George. 
Jake Troy says, LOL. In boxing, it's uh, what you can get away with as well. You know what? Not for nothing. I think if that happened in the fight, I think it is what it is. I think, um, I think that's legal. I honestly think that's legal. He didn't do anything. I don't know. Paulie had a can career, even Adrian Broner. Now, listen, Paulie's not, he's not Floyd Mayweather. Look at the second video. It says EA. What are you trying to say there? I show it. I did. I, I did. I just, oh, you're talking about the one. The, let's see. I don't have anything from anyone. But listen, we saw two angles in that thing. And uh, we'll be talking about it some more down the road. I need to fucking stop this shit. But um, what do you guys think? In the comment section, when this thing shuts down. In the comment section down below, let me know what you guys think. That's fascinating. That, that footage is fascinating. That's fucking... Dude, this shit is going to go viral. People are going to be showing this shit and talking about this shit forever. So um, get your thoughts in on the comment section. Get the first thoughts in. When this stream shuts down, in the comment section, did Connor knock him down? Did he shove him down? Was that legal what he did? Let me know in the comment section. Ishmael says there's more. Open face headgear versus closed. I smoke more crack than Paulie, Darth, Bane. There's more. I'm going to look at it some more. I got to shut this shit down, though. We're done. But thank you guys for joining us. All right, guys. It was a great time over here on the MMA Holes. I had an awesome, awesome time. You guys are wonderful, wonderful. Listen, the comment section, that's where you have to go when this thing shuts down, the live chat shuts down. I look at everything in the comment section. So if you see something in these Paulie tapes, if there's anything out there, drop it in the comment section. Also, social media at the MMA Holes. DM me over there. Let's talk on social media as well. At the MMA Holes. Twitter is probably the best way to do it, but check that out. All right, I got to shut this down. I need to fucking stop. I need sleep. Guys, thank you for watching. And always remember, don't be an a-hole. Be an MMA hole.